Hey, Carl. Hello. Bob and Bob, the twin Bobs are here. Hi, Bob. Hi. Happy New Year, baby. <laughs> Happy New Year, baby. We might have some new people today. That should be interesting. Oh, I was going to go and do this. Let me go do it right now. Data Skeptic has this um, survey. S-U-R-B-E-Y at... How did he say it? Uh, Darn it. I'm trying to think. I kept saying I was going to go do this. A data S K P T I C. We had a survey. Where is it? Ah, survey.dataskeptic.com. I'll share that around. Here's Leonard. Hi, Leonard. Good evening. What is my professional title? I'm filling out a survey. The most powerful woman in skepticism. <laughs> the examples he gives are student and data scientist. Mistress of chaos. What was that? Mistress of chaos. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand um, the set study at all. It says is not Chief cat wrangler. Hmm. Chief cat wrangler. Hey, I'll, I'll put that. Cat herder. I mean, raccoon, writer. Mo raccoon monitress. <laughs> not anymore. They're gone. Okay, it says here. Mission accomplished. This isn't going to work. Look at this. This is this is data skeptics. Um, oh shoot! This is data skeptics um, survey. Yeah. Take the survey, and it's all blank. Do you guys here? Let me put it in the chat so you can see. It's all just blank. It says it is not implemented. Six. It is not implemented. Six. Am I doing something Yes, wrong? I I, be, I believe it's not uh, not been set up yet. Yeah. <laughs> well, he told us to go over and fill it out whenever he was on his podcast the other day. So I. You may want to you may want to ask him about it. Okay. I will. And now it's all on YouTube, and all of our fans on Netflix or wherever are listening to it right now. Hi, Rob. Hello. Hi, Rob. There's somebody who I invited who joined our, uh, our Recovering from Religion talk on Monday, and I just, in fact, had a phone conversation with her, and she's going to try to join right now. Oh, what oh, oh nice. Crystal. Uh, she's, she's an ex-Mormon in uh, Utah, which I guess is a different country. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Zeke. Uh, Hi, Zeke. 
Hello. So Susan and, and Rob, are you as bummed as I am about various Harriet. deaths? Yeah. Well, between Ken and Harriet, I'm just yeah, it's a double gut punch. Well, you know, I just I hope uh, that Adrian was right that uh, you know bad things don't come in threes. I just yeah. sent out an email to like everybody, Leonard. I think you got it too. I sent out to different groups, like I did science based medicine. Everybody I can think of on science based medicine. It includes all the photos I uploaded and Wikipedia link and stuff, so people can have photos to you know free free licensed photos to share. And I said. And David got back to me and he, David Gorski, he writes back, he says, man, 2013 really sucks. <laughs> 23. What? Yeah. 2013? What? <laughs> you meant traveling? 2013 is already starting to suck. See, is it time traveling? I'm confused. <laughs> I, and I, I was going to write back and I said, I don't even, I don't even want to say you got the wrong <sighs> decade, dude. <laughs> But he actually said 2013 in the email. This is yeah. I says thanks for doing this because I sent out a blanket email. I've been telling all sorts of people with all sorts of links in it that people can use. Susan, thanks for doing this. This will be a useful useful resource. Man, 2013 is really is starting out really crappy. Yeah. It you know what it hasn't hit yet about yeah. here i've been all day all day i have been dealing with photos and i it every time when i look at a photo it's my comfort zone if i think of them as that when that photo was taken i don't right. think of how i miss them or anything like that i guess it might be different if it was somebody in my household that i see all the time but somebody like harriet and this happened with james randy and with ken i immediately started putting photos together whenever they die so that that I could give them to people to use, and with Harriet, the same thing. It's just I get this feeling that she's just she's at home, right? You know, and I'll see her. Do you, do you have a picture of her at her desk? No, I've never. I kept meaning to go to her house, right. and when I drove up there one or two times, I said I should stop by, and I didn't, and. I've sent emails to her. Her and I emailed each other back and forth every, like, you know, four or five months. Just I've checked up on her or she'll ask me a question. And two days ago, I yeah. just said, somebody said, oh, yeah, I love Harriet Hall because I don't remember why it came up in conversation. I said, oh, yeah, she's a good friend. I should probably email her. It's been a few months. Yeah. You heard Zeke, right? I had until just now. Oh, I'm sorry to tell you. That's okay. I haven't yeah. announced on my Facebook page. All mm -hmm. I've been doing is just fixing photos and getting them out to people. Adrian went and I uploaded them. No, first what I did is I went in and cleaned them up because I have this. Now I have this program that removes objects from the back of the pictures and stuff and cleans them up. But I, I just got it. So I, I had, you know, you go to conferences and there's all these people walking by the back and I just went and cleaned them all up and then Adrian went and sharpened them. So it's just taken all day to get done. And so anyway, we'll talk about it later. It's just too depressing. I was, I, I told eight, I told uh, Janine the news and she was just like, I can't even process this right now. And I said, yeah, yeah. I agree. And so I said, Oh, we're going to at trivia tonight. We're going to only talk about positive things, happy mm -hmm. things. <laughs> My husband just popped in the door and he said, I know you guys talk about current events. So if you didn't hear it yet, uh, Lisa Marie Presley just passed. Away. Yeah, I saw. That. I heard she had a heart attack, but I didn't know that she wow. had passed. I, oh, thank! Tell him thank you for telling because that was. Oh, now Mark's because he knows I'm completely like out of the loop on the world all the time. <laughs> and Mark just told me, <laughs> "Oh, things happen in threes. Who's going to be?" She's like three? fifty something. Yeah, yeah. she had a right. drug problem too for a while, and she was just going to. She had, damn it. So they had a trial for uh, Danny Masterson and they were going to bring Lisa Marie Presley in. And then they decided at the last minute, no November, December, November, that they were going to bring her in. And so they just decided a couple of days ago, they're going to retry him. So I guess it won't be with Lisa Marie Presley. How sad. Hi, hi, Ron. 
Hello. Can you bring us some good news? Uh, not that I know of. I got a cat. How's that? Well, that, that oh. helps. Helps a little bit. So, wow, Lisa Marie. So, as, as I'm uh, saying goodbye to Ruth after, uh, so we had the memorial service. A bunch of us went over to their home, which, as you point out, is just stunningly beautiful. Um, and comfortable yeah. chairs to sit in to read the books in just perfect. and uh gave her a big hug as uh as i was leaving and she said you realize we may never meet again uh, because you know with with ken gone the mm. opportunities to see her or her me are few and far between and I, I just, I don't want that to be true. Hmm. Just, I, I don't know how much interaction you had with, with oh. Ruth, Susan, but oh, yeah. what, a, what, a, I, oh, what yeah. a wonderful human being. Yeah, I've gone to their house and um, we've had long conversations sitting at the table and, and yeah. there was a board meeting that uh, Ken was at and I wasn't allowed to listen in <laughs> a few years ago. And she says, I'm going to entertain Susan so she won't be tempted to listen in. So she <laughs> said, we talked at the table and we talked for a long time. And then Ken came out and he says, okay, I'm all done. And I said, okay, great. He goes, come here, Susan. I want to tell you. <laughs> he, told what, he told me what was going on in the meeting. <laughs> it was funny. But at least I didn't listen in. And he only told me what little bits. He didn't tell me like, you know enough that i was like i was there but right ruth is great she we went oh ruth, you know, ruth is a just a wonderful human being she'll i wonder if she'll go to cfi events i don't know csi yeah we will uh we shall see hi carolyn hello how are you uh, hi jane hi <laughs> come with good news i hope what kind I know I'm asking any you. kind. <laughs> yeah, any kind. I any did. kind of good news. We're looking for we're, good news. We're not picky at this point. Yeah, at this point, we're we're just all depressed. Um, we just heard Lisa Marie Presley died. Oh, she died. I knew she had a heart attack. I didn't know she yeah, died. Zeke Zeke's husband just told us. Oh wow, she's young. Am if I a seven? horrible person for not really caring? Well. I wanted to, I really wanted it to have, um, yeah, I really wanted to hear, uh, oh, um, Troy, Lisa Marie Presley died. It's always a surprise when a person younger than me dies of a heart attack. That's yeah, that's what, the thing. Yeah, that's what concerns me. <laughs> right. Well, I, you know, it, it, I just wanted to see her hit Scientology as hard as she possibly could. That's all I cared. You know, I mean, that's where my heart is, is like. The more she's got publicity and she'll she could get a lot of focus to it but and back back to harriet did any did does anybody know anything more than she died in her sleep was she suffering from something she that died at 10 o'clock last night and about 10 o'clock last night unexpectedly and so she didn't have any particular I thing about she's had she's fallen a few times yeah i know and that. she's not been well and when i said if like six months ago that i wanted to come up and see her she said, as long as you wear a mask, even while you're inside with me, yes, please come and see me. And I didn't come up and see her, so I feel really bad. But it, I mean, it's not close. It's uh, yeah. probably like 15 hour drive, but I was, yeah. I was up there, but I just didn't go there because I went up, picked up the photos, came home, and then I flew up there and we didn't have uh, cars. Yeah. At least so when like when you before. say up there, are you talking about Portland or Portland, Oregon, Eugene? Yeah. Well, well Sterling's she, she's in quite Seattle. a bit further north than that. Yeah. Well, see, Sterling's in Seattle. So, but I didn't have a car or anything. I, right. I mean, I. Yeah. I I kept thinking there'd be time later. Her, Jane didn't know Harriet Hall. She's up there in in uh, Pollock, Washington. Pollock. Pollyup. Pollyup. Oh, she's a skeptic. Really, I know of her. I know who she is. She died last night, and so we're all depressed because several of us were friends of hers, and a lot of the other people knew her um, or her work. 
So that's where we're like, hey, why is Carl gone? I'm letting we him back him, in so again. we left. He had to let the cat out. You, you didn't do it right the first time. <laughs> he's usually one of the first here and he stays. Yeah, yeah he's All usually right. here when I, when I come on. Yeah, he he's usually coming back. Two messages. Let's see who's calling. Checking. There he is. There he is. Oh, well, <laughs> ben Radford said to make sure I take my vitamins. <laughs> but he's <laughs> facing in the wrong direction. He doesn't want to lose anybody else again. Shit. When did Carl have two sides to his face? I forgot. You never know. I forgot my uh, meds I take with supper. Let me go up and do that real quick. Carl, you still haven't bought the uh, Phantom of the Opera mask yet. <laughs> I still think you need one of those. Hi, Brandy. Hello. Hi, Kyle. Hello. Hi, good Terry. <laughs> so good to see you guys. Peggy says her speaker isn't working and the stupid Zoom. Wait, wait. Let me do it in Peggy voice. My speaker isn't working, and the stupid effing Zoom needed to update, and I'm going to log in again. <laughs> stupid sort of Zoom. Like maybe, maybe with a little more accent. Here she comes again. <laughs> so, hi, Vincent. Hi. Only good news tonight. No bad news. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of bad news right now. Yeah. That's long. a nice background you got, Vincent. What is it? Uh, some... Some sky thing. I think I took it when I was on top of uh, a mountain or something nice. in BC. Looks looks mountain topish. Yeah, early early morning. <laughs> it is nice. I I can't remember exactly where it was. Somewhere in BC. So oh. you know when I went when I went like, there. It looks like you're on the dune. Oh yeah. The sandworms. No, come it's get not. You. It's not on sand or anything like that it's from uh way up high hi kevin hi everybody I'm trying this to find my doom oh this now. is going to be depressing here comes janine mm -hmm. hi lynn hi paul Hello. Hello. make sure you put your names on your screen so Hello. we know who would call you in the correct There's, order too is there something depressing that happened yeah. recently? we're not going to talk about it mm -hmm. we'll talk about it soon no we've been talking about it Oh, uh, Harriet Hall died. Who? Harriet Hall. She was a skeptic. Oh, the, no. The skeptic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh. oh I, damn. Never, I always wanted to meet her. I never got to meet her. I met her many. Okay, here's Janine. Oh, Janine, how are you? No, wait. No, wait. I, oh, that I sucks. Ask. Every time I listen to the news, huh? I go, oh, the top of the news. And I'm surprised they don't say something about Harriet. It's just you like, know what? I'm seeing the same thing. <laughs> do you, do I just got a New York Times that said it. Lisa Marie Presley, it just came up on my breaking news, has died. Oh, and then I'm thinking, well, what about Harriet? At the last conference, I wanted to meet her. I know. That's, that's, that's she's, just kind of what I... She's way more... Yeah. No, I mean, not by she birth was, or anything, you know. I know she was a good friend. You know, we both started at the same time at the Skeptics Toolbox. And no, she and, and I started. You were already you were already popular. And she uh, was there before that. Long time, even before you came. Really? Yeah. I yeah. thought her and I started at the exact same time. And you you and and um Wilma and everybody and Carol. Wilma and, and Carol and and Godfrey and you guys were all like, you know, already just famous -y people there. And then Harriet started showing up and I showed up at almost the same time. And then Harriet just took I off. I was thinking she was there. She was there before. I don't think so. Cause her and I always she said. She might've started the same time. Uh, Wally Sampson. No, oh. Sampson was way before her. Her, her, her lectures before. that she did are really, really good. They're really good. She was yeah. really she was good thorough and clear, and everything about them. I watched them. I only wanted to watch one or two, and then I'd watching them all, and I'm going, "Wow, this yeah. is a person talking the right way against all the bullshit." And she and, could just cut through everything. Yes, and it was so good. I shared that with many people who would say things. I said, "Listen, you don't believe me? Listen to this doctor," and I would show it to my brothers. And family members who are idiots. Yeah. <laughs> she 
she Tell was these Trump she supporters, was fun you know. to, she was fun too you know and I she was, and just, I, yeah. she was just a really nice person just yep. a really nice the pictures person. I am up you know I went this morning and I went and did a google search of all the pictures I have of her and you didn't have the one of us my life it was one like, of us she wearing she the she napkins here on she her is, head here she is <laughs> And she'd dress up at Halloween and do fun costumes. And she had a little, she had a little uh, a duck uh, that uh, a whistle that she'd blow, and it was like, and she says, because she came dressed as a uh, quack. <laughs> <laughs> she and one of the pictures I have, I put up. So all, I mean, I have so many photos of. Where her. did you put your picture, up, Susan? <laughs> I sent you a. I, sent I know. You an email. I know. I saw the email, but I didn't see where. The, Google there's photos. a link to all the pictures on oh, the Google. Oh, okay. But I haven't, I haven't put had any time. pictures up yet. All my pictures are, I, I finished and I sent the email out to you guys about a half an hour ago. And then I had I saw that. toast for dinner. <laughs> I haven't even wanted anything. And then I've come over and, and started this. So I haven't, I haven't processed anything. I'm like, she's just at her home in Washington until I get to a point where I'm, I, I'm not there yet. I haven't thought about it. I'm I know because. We were supposed to go up to Olympia this weekend, and I contemplated if we'd gone up that we'd stop by and see her. But I was. But we're not to, going up. About to email her. Hi, we're Jamie. We're not going up. Jamie. Hi, Jamie sent me an email to thank uh, to ask how I was doing in California. He said that he's. It's been all over the news in Thailand how bad California is right now. Oh, yes. Yeah, Boy, it, you've it, got it, something weird going on with your video there. Yeah, it turns out that only a small percentage of the state is underwater. Yeah, that's what I was telling my wife. California a has state. a large coast. Mm -hmm. So when you get the fires, the mudslides, the earthquake, it's like the entire East Coast has those kind of problems, but it's not one oh. state. Yeah, they, so, they don't say that. So how how comes up, Monterey County comes up in the news all the time. Yeah. yeah. Well, even there's, even there's, big parts of that are fine. Oh. Yeah. I yeah. say this Thursday is starting off to be a very down, uh, down one. So in honor of oh, Vince, oh, I'm going to do a bad joke. Okay, okay. Give us a bad joke. Can you see it? Did you hear about the hacker who escaped the police? He ran some. Oh, oh. oh. oh that's cute. That is that's, a that's, joke. that's perfect for you. Uh -huh. It's like sort it. of a dad That's joke. It. Well, and also, it's Alan's birthday. This let me uh, let me bring up and another Faith had a joke. birthday this week. Yeah, oh, Alan's it's Alan's birthday. birthday. Last, Why don't you put him week. on a winning team then? <laughs> uh, let, it's let my me, birthday let, too. I, I thought you guys don't believe in miracles. <laughs> <laughs> let me address what's happening with Troy's. So that happened to me when I was on a Zoom talk Monday, right after I had updated to the latest Zoom. And I noticed today they pushed another version I updated. So I'm testing right now so far, nothing has happened yet. So Troy, you may need to update your Zoom to the latest. Well, my speakers are, are really low. So I attached this thing and I think it was giving feedback or not really feedback, but you know, the audio is coming out here and then going in the microphone. So it was using up too much processing because as soon as I turn this thing off, the sprinkling stopped. Yeah, I doubt that's it because it was exactly the same thing. The top third of my screen was video mm -hmm. from weird. It was it was the person I was sharing it with. It was me blended with her. It's space aliens. It was like well, exactly. Put it, put it back on and watch what happens. Okay. Hi Romero. Hi Faith. Hi Mike. I haven't seen uh, you in a while. Hi Christy. Oh, Christy joined Happy us. And then wrap the tinfoil around the. Oh, she's uh, got her video on her. Around the cord. And there's Alan, one of the birthday it. boys. The electromagnetic Hi, Christy. Nice to meet you. Around your head. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> we're not that scary, so don't worry about it. Just we're, sometimes. We're, so, Christy, you're, 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 in, uh, you're, 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 you're in Utah, right, Christy? I, I'm in Texas. I'm outside El Paso. Oh, okay. Hey, hey, Southern anybody Utah. Know, anybody know what time it is in Japan right now? Hey, sir, no? what time is it? Uh, what? It's 11.24 a.m. That was hard. It's, I know because that's where Avi will be this time next week. So uh, he's going there on he's going there on Saturday. So I think he's still there. If I, I should tell him if he has if he can get a break, he should go and at least say come in and say hello. Yeah. Avi is something else. It's eleven thirty in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. My son's uh -huh. over in Korea. That's the same time zone. Oh yeah. Hey, so who who has not been one of my minions to um to be the troll buster? 
I haven't, but I'm doing a category, Ever? so. Yeah, so it is not doing a category. Uh, I'll, I'll do it. You never assigned but me. But you're I'm always not, doing I'm, it. No, you never assigned me those powers, and I'm not, and I'm not doing a category. So it's all right, but you better be once hour. Be nice. Power, power. <laughs> He's got that power. useless power, Rob. Use it to your advantage. <laughs> Susan, did you hear about uh, the devil being arrested? No, Vincent, I didn't hear about the devil thing. being arrested. Could you tell me? Yeah, they got him on possession. <laughs> oh. All right, Thank I'm you. using, I'm using, I'm using my powers. I just Everybody groaned at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> We appreciate that. Let it cover his face and groan. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle, your data skeptic survey. I wanted to take it, but it's good because it was that bad. Issues. Give it a refresh. We did a botch deploy today. Thank you, but yeah, it should be fixed now. Was it saying oh, not so implemented? Following in the yeah. first steps of yeah. Zoom, doing a botch deploy. Yeah. Ah, there it goes. Thank you. Yeah. I'll 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 share that with everybody to do. Awesome. Did anybody see the so little my, kid telling the chicken joke on the internet? I'll have to find the video if you haven't seen it. The little hey, kid Josh, picks up a chicken and tells a joke. It's funny. Wait, hey, I got a question for Christy. Christy, what are the chances you have someone who lives in the New York area um, named Jocelyn? Mm, I don't recognize that. I married into the, are you, is it because of my last name? Yeah. I Big married Roo into the Figueroa family. Yeah. My like my husband my husband's family is Puerto Rican, so maybe that's the New York uh, contact. No, because there's no Puerto Rican in my family, but that's that. Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> Alan, Alan Figueroa is like that's like uh, Johnson or something. It's really yeah, she, common. Well, I know, but so she cool. married into the Figueroa family too. So you know. Oh, yeah. that's true. I guess that that would be true too. Yeah. yeah, I can't remember what her maiden name was, but it was not Figueroa. So, yeah. You know what? Yeah, I never asked. I never brothers. asked her. Just ignore I, them, Christy. They're brothers. You know what? I never asked her. I should find out because I, I I still have no idea. What Alfalfa was is. used to sing about Figaro. Yeah. Figaro. I'm sure she's never so, heard that joke before. So who's doing yeah. the categories tonight? I heard Brandy <laughs> was doing one, right? Finally. Terry Scott is up first. Terry, you, are I just you like ready her face to go? Message. Okay. Terry says she's ready. Yep. Peggy, are you here? Ready yet? to go. Peggy's not back. Okay. She's been remember, she's the one that's been having Oops. oh hi Gail. Sorry, B. Uh Peggy's been having problems with internet because she's kind of near me. She's gonna be on an island today, possibly. By the end of by the she's not on an island yet, but by the end of the night, her and Jane may be in an island. <laughs> well, at least cut off from uh, all road transportation in and out. Yeah, they might be on an island. That's pretty funny. And then so then we have Peggy if she shows, and if not, we'll we'll deal with it. Uh, Faith, we have you third. Kevin, I have you fourth, and Ben, I have you for okay. bonus. Does that sound right? That's tonight. Yeah. yeah. Boy, this is going to be interesting. No, it's tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, by then it also probably will to be do tomorrow. Say, <laughs> name 10 of the 50 United States mono rules. That's mm. it. Name, name, name the day of the week mono rules. I mono, could do. No, I that's seven. Do, that doesn't work. I could do mono <laughs> rules tonight, but I choose not to. It has to be at least, t it has to be like. Thank you. 15. 30. Thank you, Ben. What's, what's the limit for mono rules? Like 30 items or. There I think it should one. be 30 or more. No, the no, limit no, no. Rules well, wait a minute. It. Wait a minute. What does yes, the data scientist say? There must be kind of a <laughs> cutoff line that makes sense statistically. Or yeah. Something. All right. I feel yeah. like it's more it. game theory and how ruthless do you want to be? Technically, the minimum is 10. Uh, of course. Well, can 11. Can you explain 11. what the rules are to uh, to Troy? And Lynn and Paul. <laughs> and me. I think they're great. Who, who wants to explain? So it's, it's like uh, similar to other bonuses, but you have to make unique picks. So if you say something like name the U.S. presidents, obviously there are 40 something you can put. But if two people say uh, Biden, then you get no points. Uh, oh, that's to be unique. Okay. It's called mono rules because mono for one. So only, yeah. can only pick one at a time. Does it's man it's against man? Mono has He's nothing the first person to do with mono rule. With, but it, it all just happens to work though. 
It does. Yes. I'm, and that's, I'm gonna that's make a the, category so easy and have mono rules that everyone gets zeros. Or was he destined by having that name to come up with this idea? <laughs> no, he didn't that's, even come up with it. He told us that he stole it from some game. It, it was preordained. Mago rules. Well, yeah. as everything it, is category rules. Yes. It's categories it, the game? Yeah. Bonus <laughs> round is name the ten largest countries, but mono rules. <laughs> Ooh. It's it's a, it's I, mean, I think it's fun because there's so much strategy because you well, want to see the problem the most it turns unusual. a trivia game into a strategy game. So are we play trivia or are we playing strategy? You want to name the most unusual, but if you name the most unusual, I, I always feel like we're playing uh, around in uh, one of the games in Alice in Borderland for people who've watched. And one that. one time Susan was on my team, and she said something not flattering, but she said something like, "Let's go with the easy one." Because these people think they're so damn smart. <laughs> and it worked. I said, <laughs> let's do it. We did, did five that way. Ones, and scored five they're going to try to outsmart Five the other way and didn't get any points. Auto <laughs> <laughs> rules is more decisive than Wordle. Oh, more did you say time the word travel. Wordle? Somebody take him more out. More controversy. <laughs> and time travel. Bob, did uh, you see that they made a television show based on Wordle? Yes, okay. I heard that. Another name I, hear is that. Oh. I just saw an ad for it today. Just yeah, they have psychics predicting the what word they're going to use tomorrow. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, Richard that, Saunders that, that posted the anti-Wordle game, which I didn't even know. All right, Rob's out now. Who wants a name? <laughs> but basically, you're not supposed Susan, to get the word. Do you know your first name has five letters, like Wordle? Is it called? I think so now. now? <laughs> We're going to have I really want you to think about today. Wordle every time you look at your name. <laughs> That's awesome. They're all going. They're all out of here. Oh, wait, they changed their name to Wordle. All right, who is it? So for, for people I, who don't get I the answer. that cartoon I promised to show to the people who didn't get to see it? Sure, go ahead. This is um, a cartoon oh, that's it's now gone. probably a little out of date because when I saw it, and I tried to send it to everyone, but apparently it only came to some people. I don't know why. But... <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Uh, That's awesome. I, I don't understand. That was very entertaining. <laughs> you don't? We, we actually watched the end of the 14th and the 15th voting round. We were like, are they going to go home? It's like a quarter to midnight. <laughs> I thought they were going to get in a fist fight. That was about they the time almost I was did. ready to they turn it on. At one point. I know that was that was when I was thinking, hmm, maybe I need to. Yeah, that's when you need Michael Buffer. Let's get ready to rumble. All right, so I got you guys on your teams. Let's go. Oh, somebody took. Did somebody explain to Christy what we're about to do? Christy, so do you know room. how to use breakout rooms? When you have a chance I... to go to your room, go to your room. Yeah. Okay. okay so so when you I, I'm using I'm using the app from my iPhone, so. Something will pop up and it'll ask you just to click go to on the room. It. Just click on it. Okay. Yes. The, only, the only thing that you'll have, uh, unfortunately, that's not nominal is for some reason on iPhone and iPad, the chat does not carry over when you're in the breakout room. So your oh. team or well, your team will have to copy it over for you. Okay. You'll be fine. Don't worry. They'll take care okay, of it. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Uh-huh. Here. And who doesn't have a room? Deborah. Hello, Deborah. Where am I gonna put her? Um let's put her here. That ought to be interesting. Okay. Pause, 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 pause. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, you guys. That <laughs> just missed the recording thing. You, it's it just called the Wordle effect, like the Streisand effect. You keep drawing attention to it, so we're going to keep talking about it. Oh, you're <laughs> like, we're well, going to come up with something we'll that's going to annoy the hell out of you guys, and it's going to be all. You do. Day. You say Washington. But that's normal. Wash. 
That's that rude. is, that's that is not normal. The and biggest, I pun, the, the biggest, the, the biggest irony is that Wordle is not a Wordle word. Mm. <laughs> and that's as important as anything else to do with Wordle. Mm. Okay. <laughs> it annoyed me. Can it's Susan it say it with without a word? Yeah, it's drawing. about the best. Hi, Caspian. So, Caspian is here, you guys. Hi, Caspian. Hi, Caspian. So one last Wordle thing. The last two days, oh, I know it's it in two. Okay, wait, wait. The last Wordle thing. Go ahead, Mike. The last. The last two days, I've gotten it in two for two days in a row. Oh, my God, it's days. the last thing we ever have to wow. say. About. Oh. Thank you nice. for agreeing that that is the last. Polar thing. has five <laughs> word letters in the word polar. <laughs> so for no reason in particular. <laughs> well, they're gonna run out. You know, they're gonna run out of words. And Wordle. I think there's like 500 and something. Yeah, there's well, a date. I've no, noticed there's like 5,000. It's going to be over with, Susan. It's just like and Bitcoin. They'll probably start it over. We're still talking about change it to we're six more letters about. so we can use Burbit. Hey, can I get one of my Wikipedia? Can I get one of my Wikipedia editors to raise a hand who could go and fix a spelling error right now on the Harriet Hall page? Who who wants it so I can tell them what it is? I, I actually have it open, so I could do that. What is it? Okay, the word. Wait a minute, are you still subject to your BLP? No, band? no, she's dead. Well, she's not, no uh, R in L. L. She's not an L anymore. That's so. true. R in war. Okay, it should be. Okay, so the word, look up the word. It's under selected publications. Just what's the word? I'll do a search for Google. I don't know how to browse browse it. B-A-R-E-T-Z. What? 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 Say it again. K-Y. I told you. Say it again. B-A-R-E-T-Z. B-A-R-E-T-Z. B-A-R-E. I get nothing on B-A-R-E. B. B, B as in boy. Oh, B A R, B A R E. Yeah, that's a uh, author's name, right? Okay, it's B A R A T Z. Okay, thank you. Tell me, and I'll refer. So, uh, Deborah. Yeah. Apparently, Prince Harry's penis <sighs> was frozen. <laughs> what? I and just that. is that an update that I asked for? <laughs> it, it was frostbite at the wedding. <laughs> oh, the wedding. What was he doing? <sighs> they thought it out. This morning, right. I, I updated. Ma Megan was doing. Moving but... along. And really on a trick up I'm the sorry. Yeah, I just... Anybody Anybody in right I don't know why. Well, I... you know. Luckily, Vincent, that is recorded for posterity. That is. <laughs> oh, look at Carl's got a picture of Harriet up. See, look how fun with her quack device. Oh. Yes. Uh, oh, and the name with the uh, the, the duck material Oxy that's in homeopathic uh, treatment. Yeah. Oh. For flu, wow. I think that's for the flu. Yeah, oh, that's for the flu. Because they give you those fly, things. I guess you go I the duck boat too. Yeah. They give you those things. The, Isn't it the, supposed to be like cures like? So how does the duck cure the fly? The flight? story is is very funny, but uh, we, we won't go into later. It. Okay, later. so here we go. It's surprisingly long and complicated. Yeah. Did everybody show up that's supposed to be here? Let me see. Yeah, I think you all are here. Okay, good. Everyone so, that's not here, raise their hand. <laughs> Those who, what do they say? Uh, <laughs> if you have telekinesis powers, can you raise my hand? Right. <laughs> okay, here we are. Today has been a very depressing day. And if you don't know why, good for the moment. We'll talk about it later. All right. So let's go to the teams. Let's go to our team names and see how we did. All right. Team number one is Alan, Carolyn, Paul, and Lynn, Romero, Rob, and Terry. Who are you guys playing as the winning team tonight? We had a name, but it was on a classified document and we lost it. <laughs> oh, isn't that just so depressing, you guys? It's like, can we just have some... <laughs> they found it in his car or something that's in his garage. Like, really... yeah. oh, I'm so tired of this. Okay, so, Rob... Debra, Jane from Oregon, Carl, Mike Wolf, and Peggy. Can you please tell me what your winning team name is tonight? Uh, we just went with God damn it, Biden. 
<laughs> there you go. That's how I feel. That's how you damn it, Biden. <laughs> Jesus. There you go. Jesus H. Oh, Christmas I'm tree. breaking up again. Not great. I think okay. Yeah, a, Rob said it's Oh, look, Rob. Rob. You've never that's looked not, better. That's not good. That's what was happening. <laughs> Yeah, you're, de- you're definitely light bulb. Not, you're definitely not the light bulb. Oh, that was really cool. <laughs> it like is. Your, your head went away. The aliens like have it. gotten to Rob. Yep. It's like, I like he, it. He's being raptured. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> That's right. Uh oh. Thank you, Rob. By the way, Elvis Presley's daughter just died. Yeah. 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 Wow. Wow. She, died. Old news. she died. Yeah. Oh, my we God. did not kill her. We talked about her last week. Jeff Beck died. Yeah, don't, don't bring Jeff up Beck. Jeff Beck around Mark. He's really depressed about that. Yeah, yeah. it sucks. Oh my God. Yeah, it does suck. He was great. We just saw him too. Wow. Okay, anyway, anyway, see, I uh, want happy, 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 happy. Okay, third team Faith, Gil, Jamie, Leonard, Vincent, and Caspian will be on the team. Can you tell me your winning team name tonight? Yeah, we decided after talking about penises a lot to name our team and start name here. <laughs> so you guys spent all your time earlier. talking about penises and you decided you would <laughs> Prince Harry's penis actually <laughs> yeah penis. Here. it's Todger you guys all right so I mean what the uh, hell why would somebody write about that you're the freaking he wrote about it it's I know but why time. would they do that oh sure. it's so all think he's had, he, do you think he's had a normal childhood with like normal no no. no, no, he ain't a normal person. He needs to shut the f and up. You know, I'm sorry. I don't want to hear about his. You know, we... if we don't talk about him, he'll have less impetus to talk about himself all the time. He's trying so to sell stop. a book, and that's the only reason why. So it's let's in there. just stop. <clears throat> Moving on. Just don't buy the book. I, 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 I no, I'm book. trying not to have anything to do with it. Brandy, Kevin, Christy, Kyle. And Troy, what is your winning team name tonight? Wait, wait, don't tell me. That's it? Is that the, is that the name? That's it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, write it in the chat. We wrote the guy's uh, Wikipedia name. What's his name? What is his name? Somebody remember? Wait, wait, don't Tom tell Bodak. me that. Peter's- Peter Sagel. Paul Castle. The Wikipedia page. Okay, wait, wait, don't tell me. Thank you. That's exactly how I feel right now. Don't tell me. Okay. <laughs> ben, Jane in California, who's about to be on an island. Janine, Ron, Zeke, and Mono. I should just take all the people who are about to be on an island and put you guys all in one little group. <laughs> Social first, trivia second. All right. You got the right name. Thank you very much. Yeah, social first, trivia second. All right, so we almost didn't get a name <laughs> because we, we were, were too social. busy being social and we not talking about a name. <laughs> I love it. Okay, that's what we're here for. Is social. The first. headline. The headline in the Daily Beast today: Prince Harry's frosted and penis. Long live the celeb overshare. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> get a life, dude, is what I want to say. All right, if that's all you've got to be famous about. Anyway, all right, here we are. Here we are on January 12th. This last I heard is January 12th, right? Yeah, it is. So we've got lots of stuff to do tonight. We've got lots to cover. We've got a lot to learn. We have so many really interesting categories. I am not psychic, so I do not know what they are, but I know, I just know they're going to be really interesting and we're going to learn something tonight. Hands up, everybody's going to learn something. (laughs) <laughs> thank you okay so tonight we're going to be led off by terry who's going to lead us off in category one followed by peggy followed by faith followed by kevin and we're gonna and we're gonna have a bonus category by ben who promises <laughs> he's going to do mono rules tonight oh no no that's what he told us he's going to said pick 10 states of the united states and <laughs> no okay so the teams that are going to be playing for the tr- for the trivia w- award winning trophy for January twelfth, twenty twenty three tonight. The teams are: we had a name, but it was on a classified document, and we lost it. Versus, <coughs> God damn it, Biden. Versus, insert name here. Versus, wait, wait, don't tell me. Versus, 
Social first, trivia second. All right. Is so, a trivia trophy one of those NFT things? That yeah. Really <laughs> yeah. No, it's even, yeah. More, it's even more diverse than that. Uh, I'm going to take a picture of a trophy and then it's send it Susan. to sell it as an NFT. Susan in a Superman suit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're hilarious. You are so funny, Miss Wordle. Terry Wordle. Okay, Terry, you know yeah. what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Okay. Well, this is a mystery theme. And yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Just a mystery. All righty. That's I'm it. Muting in three, two, one. Mysterious. Oh, mysterious. <clears throat> All right. Oh, I didn't oh. mute. Okay. Now I'm okay. All right. Question number one. This American actor and activist played ex-cop Frank McBride in the 1970s comma drama Switch. He also played traveling salesman Ali Hakim in the musical Oklahoma and the sadistic prison warden in 1974's The Longest Yard. He was also nominated for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his performance in Roman Holiday, 1954, and The Heartbreak Kid, 1973. And before I go to the next one, I just want to say that um, with these answers, like the answer might be uh, two words or a name or whatever. Only one word in the answer needs to pertain to the theme. Just so there you go. Okay. So number two, this Hungarian American actress, businesswoman, singer, and socialite voiced Duchess and Miss Bianca in the animated Disney classics, The Aristocats, 1970, The Rescuers, 1977, and The Rescuers Down Under, 1990. She was married five times and had no children, must have first and last name. Number three. On television, this man directed seven classic Twilight Zone episodes. To Serve a Man, What's in the Box, The Fugitive, Third from the Sun, The Purple Testament, Nick of Time, and The Prime Mover. He also directed almost every episode of a certain popular 1960s to 70s CBS television series. Number four. So, this, so, so, wait, wait, wait. so yeah, says, yeah, yeah. So it says this man, which could be asking for a man's name, but then it says this TV. So which is what are you asking for there? Oh, this man, I'm, yeah, he's a man. But you also said he also directed almost every episode of a certain popular implying maybe you want the name of the popular TV show. So you want the man's name, right? I want the man's name. She wants okay. the guy's name. I could have said he also directed almost every episode of a redacted popular ah. 60s to 70s. Rob is CBS. overthinking it. Was that, is that helpful there? Yes, thank you. Okay, number four. This Austrian-American management consultant, educator, and author whose writings contributed to the philosophical and practical foundations of the modern business corporation was a leader in the development of management education. He invented the concept known as management by objectives and self-control. He has been described as the father of modern management. Uh, number five, unjustly accused of murdering his wife, this character was on the run in The Fugitive 1993 film. I want the character's name. Number six, this restaurant's name is used as a double entendre for both an owl and a part of the female anatomy. Number seven, this comedian, screenwriter, and actor began performing in 1997. Notable performances include the Canadian Montreal Comedy Festival, the Tom Joyner Show, the Monique Show, Entourage, and Deaf Comedy Jam. This person served as writer and producer for the Netflix revival series, Fuller House. He died last year at the age of 54. Number eight. He is the best known, 
He is best known as Gene Autry's sidekick in more than 40 films and in over 100 episodes of Autry's television show. I want the name of the actor. Number five, I'm sorry, number nine. I don't know where that came from. Who was the original host of Family Feud from 1976 to 1985? And number 10, what is the second novel by English author Charles Dickens? It was the, it has the alternate, alternative title of The Parish Boy's Progress. And if you guess the theme, it will help you with the answers. And that's it. Any questions? Great job. No questions? All right. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> I wish you were on my team. Okay, so let me put the people in the rooms and I will be there in a minute. Peggy, you have two different open accounts. Is that all right? Mono, you're on five. Caspian, you are on three. Peggy, I have you in two. Do you have two accounts? I don't know which. I'm one. sorry, I've been talking you and I'm on mute. Um, I, I had to open my laptop even though the, the speaker's not working. So I have two accounts. So I have a speaker on when I'm doing the Bob thing. Okay, well, I'll just send both and we'll figure it out. Just yeah, make... that would be better because then I could use the computer for the chat function. Okay, you know? rewrite one, re reword one so that it, rename one is what I'm trying to say, so that I uh, know which one's you and which one's your computer. But you can go to your room now. Okay. Glad you could make it. I think it's Hello. So, hello. I didn't, I, I didn't hear that because Susan popped in. What was number one? I think it's Charles Grodin. Charles Grodin. Or what was this? Oh. Number one. Oh, I was. Uh, I was having a holiday. All right, was that was, uh... Well, he definitely wasn't Heartbreak Kid. Oh, but I don't know if he was a supporting actor. Put it down, and then when we go to the mystery stuff, it'll tell you if we got it right or not. I'm seeing no, nothing in the ones we what have so far. Did you say it was Broden? Charles Broden, Eva Gabor. No, Broden, G-R-O-D-I-N. G-R-O-D-I-N. Wow, I see no connection. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know if that's right, actually. Well, let's give us a something. And I thought it was Zaza. Gabor. Yeah, I'm thinking probably probably Zsa because I think I don't I, I you never heard as much about Ava Gabor until she was on uh, Green Acres. Ava was the one that was on Green Acres. I thought Zsa was the one on Green no, Acres. Ava was, no, Ava Ava Gabor was on Green Acres. Acres. Um, it was not Zsa. Ava was. Green Acres. <laughs> how do you, okay? The big question is how do you spell Zsa? I've been like trying to figure it out and I'm not getting it. ZSA, ZSA, I think. Yeah. Yes. So, did Alfred Hitchcock direct any of the Twilight Zones? Uh, where's Kevin when we need him? Uh, right on our team. And it couldn't be Rod Sterling? Sterling, there's no T. Rod Sterling. I mean, he was the creator, but he might not have necessarily directed those episodes. Well, but this would be bizarre because the popular TV show they're talking about would be the Twilight Zone for the end of it. So that would be redundant, wouldn't it? it then it's not the Twilight Zone. And it also, because of what you said, it would have to have the Rod Serling in the name of a show. And I don't know. Does anybody remember a name of a show with Rod Serling in it? Well, it could be a different show. Night I, know, uh, I know, but she it said she would have like said Night Gallery or something. She would have said the redacted. Right? Was she Night said, Gallery okay. like later? I don't think it was sixties and seventies. All right, it? listen to me. It's a two part question. And this is when I asked it because she said the man, and then she said of the television. She said, "Would it help if I said he d redacted directed almost every because no?" She said he almost directed an episode of a redacted oh, name of it because. Okay. 
she was kind of saying the name of the TV show would have the name of the person in it. I see. Mm -hmm. And I can't think of anything offhand that that would make sense for if it's not. Well, wasn't there something like called the Hitchcock Hour? Or something? Yeah, there was Alfred the Alfred Hitchcock, Hitchcock Hour, yeah. show. That was something. Perfect. Like. I, yeah, I don't know what year. I think it's Alfred Hitchcock. But I'm really surprised if he directed to serve me. I mean, God. Yeah, I, me too. I, I just saw something all about, like it was a whole hour, some fan of Twilight Zone made an episode all about that one show. I don't remember him bringing up that Hitchcock was a director. Okay, just put it for the moment and we'll figure it out. Okay. It's going to make Hitchcock. sense or it won't. Okay, I don't know if we're four. Did anybody know? Mm, no. Anybody? Modern management? No clue. The only education thing I can think of is I think Glass, William Glasser. And then also there's Stephen Covey, who's Glasser. like the effective habits guy. Sultan. You guys know more than I do. I don't know. I have no idea. Five. So who was the character who was the fugitive in the film? Well, interestingly, she didn't say in the TV show. So maybe they didn't give him a name in the TV show, but they did in the film. That's why she said it that way. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just know who the actor is. <laughs> Who's the actor? Wasn't that Harrison Ford? Harrison Ford. Yes, definitely. Yeah. That, in the yeah. movie, yes. But what was the name of the character? I should know it. Joe, Bob, Tom, Jack. Jack. Jim. They're usually those characters are usually Jack something. Tony. Jack Ryan. Yeah. Jack. Wrong series. <laughs> okay, so number six, we know that, right? Hooters. Yeah. Yeah, it's the only one we all knew. This. How does that connect with anything else here? Okay, number seven, no idea. Bob Saget. Oh, yeah. So I wrote Richard Dawson. No. Nope. Oh, Richard Dawson. I thought it was Richard Dawson. Yeah. Oh, wait, nine. Nine, nine. Oh, oh, yeah, for nine. Okay, yeah. Dawson. Oh, he was so, no. so gross. I loved him, and I. So loved I'm not. Him I'm not. I'm not sure, but that's the name that jumped out at me when they asked this. He question. was in um. The Family Feud. It was Zeros. Dawson. I think almost sure oh. was. The Heroes or yes, Rogan yeah, Heroes. Yes, Dawson. He was yeah, that's who I remember. So watching. So Dick Dawson. Uh -huh. Ooh, Hooters, Dick Dawson. Oh, somebody's here. Come board. Kevin. He's using the name Myrtle, so I'm gonna just ignore him. <laughs> Kevin Wordle, he's got it down. I'm gonna say Does anybody know the second guys. novel? I'm not letting you in the room. By Charles Dickens. I think it's David Copperfield, but I'm not 100% sure. All right. Could be. I'm mean, trying to think of Gene Autry's sidekick is what I'm trying to think of. No, I don't. Anybody know that? Trigger. I'm just kidding. I have no idea. How do any of these... Dusty, dusty something or other. It's like, but... Uh... Dusty, I, I, but I, I, you know, the thing is, all those guys had sidekicks, so you know, Dusty Boots. Oh, where are yeah. we at? Eight. Oh, I thought we were at eight. What did you think eight was? Oh, I have nine. Okay, you. Uh, uh, okay, never mind. Okay, eight. I have them on the wrong line. So did we talk about seven? Seven the, was Bob Saget. The Fuller House. He died last year. Is that him? Bob, Bob Saget. Yep. I mean, I that's what I missed. That's the only guy I could think of because he eight, died. He did die then. So he died right. last yeah, year. That makes sense. And he was in the full house fuller house. all right where's the freaking thing to get somebody in here which one do i use there's no theme how is there's possibly a theme where we have all of these wrong yeah i don't know what the theme well maybe is. that's the theme <laughs> you get everything wrong oh my god i mean the only ones that we're what 100 percent sure on is richard um dawson and hooters 
Hooters and, and, and Saget, uh, right? I would say those are, those are clear. Yeah. So I have no idea. I don't see any connection. Wow. And one of the Gabors, so. Yeah. Eva or Josh, no. How is there a connection here? So we're pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that Paul and I are the first name of the fugitive. We're being joined by Bill London. Was Richard? But did, did that jog anybody's memory? You can't think of the last name. I mean, I only saw it once and that was when it first came out. So. Yeah. I wouldn't have been able to remember the name during the movie. Yeah. <laughs> so you think it's Richard? All right. I don't know what the last name is. Well, and and then what was yeah. the name for number four? What was the answer for number four? I think I heard two different opinions on that. I have no idea. Yeah, so I I know that the only name I know with, with management is Stephen Covey, who does the seven habits of highly affecting people. Oh, that's a good, good. How do you, how do you spell the last name? C-O-V-E-Y. Stephen Covey. Hi, Terry. Go away, Terry. We hit you. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I haven't even tried. I was letting somebody else in the room. So let me look. Okay, you guys, let me see. I'm good at these things. Uh -huh. Okay. Did we decide on an answer for 10? Because I wasn't paying attention. Sorry, guys. Wild guess, David Copperfield. Yeah. Pretty much it's because it's probably the only other one that we know at all that he wrote, which is my case. And and for us, the few that we were pretty sure that we have right, we don't see a pattern. So this doesn't help us, or we have even those wrong. Yeah. Oh, no, wait, tell us. Well, there's a lot of double letter things. Copperfield, Saget, Hooters. Poor Christy is never going to play again. No, no. Did you hear what I said? Gaza, no. Hooters, doubles. There's double things. Copperfield is two Ps. Saget, there's two G's and two T's. There's two O's and Hooters. I'm really reaching and Terry's going, oh, I'm going to show face. Okay, I'm, I'm just throwing it out there that there's that going on to some extent. Well, then number two, if we're following that, would be Zsa Zsa and uh, Ava. Okay, so that's I one see. idea. Stop sign, Rob. But how does that have to do with Richard Dawson? Well, then um, <laughs> it's wrong. <laughs> Whoever said dusty boots for number eight, was that completely made up? Yes. Yeah, because someone said dusty and I just said boots. So. <laughs> That's such a good name. I thought sure. so. <laughs> what, what do we know for sure? We know it's a good, it's a good country sure band there. We know for sure Hooters, and we know one of the Gabor sisters. Yeah. And Bob Saget and Hooters. Hooters. We're sure about Bob. Saget? Sure, I'm pretty yeah. sure it's Bob pretty Saget. Sure. Yeah. Okay, so it's probably the Saget part, not the Bob part. She would have, right? And she said with uh, number two, it's we have to have first and last name. So I guess Zaza Gabor. No, she didn't say you had to. Yes, it, it, it was does. just it was must just have that, first and last name. Well, she's here, yeah. but my, my conception was only one of them is going to be in the theme. Right. Only she one, says if it's a, well for the answer for right, number two, Terry? we have to have both. Otherwise, right. we'd get the wrong sister if we put Gabor. So only so Gabor is probably the important part to the to the theme mystery. Uh, but Zaza or she's saying you have to tell me is it Zaza or Ava because to get the point, because there's two sisters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So but to fit the theme, it's gonna be Gabor. So it's gonna be Hooters, Gabor, Saget. Dawson. Okay, so those are the four. What is it those fit? Because we know those are right. Hooters, Gabor, Saget, and Dawson. Oh my God. Hmm. 
Hmm. Is it the sound of an owl? Hmm. Awesome. Okay. I get it. I get it. A bar. Are they sounds of a bird? If a bird made these sounds, <laughs> would that sound like a bird sound? Yes. Hooter, hooter. Am I right? Hitchcock, Hitchcock. Right? Okay, we'll go with it. <laughs> We're reaching. We got a whole different room in Alan's house here. That's really weird. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you, Alan? Right here. <laughs> It's a bird. It's a, it's a bird. It's it's a a, we're bird. In, I'm in the family room. My wife, uh, Debbie, is behind me doing doing her glass. She's making her fused glass art. So oh, I she makes beautiful. Come children. down in case she wanted to contribute. Okay. Yeah, I okay. kind of I kind of want to put everyone out of their misery. <laughs> no, yeah. no, no. We got it. Yeah. yeah. Please oh, do yeah, that. Of course we did. Oh, sure we did. <laughs> right, guys. <laughs> Are you lying? I, don't or... know. <laughs> lying. I have it figured out. I don't know about yeah. the rest of my well, team. You didn't tell any of us. I told you. Yeah, they're all, it's bird sounds, Terry. They're all bird I... sounds. <laughs> <laughs> now this it's what this category is. Think about my past categories. This is what the sound birds make. I don't know the names of the birds because I'm not like a bird my third past person. Category. All right. No, these okay. are all bird sounds. I the last name. Can the I call them the back? Can I can I you guys. Call them back. Call them okay. back. Call them back. I'm sure it's going to be ten to a zero because one team. Okay, so what? 10, what is a bird zero, sound so. that would? No, not no, zero. Give me another bird sound. Maybe, maybe we have three. Uh, you guys are killing maybe. me. Maybe. <laughs> you guys are killing me. Oh, what? What is the name of it? Give me another bird sound so we can use it for the name of the guy who's unjustly accused of murdering his wife. Well, hang on. Was Bob Saget? Ah, uh, was Bob ah, Saget Hungarian? Were they all Hungarian? Oh, Sean, Sean. <laughs> you guys, this is really bad. Okay, Maybe if we Sean, spell the name Baca, what Baca? At least you're laughing. <laughs> you, sometimes Baca you have to laugh. Or on everything we don't have, you guys. One of these is Baca. I don't know which one. Baca. I killed my team. Tweet. Hey, we forgot tweet. Three. Killed my okay. team. Killed my team. Three. Oh. Three, three. <laughs> really? I say Sean. Sean. Did we figure Sean. anything out while I was gone? Sean's good. No. No. Okay. Unless Susan, Susan is unless Susan it. is correct. And and the theme is birds. <laughs> Her brain. <laughs> and and that doesn't What's another help bird sound, you guys? Quack. Wow. Quack. That's good. Honk. How do you spell brr? Brr. And whose last name is that? Uh, An Austrian American management consultant. His name is Bob brr. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, I almost got a I almost got a smile out of Paul. I'm trying. I'm trying. He's still Ooh. thinking about the answer. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's you know how these. <laughs> I know it's gonna come for me just when there's no time. <gasps> Wait a minute! Oh, oh, I get it now. I know what the theme is. The what? theme is that it's fired. Rob. I saw what you did. <laughs> Mine's better. Oh. Terry, do I get to give our theme whenever it's time to give the theme? Sure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. Um, is I enjoyed enjoy this. Don't look for everybody, so don't this, tell this everybody is, what I think the theme is. All right. Thank you, I enjoyed Kevin. this category very much because this is the style I use all the time. Thank you, Kevin. Yes, but I I think you might be the only one who enjoyed it. Okay. <laughs> and we did pretty well. It. Our team thoroughly I, I enjoyed, we enjoyed it. it. We oh, enjoyed okay. it. We enjoyed it. Yeah, hey, and wait, 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 wait! Before you guys go anywhere, I want to say hello to. We have another participant. <laughs> Bill, show your face. Bill will hey. Bill went London's here. He he's Bill, are you there? I think Hi, I Bill. Know yeah. I'm he tapping on the screen. Bill. Hi, Bill. He's on Hi, mute. Bill. Hi, Bill. He waved. So there you go. All right. All right. Hang in there, Bill. It gets all right. Yeah, it does. <laughs> this was really tough. I I didn't 
didn't realize how hard it was going to be. You know how it is. We All right. Yeah, so. Thank you for being so patient with me. Okay, the first one, the answer is Eddie Albert. He was... Oh. He was, he played Oliver Wendell Douglas in Green Acres. The theme is Green Acres. Acres. Uh, uh, oh, so it's uh, saved the people. Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 ours is better. But I'll we'll wait till you're all done. Okay. And now, and since that's a theme, number two, the fact that she didn't have children, it was Eva Gabor. She played Lisa Eva. Douglas. Eva. So if we, spell, if we spelled Eva Zsa Zsa, is that okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, this is obscure, obviously, but uh, I, I heard one person get it. Guess who? It is <laughs> the director of those Twilight episodes, and most of Green Acres was Richard Bear. And... Yes, someone got that. Okay, then they got harder. <laughs> That's Carl got that one, I bet. Yeah. Number four, the answer about this business guy is Peter Drucker. And Sam Drucker was the storekeeper and regular oh, character on Green Oh, Day. I couldn't remember his name. Now, do we need both first and last name? No, just Drucker. Okay. I couldn't remember his one, name. I, I figured you, but, it would be easy. Because it was the fugitive character, so it's Richard Kimball. You just need Kimball because oh, I Hank. remember that. It's we, just, we, we just got Richard. Is that good enough? It's <laughs> Hank Kimball, played by Alvy Moore, was a confusing bureaucrat. And then number six, this was this was yeah. Okay, yes, you got. I have to make them all like Hooters. Hooterville was the town featured in the sitcom. Oh, oh. that's what gave it away to me. I That's the one. Like, that one in Ava Gabor. I thought, you know, whatever. Ava Gabor. Okay, okay, now this one is you guys. Oh, that fuller, that fuller house really messed everybody up because it was it's a guy named David Arnold, and Arnold Ziffel was the pig oh <laughs> green <God>. acres. <laughs> we thought it was Bob Saget. We used to everybody for other thought answers. it was Bob Saget. Yeah. And and if we just had Bob Arnold Saget that, was 65. Arnold is good at Arnold is fine. Great. Great. So, for so, all the other so was Richard for number five fine? <laughs> we didn't know. No, no, no okay. that wasn't the answer to the. To it was the, Richard Kimball. You had to have Kimball. Kimball. What does Kimball have to do with Green Acres? Kimball. Mr. Kimball. Mr. Kimball. Kimball. The county Hank agent. Kimball. Hank Kimball. He was Kimball. the county Kimball. bureaucrat guy who talked all the time about nothing. And number eight, this nobody could get, I guess. It was Gene Autry's sidekick was Pat Buttram. And he played Mr. Haney, the overpriced salesman. That My team got one. that. Yay, team. It's really? Good, good job. Jane. We, we Jane only had a first name on that, so we didn't put it down because we had no idea who the, what the last name was. It was hard. I didn't really expect that to be gotten. That okay, was this the is, only one I was close to getting. Oh, this is Richard Dawson, the kisser. He kissed everyone. Oh, I know. He's gross. Yeah. Not, and not to be confused with Richard Dawkins. Right. <laughs> Who probably That's doesn't right. kiss anybody. Who does not kiss people? Oh. Oh. Yeah. And Eb Dawson was the farmhand guy, that young Willow. Oh, Eb. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that he was tall. Okay. Eb. I knew it was a character. I couldn't think of his name. So and then number 10 is Eddie Albert's character. Uh was Oliva. Oliver, Oliver Twist. Uh, Oliver. So Oliva. all you needed was Oliver to get that one. You have to say it like Oliva. Oliva. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, Oliva. Darling. Yes, darling. Yes. All right. Thanks for being so patient with me. It was fun. It was very oh, good. We laughed. Okay. That's all. Okay. Okay. Can I tell you what our theme was? I'm almost embarrassed to say it. <laughs> <laughs> we thought we had it all figured out. But we had who is we? 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 Who's, Who's we? we? <laughs> So, yeah. Sounds like a Susan going off on a tangent. Again. Uh, yeah, okay, no. okay. Wait a minute. I had we had Hooters. We had we had Dawson. We had <laughs> Gabor, and we had Saget. And and we said, okay, what did those all sound? No, no, like? not we. No, not we. No, we. No. This was recorded, by the way. So anyone okay, okay. Was devoured we? by your team. Members. All right, now, all right. Bear with me, team peoples. <laughs> You got those four names. Okay, just say that it was the Royal Wee. Gabor, Saget, and Dawson. What what did those four things sound like if there was a theme? 
Tell me if I'm wrong. Or Susan's fever dream. They're wrong. <laughs> Name. <laughs> Name. Their name. No, no. They're, they're raccoons. Oh, here comes Paula. So think about it. They're what you named various raccoons. Wait a second. Those are the names, are the names of the four offensive linemen from the 1967 uh, no, New York Prince Harry and Megan's chickens. <laughs> it's better. <laughs> Hooters. Think about it. Hooters. Hoo hoo hoo. Get it? Get it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> listen, listen. Gabor. Gabor. Noises oh. chickens would make. No, I'm, no, I'm no. sensing Burn a down. whole lot Burn of down. stretching going on Stack here. It. Stack it. <laughs> Dawson, Dawson, what are you smoking? <laughs> Seriously, they're all burnt right downs. Now. And I no, still not. say, no, they're I'm not. Right. Look, they're not you're on a boil water advisory. Is that there. right, Carl? You can make any name sound things. like a bird sound. Kyle. Especially if you have a parrot. Susan, I mean, technically, <laughs> birds can say a wide range of things. Yeah. Only kind of bird brain. Perfect, crazy. Listen, it's good you make. I know. Although I. I don't think any bird could say Jaja. <laughs> I, I feel for you, Team One. I'm sorry. I apologize on that. Thank you. Well, oh, everyone yeah. else will Susan get a chance to have Susan crazy. during this game. So don't there you sound go. like bird sounds? No. Oh, no. The way you said it, it does. The way you said it, it does, but I didn't I mean, think it could that. be anything. One of, one of them is. <laughs> I, I, have a, I have a bird call. Scores, scores. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> I used to work at My team. Did we have Aro for number seven? My team. Oh, we God. did. We okay. have Aro. Great. We put Aro for two answers. All right, <laughs> you people are just annoying. <laughs> okay, let's go. Scores. Who wants scores? Let's get the scores so we can get all on to the next scores, category. Scores. Go scores. Go score. Okay. We had a name, but it was on the classified document, and we lost it. This is Terry's Susan, team, by the way. This is this is Susan's team. We got a two. <laughs> oh, ouch! Oh, two. I, don't, I don't feel so bad. We would have had three house. if, if, if we could use the the mystery wow. category. We guessed the mystery category because we got it. All right, all right. Well, we're doing we're doing better, team. We're, we're not so bad after okay. all. Okay. God damn it, Biden! God damn it, Biden! What'd you get? And what? And. <laughs> Yeah, the only one we didn't know we guessed Arnold for. Wow. No way. We knew that you would have to use Arnold the pig for something. So wow. Good we job, hate you. guys. I wish oh. you were my team. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. 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 Team, team three, team three, insert name here. We had we had four. That's more normal. That's you have to throw out the top scores like and aberration. Don't we, some freaks, I mean, we had some freaks on team two. God damn it, Biden team. Okay. Wait, wait, don't tell me. Six. We had seven. No, I was wrong. We had Bob Saget for that question. Oh, okay. Oh, Saget, Saget. Saget. <laughs> All right. Social first, trivia second. Five. Hey, Rob, Robert. There's no thing on the bottom of my thing that gives me the score. Can you fix that? Or we could all watch me do it. That's the <laughs> best part block. of the whole trivia night, Whoa. Susan. <laughs> we have an hour watching you fix Bill. the spreadsheet. <laughs> Bill, Bill London going, what the hell? The best part is watching Why you your trivia all seven people at the same time. <laughs> yes. What to in the world is going on here? Crazy. I tell you, these people are nuts. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Terry. That well, was a good category. Thank you, Terry. Well, Terry, you no, no thank you, Terry. No. I want you to know <laughs> that your team, the team you're on, got a two. I know. Just letting you know. The curse continues. That's the Gerbic curse, we call it. The Gerbic curse. The average score was 5.4. You know why it's a 5.4? Because your team got a two. <laughs> it's one word G E R B I C U R S E. What is the rule everybody knows? Who is always going to be on your team? Well, I thought you would know. Susan Gerbic is always green on your team. So when you, you write a category, a? write the category with well, something Susan will know. Because you, Harry, you shouldn't have made all the questions so close to bird calls. Because then we would have gotten. Yeah, it. That, that fits perfectly with the video I was talking about. I'm going to share a five second video. Uh oh, it's really funny. With, is it, it, is it what's, me? what Susan's saying? It, it better it. be, or we're taking away your sharing powers. All right, tell your joke. 
Why are you singing so funny? Why? Because. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh my God. Hey, it fits with Susan. Because. That was awesome. <laughs> That was a pretty oh, good one, Kevin. Lord. I liked it. That's a nice chicken because hey, it was just good. Gerbic curse to the suit. Wait, wait, wait. Is that my son oh. who just said that there's a Gerbic curse? You know that that name Gerbic is G E R B I C C U R S E. Gerbic curse. The Gerbic curse. <laughs> All right. Next team, it's Peggy. Now, Peggy, 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 Pe Peggy. Yeah. Are you in an island yet? In Monterey? Or no. Pacific Grove? Are you still no. not in an island? I think by Saturday we might be island. Are you flooded up there on the top of the hill in Pebble, Be uh, Pebble, wherever you are? No, so not flooded yet. No. Boy, if it floods, we're your Monterey not. Peninsula will not be an island. We're in the whole It'll world be a is flood if, if it floods where you're at. But just the way I didn't know. Okay. All right. Peggy. All right. Turn. Let me give her her powers. Oh, my Lord. Okay. People are never coming back to this game again. You guys are weird. All right. <laughs> Peggy's in charge. Okay. Hey, so mind, um, uh, today's Bill team, and I'm Christy, putting it in the I chat. No you know, I'm, 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 did you make, did you give me, uh, did you give me powers of on the course. laptop? Oh, okay. Where's your? Oh, that's the one with George, right? <laughs> that's the one. Yeah. George is getting his. George powers. gets power. Okay. Tonight's theme is famous artists and artworks trivia. And it's not even. Are you going in the? In the there it is. Okay. All right. Muting in three, two, one. You're muted I'm now, mute, Peggy. Peggy. I'm going to put them in two at a time, if possible. Okay, question one is, how tall is Michelangelo's David? And I'm giving you a plus or minus one foot. Question two is, what artist painted Salvatore Mundi, which was the most expensive painting ever sold? Three and four. Copy those, paste those. Number four, in 1976, oh no, you want three, sorry. Up here, you're probably reading it and know the answer already. What late billionaire tech mogul's art collection was auctioned off in November of 2022 for $1.5 billion total, which was the largest single owner sale in art auction history. Number four is in 1976, the artist Cristo installed the running fence, which was a 24.5 mile fabric fence over farmland in two contiguous counties in California. Name one of the two counties. Five and six are coming, actually. Copy. And five is um, one of Frida Kahlo's most famous paintings is self-portrait with thorn necklace and blank. So you have to come up with what goes in the blank. And the hint is it's a type of a bird. Yes, it's a bird. <laughs> Number six, what are the dimensions, that's width and length, of the Mona Lisa painting in inches? And you get a plus or minus of two inches on either end of that width or length. And I think that's generous as hell. But it's a stupid question, so it ought to be generous. Does that include the frame or not? No. It's what you see if you were to stand there and look at it, right? Like Although I, I, I doubt it might not make any difference to everyone's guess, but it's the painting itself. OK. Um, you're reading these. Number eight. Are we at eight? Seven. No, seven. Grant Wood's American Gothic is the male or the female depicted on the right side of the painting? Ooh, the Mandela number, effect. Number eight. The world's third most visited painting in a museum is a Van Gogh at the MoMA in New York. 
what is the name of that painting? The bird is the word. That's not the name of the painting, just giving you a hint there. Number nine, um, what American heiress was an ardent art collector and established a museum of modern art in Venice, Italy? Number 10, Margaret Keene's paintings were famous for what facial feature on the subjects? Okay, so there you are. When you say on the right, does that mean on my right as I'm looking at the painting? Correct. Or like her right as she's looking out from the painting? As you're looking at the painting. Okay. Okay. Is it time for breakout rooms? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. I have one question. Does number one include the pedestal or just the statue? It's just the statue. Okay, what's her face is going in room one. You guys get Paula, because Terry's category. Or whatever, have fun. I'll see you in room two, people. Oh, we love you anyway, Terry. She left before I could say so. Okay, I know a few. Oh, good. Hi, team. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Which ones do you think you know, Jane? Well, I'm not certain, but I think number two, let me read the question again. I think that's Da Vinci. That's I what I think correct. too. Wait, a person named Da Vinci? Leonardo. You know, you've heard of him? You've heard of the Teenage Mutant Ninja oh, Turtle? Two's, okay, I was looking at three. So Mark is here. <laughs> I'm going to ask him these questions real quick. Okay. Three Steve. So how tall is Michelangelo's David? Oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> um, I, okay, how about this one? What artist painted Salvador Mundi, the most expensive painting ever? That that's the one that I think is Da Vinci, and other people. We don't know if that's fine. What late billionaire tech mogul's art collection was auctioned off in November twenty two? Steve Jobs. No, I don't think, I think so. so. Somebody who died. Um, Steve Jobs. Steve, you know this one Steve Jobs Jobs is died. definitely dead, but he's been dead quite a while. Nineteen seventy six. I think. I think. I, think yeah. I do know a few. I do know a few others. Over two. County number five one of the counties yeah is hummingbird okay hummingbird okay i don't, I don't remember five is hummingbird um number six i think i could how, how many inches is the kind recently? of a guess i mean yeah. i don't know the answer yeah. but i think we can american go with uh, uh, but let me go ahead to number seven no, the and say on the right side of the painting. that the um sorry okay the in the American Gothic, the male is on the right, the female is on the left. That's what I have. That's what I okay. came up the with. World's too, right? painting in a museum is yeah, I think it's Online. the guy. Yeah. What is the name of the painting? And number 10, Margaret oh, Keene. Oh, I was wondering, does anyone know, is she the one that did those big eyes? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, is that the eye lady? The eyes, yeah. Oh, yeah, the yeah, eyes, yeah, 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 yeah. And so the, the other one that I was saying that I think I could figure out okay. is, All right, thank you. you know, the well, size well, better, of would, yeah. Mona Lisa. Um, if, you know, I, I certainly don't know the answer, but I think I could figure it out. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's about. I saw it in 1974. I've seen I it. Think. I saw it. Mm, well, more we'll recently, that. That, I thought it's on, on the, it's not uh, super on big, Gothic, right? It's about no. like I was thinking like twenty-five by thirty. It's on a no, not that big. No, not even I that big. It's, I would it's, say it's, it's about two feet by two. Let's see, what does she give? How much grant? How much leeway is she giving? Two inches, I think, is all she gives. Plus how, or minus six. Yeah, and and it's on a wooden panel. It's not on yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, so I would say it's you about can't make a great big two piece feet. Of... Two That's... feet by. I'll mute myself. It's not. It's that like big. it's like twenty inches by twenty four inches. I would go with. I would okay. say I agree with that. Yeah. 20 by 20 it's not four. huge. Okay. It's like we'll never really know because it got burnt up in the glass onion. That was Spoiler the alert. Movie <laughs> well, <laughs> well, not only uh, that, but the, that was a copy because all the other ones were destroyed in in the fire at uh, Count Scarleone's castle in uh, Doctor Who story City of Death. Oh, what a shame! Um, Although the others were all paint, there were like nine copies made after the original that were still painted by Leonardo. Oh. They have written on in felt tip markers. This is a fake on the canvas underneath the paint. <laughs> so Michelangelo's a, David's pretty tall, right? Oh, it's really big. I just saw this like thirty in the news, feet or like something. the other the like a this past week. I saw it in the news, and I saw there was this. It was there, and somebody was standing next to it. It was enormous. Oh, like twelve feet thing. tall, more than twelve. Well, our, without like the 10 or 12. Tall, it was more than 12 feet tall. With like, the paddle, more than without, twice as tall as the person that was standing next to was it. it. Like three times the height of a person. Did we say with or without the pedestal? Without. without so, so he's about what, 10 was it? So was, was it with or was was it more than twice as big as the person? I think so. So that would be six, twelve, be like 15, 18 feet. Maybe. Let's see. How much leeway is she giving us? A foot. A foot. I thought it was about in total about twelve mind. feet with the pedestal. Well, that would be that would not be twice as tall as a person then. That's right. And she, Unless a, and she well, said well, it's, it's twelve feet. That's twice as tall as a person. I don't but think she it's said without the pedestal. Michael said, two for the pedestal. I don't you know if I've ever seen it before, so. You I said with the pedestal, she says just the, the figure. Just the, the figure itself. Feet feet to feet. the top of his head. 10 feet. That's all we, yeah. I would say it would be at least 15 or 18 feet. That's that's pretty big, 18 feet. That's I'm like going to come up with that marble, remember? That's person, not easy to come by. The, the, are we saying... Did, did somebody ask the question whether it was including the pedestal? Yeah, not include the yeah, pedestal. Not including the pedestal. Just, not, just the figure. Oh, okay. Just the I figure. Was thinking, okay, so I was just thinking there was like a, a person, I don't know if he was a workman or what, who was like, and he was elevated like on a scaffold or on some kind of something. And he was like midway in height neck to the so he's like like midway within the 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 length of the statue and and so i would say that he i would say the statue was three times as high as the man but i wasn't taking into account the fact that there was a pedestal i don't even remember how high the pedestal is so let's say 12 feet and move on okay we can come, we can come back to it after we finish everything else all right so two, we have leonardo da vinci Three, Steve Jobs. No, I think. Or I think does anyone remember Paul, going to the? Three, I think three is Paul Allen. Okay. I don't think it's Jobs. Yeah. Yeah, that makes more know. sense. Paul Allen. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, four could be okay. So it's an agricultural county in California, which a lot of them are. Fresno. But, um, Fresno, Kern. Um, uh, what's the other one? Uh, is Merced? I don't know. First, Merced's a county. I think Kern is one of them, but I don't know. All right. That anyone else have a better answer? That's a farming community Kern. in California. So, all right, let's move on. It's five. Big, it's really big. I've already got hummingbird down for hummingbird. five. Hummingbird. Four by twenty-four. Male. 24. What's eight and nine? I think we have to do eight. Eight, I think, is Starry Night. That's a yeah. starry, oh. starry night. Oh, That's yeah. what I guess. I visit I visit the MoMA fairly frequently. That's Ooh. one thing would be nice to do. Yeah. American, American heiress. Probably I was kind of hoping that would be the uh 
what's the one that starts with the V? Isabella Stewart Gardner, but that she made her own museum in Boston. How about the how about Vanderbilt? Yeah, I'm or thinking of, yeah. And a Vanderbilt or a Rockefeller or something. Or Duke. Did she do she did a university? And 10, we got the big eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's pick a name for nine. We got I hundred seconds for nine. What are we missing? Nine. nine. Harris. The thing in Venice. Hertz. Um, Heinz. Starkist. <laughs> <laughs> we want tuna as the taste good, not tuna. Oh, is it good. is it that lady from the Walton family? Oh. Well, she had like the art. Yeah, I don't know. I think it might be a Vanderbilt. Except they had a Vanderbilt here. I mean, that was like here. Say Vanderbilt. Harris. Why would you have one? Anyone, uh, so Vanderbilt instead yeah, of Walton? That's fine. Why would they why would you take the American heiress and put it in Italy? Maybe she had a boyfriend over there. Maybe it's Italian art. Yeah. And can't be pulled they, out. They've already got, they've got plenty. I know. That's right. if nobody, if you don't know, it's not discussing. It's not going to. Yeah. Well, Mark, already had yeah. 10 points from last round. But just not. Arnold. She got, what, she got, what, got uh, what, seduced by Berlusconi. Did, did you say we got 10 points from the last round? Because You guys got 10 points in the last round because you're oh, just okay. not. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> I, was say, what's we I only do one answer last time. Right, so what did we decide? The bird sounds made more sense. What did we decide on nine? Vanderbilt? I yeah, guess. I get it. Yeah. All right. Very good. You know, I think Walton. It's but... Paula. Paula, you're gonna say the ones with dimensions, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, everybody's back. Everybody's hey, back. What you got? Back nice in black. standard, a nice standard um, category. Didn't frighten people off. Good job. <laughs> they won't like the answers, probably, but. No, I've got it's, one of them it's because more, of my it's shirt. It's more of a trivia kind of thing. Okay. It has nothing to do with dinosaurs, but I just like this dinosaur pattern. <laughs> so, number one, Michelangelo is 17 feet tall. Wow. Yeah. Wow. He's as tall as a giraffe, which is why the giraffe's in the picture. Uh, <laughs> wow. So how big was Goliath? It looked like 16 feet. Yeah, uh, Goliath must have been awesome. Number two was painted by Da Vinci and sold for $450.3 million. Yay. Recently. Paula knew that. I was in the room when she got that. Wow. <laughs> Number three is price. Paul Allen. Oh. All right. Uh, Thank Paul you, William. Paul Allen was a collector. He died young, but had a lot of art. Apparently, Number he was killed four. by a dinosaur. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I know. Isn't that good? Doesn't that look good? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Marin or Sonoma, you can have Yay. either. Hummingbird is in the Frida Kahlo painting. Yay, Paula. The Mona Lisa is 30 by 20. Oh, that's bigger wow. than yeah. that. It was bigger than I thought. Yeah. It was bigger than so I if we thought, said 12 by 18, would we get it right? We thought it was yeah. way tinier than that. Well, it looks tinier because you're you're in this giant building with a million people in front of you. I can't enjoy a, a painting like that. I don't think I could ever go to the Louvre or anything like that. I would not be able to not enjoy the, the art. The gentleman oh, is on the right as you're looking at This is at. a good question because, boy, I had to think about it. You need to visualize it. And that's his daughter, not his wife. Nuh uh. Yes, yes, it is. Yeah, yeah it is. His daughter, daughter, not the wife. Do you that see how young she looks, like, Susan? Oh, wow. Yeah, he definitely looks older that. than she is. It's in the yeah. South, could be both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the third most visited painting in the world is the Starry Night Van Gogh right. at the MoMA. Did you get that one, Vincent? Vincent. Yes, we did. Starry, yes, we Starry did. Night by Oh, yeah. Uh, Vincent yeah. Vent by uh, Don McLean. Oh, yeah. Number nine, the American heiress is Peggy Guggenheim. Whoa. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, the Guggenheim. 
the very beautiful modern Guggenheim yeah. modern art on the Grand Canal. Now, what is her, what is she an heiress from? Yay. Um, you know, the big Guggenheim family thing. Like the museum and. Is it like oil? Guggenheim Museum. They had a bunch of money. I think it I was know. originally oil, but a lot of investments. Yeah. You know, the usual carpetbagger kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Margaret Keene was the big eyed artist. Yay. They did a documentary on her, and it was her husband took credit for her for years. Yeah. Yeah, he was a scumbag. He sure. was a scumbag. There was also what a Tim Burton movie one again? on that. That right? I also don't know why anybody would want to take credit for those hideous things, but that's just me. <laughs> because they were making money. That's what happened when they started fighting up with the money. Yeah. What was the answer to number one again, Peggy? Uh, 17 feet. As tall as a giraffe. I told you. I don't know. If you look at that slide, it doesn't look like you. If you take the pedestal away, it's 17 feet. But there's a but human. Did you see the people standing in front of there's it? There's nothing there <laughs> to. Uh, no, to yeah. There was a person in the same shot. I want to see it again. <laughs> there actually was. Are you putting them in the chat, or did you already do that and I missed it? It depends on perspective, too. I'm putting. I just mm. put them in the chat this instant. Oh, okay, good. Because my computer, the Zoom crashed. So. Okay, you guys ready? Yep. Okay, so I put Paula on team one. We had a name for it, but it was on classified document. We lost it because. Team one sucks. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> we love you anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Come back time, team one. Come back. Don't take All that. All right. Place. So team one, we had a name, but it was on a classified document and we lost it. Seven. Seven. See? See? Good job. All right. Insert name here. Eight. There you go. Okay, team five, I gave you Bill London. You guys better do good. Social three. First. What? Three. For reals? Yep. Wait, wait, don't tell me. Four. To be honest with you, I would have gotten like zero. <laughs> 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 I should make fun of it. God damn it, Biden. There you go. No That's way. Yay. Yeah, we, beat, we beat the team with Carl on it. Last place is making a making a, a test. 5.6. Good surprise. job. Good yeah, job, Peggy. Nice. Hey, we're not last anymore. Uh -uh. <laughs> Good score. Good score. So do they get Peggy any? They get that extra player? Because they're not last. <laughs> no, because oh. um, can I can I quit while I'm behind? No, no. Okay, so. I need to take a photo so nobody move. Everybody get on the screen so I can take a picture of you. I'm moving. Our world famous photos. Did, did you have the wrong number not answer in number? Yeah, nine? I was going to bring that up. I don't okay, think nine Bill, was Kirk Douglas. <laughs> he was really good, Aris. <laughs> All right. Okay, one, two, three. Let me make sure I got it before anybody goes anywhere. Yeah, that era. Bill's Kirk afraid to be Douglas. associated with us. <laughs> <laughs> Kirk Dang. Douglas is not the answer. <laughs> That's kind of what we thought. Yeah. You just told us otherwise a few minutes earlier. You got it? it was Paul Newman. Yeah, the correct yeah, answer, okay, Michael well, Douglas. He is an answer too, either. So that's weird. Neither is Paul Newman's not the answer. So for I, those of you who have never been to the Louvre, I have. Uh, it's really not <laughs> that massively crowded a museum in my rec reckoning. Um, I mean, it's busy, like a busy museum, but it's not packed except for the Mona Lisa room, which is a nightmare. Yeah. When we went to the Louvre, yeah, very few people actually were at the Mona Lisa. In fact, they had artists in front of it with easels copying the painting. Yeah, maybe but that was years ago, maybe the you know, last 10 years. I don't remember this. that. Mostly what I remember about the Mona Lisa was being smaller than I remembered, though smaller than I expected, but not as small uh, yeah. as I thought it was. Yes, and that the guards yes. were like ready to kill you if you tried to take a flash photo of it. Okay, so yeah, we're going to take a five minute. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know.
I don't know how many of you have been. I don't I know how many of you've ever been to the uh, Art Institute in Chicago, but uh, the first time I came in here, I'd never been, and I I was looking for something to do because I was on a I was on like a, I had a concert, but I had nothing to do that that, that day. So I saw this place. I thought it was a school. So I go walking in and I'm looking around. I say, I've seen that. I've seen that. I've seen that. And everywhere I'm going, I say, I've seen these pictures. I finally get, and I'm looking at uh, American Gothic. And I said, this is ridiculous. So I turned around to one of the docents or whatever. And I said, are these originals? And the guy, the guy, the, they're ready to throw me out of the uh, the gallery. I mean, it's, um, it's incredible. If you ever get to Chicago, uh, you want to see the Art Institute. It's, it's really pretty amazing. So I found a page, which it doesn't help my team because we were off by way more than this, but the statue is actually closer to 16 feet. So a lot of places have given the wrong one because they made a bronze of it somewhere and it was larger than the actual one in Florence. Just so everybody knows. Or the source you found is wrong. Uh, it looks pretty detailed. Could be, but I don't know what Peggy's source was, so. Yeah. Is Susan still here? Everybody changed their last name to Wordle. Don't you dare. I see you. <laughs> she, I hear you. you. <laughs> I'm recording too. People will be banned. I have I have her powers, you know. My so if useless I wanna, powers. If I want to leave early and, and not have an excuse, I can just change my name to Wordle. No, I'm going to change your name. <laughs> Have you put your powers to the test? Ooh, you want to see what a troll, uh, what happens to a troll person? Hey, um, could I get somebody to fix this? I've asked several times. And I'd like somebody on Wikipedia to fix this problem. If you look at Harriet Hall's page, the photo I just uploaded is still the wrong photo and it's stretched. Can you tell me if it's it looks stretched to you guys? I'll send you the page. So I cannot get this thing to look right and it's bothering me. It's been hours. It's it looks stretched to me. I put it. I uploaded a new photo. It's the uh, which uniform which photo? Picture. The the one with her in a uniform. Looks fine to me. It does. Mine's looking like this. It's like elongated or something. Are you just, seeing one that uh, is? Because I re-uploaded this photo. It's I, fine I, to me. Uh, huh? So it's the it's the one just above criticism of alternative medicine. Let me show you what mine looks like to me. So here, you tell me if this doesn't look weird. See how it looks stretched? It does not uh, look like that to me. Okay, nope, so, it's, yep. it looks so it's proper it's to me. My, it looks okay. looks fine to me. And okay, so is the picture you're seeing, is it the brand new one that's almost all black with no, there should be, like I removed the guy that's standing behind her, the three little red yeah, dots. Yeah, yep, just her. It's just her. So it's, it's the same picture the that you just picture. showed. It's the one you just showed, um, but it's not stretched. 
Okay, but does it have? It's and it's just her. I know. So you can't see a man kind of faintly in the back. Nope. That that's no. why I said it's just her. Okay. No man. The fic, the picture I uploaded has uploaded, but not on mine. I'm refreshing it. It's not changing anything. Susan, Susan, oh. hit hit uh, hold down shift and hit F five. Is it going to do something, or are you just making me do? No, something? no. Sorry. Seriously, what it does is it bypasses your cache. It's probably that it's still cached on your computer, and it's and when you hit ref just a standard refresh, it doesn't. Oh, beautiful! <coughs> it's going to make like balloons come out or something. No, like something no. Says, did it? Did it actually change it? <laughs> yeah. That looks yeah. beautiful. Shift F five essentially tells it ignore what's in your cache. Go to the website to refresh the data. I'm going to put that someplace important because that's there. You go. Really good put it on a problem. sticky note. Yeah, the so picture Rob, looks fine. Rob. Yeah. Apparently, we're being recorded. Yeah, Just I thought I'd let you know. I did hear that. Yeah. Okay, so we're back. I'm back, so you're back. Break is over. Some of us never left. Well, I'm here in spirit. All right. Are you spiritually here? I'm spiritually here. here. Hi, yeah. Hamilton. How are you, sweetie pie? So, so I have a question about Harriet's Wikipedia article. So yes. It says her birth name is Harriet Hogue. Do we have a citation for that? I believe so, because I think Lee put it in this morning. I don't see one. And I think it's the same citation she was using for the birth date. And it seems to be somebody's removed the citation and moved it somewhere else. What the hell? Well, this morning, I saw a citation in the info box. And it was like tied to all that stuff. And I have a feeling there's a rule that you don't put citations in info boxes. <coughs> but it, there was one earlier today. And it makes sense. Her last name isn't Hall. It's got to be something else. Yeah, but of course, we don't assume things without a citation. You can't just say that. I don't yeah, so she married Monty Hall. She didn't change her name. Yeah. No, I think there I think there was a citation there this morning, and it got moved or something. So I'm not questioning at the moment, because I'm just happy that the page looks so good right now. And I'm hoping they've got all the other pages completely done. I was told they they were working on the Italian page. And Susan. Yes. Yeah. The time page has been updated. Uh huh. I'm going outdoors. Can you hear the frogs? Oh, yeah. Yes. Let me hear. Wait, wait. Quiet, everybody. We live on a pond. Can you hear the frogs? I can't hear him. I thought I did when you first went out. Maybe yeah. they stopped croaking because you were outside. Jane's category is things frogs say. <laughs> Bud wise. Er. Rivet. <laughs> How deep is a frog pond? Rivet. Deep. Don't fall in, Jane. Oh. <laughs> that was good. That's I love that way too much. Jane, hey, don't fall yeah. in. Like that. He's writing. He's writing it down. It hasn't so, started raining here yet, so I guess we're. Okay. I have a I have a Wikipedia question for you. Wait, I think Rob's enlightening himself yeah. or something. Yes, he is. If, if you're writing an article about someone, are you not allowed to use their autobiography as a source? It if depends them... on the autobiography. It depends on what they're trying to say. If they make some sort of outrageous claim, like right. their penis is frozen or something like that. <laughs> You you could use the person's autobiography in, in regards to their birth date yeah, and their maiden name, name right. and that type of thing. Yeah. If it's not controversial, same with yeah. like a biography. It doesn't even have to be published. You can use their Facebook page or their Twitter yeah, account. Yeah, we can use if Twitter They say something un, unremarkable. If it yeah, says like what college they went to, okay. unless your name is George Santa. <laughs> well, <laughs> it, assuming that's his actual name. Okay, yes. guess I'm new. So it, for birthdays and stuff, you can use face, their Facebook page? Yes, if notability has already been established and it's not weird, like they're not like taking a decade off of their year of birth or something like that. But if it's if it's a standard thing, you could use it that nobody's going to challenge. Same with like what year you graduated from college or high school or your middle name or. Okay. <clears throat> 
and because you're citing it and you're going to say this is according to the facebook page you're going to or the twitter page or whatever somebody could challenge it they could say hey wait a minute his last name is not snot rag <laughs> and if and if they can uh, uh, come up with a better citation great or they just remove it saying this there seems to be an argument about this or whatever or i can't imagine what or, george santos wait a minute. what was that last name it's not rag <laughs> okay double checking are you writing it on your yep <laughs> you guys are so awful <laughs> okay so we have a couple things that have happened the last couple of days and at the moment i'm still processing what happened today or last my middle name is wordle oh, God. all right so we have some good stuff okay one of them is uh i hear there's this podcast called data skeptic and one of the things that data skeptic is doing is they're starting a new series of like a series of topics and the series that are going to be out now is going to be on surveys and we like surveys because we're we survey like, says the survey says <laughs> so this podcast data skeptic has a survey out right now and it's called um it's called uh you go to data skeptic oh here comes karen close there's the link survey at data skeptic and and it's and, and you listen to the podcast he's got all these reasons why he wants to do survey things and it's very interesting so go ahead kyle why don't you tell him since me yammering on sure no i appreciate the intro so uh data skeptic we do different seasons where we cover a topic for a while our last one being all about advertising technology and for the next couple of months, it's all about surveys. So how do you design good ones? What's wrong with the bad ones? What can you measure? What can't you measure? And all things uh, around uh, surveys and survey design. So as part of that, we launched a survey platform. It's a big deliverable for my team. So if anybody would be so kind as to share some information about yourself at that link, we're going to report on that during the show. So every week there's new polls and surveys, and we're going to share the results, not only with the people who take it, but with the listeners on Data Skeptic. Very interesting. So truthful things, because I know that my people are going to tell truthful things, right? Oh, we have a way of measuring that, actually, that we'll get to in a couple of weeks. So we get the lie. OK, so I did mine. So I'm telling you guys to do yours. It'd be fun. Uh, we also have um, Mark and I just did Rationable Podcast that came out with the Abhijit, uh, Abhijit Patra. Yeah, he, he did a really interesting thing. Another thing we did is we found a, uh, a Portuguese podcast that was um, a man who is, <laughs> he showed the whole Thomas John uh, Holy Kool-Aid video, and then he just explains what's going on in the video in Portuguese, and he is really animated. I watched it last night. It was fascinating to watch. And tomorrow night, Mark and I are going to be on a podcast for Brett Hall, it's going to be on. Well, it's not a podcast. It's a it's a YouTube channel. So if you guys come out, California time at four, we're going to have we're going to be talking psychics, and so that should be interesting. I'll put up a I'll put up a link later today. Um, another thing is Mark and I are going to be doing a. I don't know if you guys have heard of this channel called Vice News or Vice Videos. Vice. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're we're going to That's be big. talking to them on Monday. We have. A, they want to talk to us and do a video. Apparently, they they do really well. I think I've seen a few of their videos. They're really big, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah they they do good stuff. Okay, so I told them, I will I will talk to them no problem. But there's only two conditions: the people cannot leave the video no thinking that psychics are real, and that psychics are helpful. <laughs> so they and they promised me we wouldn't that they oh and we would not be making fun of people who are believers in psychic. So they promised me those things. So I said, okay, we'll do this. We'll, we'll do it with you. Okay. No problem. Um, we have two birthdays from what I understand. Faith and Alan have had birthdays this week. Is that right? Yep. Is anybody else claiming to have a birthday? I have one. Just but no, nowhere near. No. I, I have one. I think everybody has one. Okay. So what we're going to do is what we've had a lot more than for. one. Especially since yeah. we're, since we're recording, and you guys all know You've been born more than works, once. How <laughs> it works with Zoom is that we're not all on the same. 
it's not all on the same um, wave, so it's going to make it more interesting. So <laughs> we're going to sing happy birthday to Faith and to Alan. The rules are, as you all know, you can do whatever tempo you want. Do your best. And whatever, and whatever key you want. Key you want. You can even exchange the word. With the arrival of Ant-Man and the Wasp oh, Quantumania oh. on February 17th, the next year of Marvel hey, movies. Karen? Hey. <laughs> was that Karen or was that Carl? That was, that was Carl. 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 Fine. Please, oh, Karen, it, was, it was superheroes. It would, it's not me. <laughs> so um, on the count of two, we're going to sing happy birthday, Alan and Faith, or Faith and Alan, whatever we want. And since we're recording it, this is their special moment. So it's Faith. And Alan here, I want to see them. Where are they? I don't see them. And unmute yourself. There's Faith. Hi, Alan. There's Alan. Okay. One and two. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday, birthday in particular birthday order. Birthday. Happy birthday to you. you. And many I, more. I, 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 thank you thank guys. You, guys. Yep. you are the most amazing. You follow the directions better than anything I've ever had. In Faith, Faith and Alan sounds like a furniture company. <laughs> wow. I hope you guys have yeah. a very happy birthday. Alan, it could be five words or five letters. So we're like wordle names. Oh, that was your, bir that was your birthday present, birthday. Alan, by the way. Yeah, yeah, thank you. All right. All right. Well, so, so Susan, I, Susan, I do have an announcement. You skipped me on behalf no, of no, the triangle. No, no, I had to sing because I knew they needed it in their hearts. Uh, uh, on behalf ahead, of the Rob. triangle <laughs> skeptics, <laughs> on behalf of the triangle skeptics, uh, are you still here? Um, yes, uh, Faith is here. I don't see Romero. Yes, Romero's here. Yes, so they got they got my talk I did for them like three months ago up just the other day. I was wondering why that was, I didn't remember. Uh, so yeah, I, I did another talk, much longer and more in depth than the one I did at SciCon on the Great Australian Psychic Prediction Project. So there it is, if anyone likes to listen to it. And we had a nice Q&A session too. Thank you very much. He's got the link out to us. Very good. Are you telling me psychics aren't real? No, oh, they're real. They they exist. The people yeah, who say they are exist. They be real. <laughs> so is there anything else that I need to announce? Okay. So the bad news is, is that we lost a very important person in our community, Harriet Hall, who was a friend of mine, and a friend of many people here on the uh, room. And it's been very sad. I woke up this morning and found out. About it. So, <laughs> not like somebody's trying to start their car there. Is that you, Cass? So, uh, I just want to let everybody know um, she is a just an inspiration. All of us. She was a very important person in our community. A doctor. She was a skeptic doctor. She wrote for Skeptical Inquirer. She wrote for Science Based Medicine. She wrote for. Uh, skeptical skeptic. skeptic magazine skeptical inquiry magazine she oh i'm looking at her italian page no wonder it's not making sense to me as i'm looking at it okay back to english there we go. oh no that's that's french okay here we go there it is she was uh, um a um she was a she actually was a pilot she was in the air force she wrote a book called women um Women aren't supposed to fly. Women aren't supposed, aren't supposed, to, fly. Aren't supposed to, fly. to fly. And one of the things you may not know, besides she had a really amazing sense of humor, and she, it was, what's the word? Body? Roddy? Body? body? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She had a quite of a, like a sense of humor for people who are in the military, you can kind of say. And, but she, she was very quiet. She had a very quiet voice like this. So you had to get way in there and she would tell you a joke and it, and and it just didn't feel like it came out of this. You're like, whoa, Harriet. <laughs> but she was great. She's a great writer. She did a lot of great things for the GSOW project, the Wikipedia project I run. She was, she was just a wonderful person. Another thing that you may not know is that a long time ago, she was the person who was in the military, right? Okay, so whenever you went overseas, 
they used to pay for your spouse transportation to go overseas benefits and so on but if you but if your spouse was a male they didn't necessarily cover it so there was a supreme court case and they managed to change it but this was harriet came in at the same time so it was like this woman's supreme court case and then harriet's harriet's like like right after you know harriet didn't end up having to go to court but it was like her the case had such a difference to her and her husband i i'm not saying that right but i haven't really thought it through but anyway so I haven't really processed it yet, but everybody is kind of like stunned. Anybody else have anything else to say about Harriet while I'm on the subject? Just that she was a, an amazingly kind, gentle, and overwhelmingly intelligent person. She just she was great. Yep. I highly recommend her book. And you would know her if you had attended PsyCon or TAM or, TAM. or the Skeptic Toolbox up in Eugene, which cast uh, you actually went to. At my very first PsyCon, I happened to pay for one of the luncheons when they used to do that. And right next to me was Harriet Hall. Um, I didn't know too much about her, but I, I kind of recognized her name when someone else mentioned who it was. So we talked a little bit. Uh, but then I asked for her contact information saying I worked for GSOW and I thought maybe she can come in handy at some point. And specifically, it did because at that same conference, uh, the Science Moms premiered their documentary. And I went home after the conference and wrote a Wikipedia article for it. But then there was a big argument. No, it's not notable. There's no reviews of it. This needs to be taken down. So I wrote Harriet and I said, Harriet, you saw it. What do you think of it? Can you write a review? And she did for science-based medicine. So I used that to save the article and it survived mm -hmm. on Wikipedia because of her. And to date, there is something like 35,000 views. People have seen that article. She also wrote for What's the Health? We were having trouble get there was no criticism on the on the netflix show what the hell there was nothing so i asked her you know could you write something up because she's notable she's a doctor notable meaning she had a wikipedia page she she's a doctor and she's writing for a notable place and she watched the documentary for us and then she wrote me back and she says susan you owe me you owe me <laughs> however many hours it took me to watch that thing she says she says, you know, it, it was like a big deal watching it, but she wrote it up. And because of her, we were able to write the Wikipedia page. Well, the Wikipedia page already existed, but it was all fluff because that's all the citations that were there. So once we were able to, um, she published her article, we were able to use the article to put serious criticism on this page. What the hell? And she's done that for us for several other things. She was just a wonderful giving person who would do go out of her way and she understood what gsow was all about and why it was important and we're here to educate people beyond our choir and if we don't have good critical sources but not not mean when i say critical sources i'm not talking about like gossipy or hit pieces or ad hominem but really well-written pages real written critiques about it from a person who's a medical doctor and you know what i mean Okay. Right. Here's here. Here's her quote, which is on the Wikipedia page for um, what the health um, what the health espouses the fairy tale that all major diseases can be prevented and cured by eliminating meat and dairy from the diet it is a blatant polemic for veganism biased and misleading and is not a reliable source of scientific information. Um, I for you. Thank you, Rob. So I just want to announce that I have finished writing my book on psychics, grief vampires. It's it is the moment done okay the research is done the paper's done everything's done i've submitted to ben radford he's going to look at it and give me a, a real honest answer if i should try to publish this and then he's going to help me find a publicist if he is now of course i know there's a lot of other stuff that i have to do but the hard work of that i think is done so whether it publishes or not i don't know but one of the things is i i you know i didn't know I did talk about Harriet Hall in one little bit of the book. So it made me feel good. I was talking about her, how she used the phrase uh, tooth fairy. I think I mentioned it, tooth fairy. Yep, tooth fairy uh, science. Carl just put a link to 
for that mm -hmm. article where she mentions that. Yeah. She's very okay. So uh, we'll probably end up talking about her again because she's this is all fresh to us. And so thank you for bearing with us, all those people who don't know who Harriet Hall is. But we really, there's a lot of us here who care a great deal that this happened about this. And it's, it was a shock. We haven't had time to process it yet, I think. So we're moving on. Um, the next team uh, member is going to be who in the heck have I got next? Faith, the birthday girl. Hey, Faith, I hope you have something really inspiring and fun for us to come out of that because that was kind of a downer, but you know, you know, it is. Hey, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, you got something happy for us? Is it quilting or kittens or? It is, there's no kittens involved, no quilting, and it is a mystery category. Does it have puppies? It does not have puppies. How about bird sound? Mystery, yes. <laughs> no, there are no birds involved. Yes. Um, but all of these things are connected. Yes. So like Faith, you could say that the bird is not the word then. Uh -huh. Bird is not the word. Uh -huh. <laughs> very good, that's very All right, good. Faith, you've got your powers, girl. Go for it. Sorry for the all long right. break, you guys. We don't normally take a long break like that. I don't know how to. I don't. Do I have muting powers? You no, have I'm, all I, powers. I, I shall do anything everyone. that I can do. Three, two, one, mute. All right. So, question one. Oh, oh hold on. Okay. okay. Apple aired the commercial for the first Macintosh during Super Bowl 18 that was to be released for sale two days later. Given the dystopian theme of the commercial, it's no surprise that Apple chose this producer and director to direct the commercial. Name the director. Question two. Hold on. I hate apples. I'm actually on a Macintosh and I can't like right click I have to right click and paste it. I can't use the commands. Um, astronaut Bruce McCandless II completed the first untethered spacewalk by using the manned maneuvering unit. Which space shuttle had the honor of hosting this mission? Question three. Which film was John Hughes' di directorial debut? Question four. The longest Major League Baseball game in history took place against the Chicago White Sox and the Milwaukee Brewers. It lasted eight hours and six minutes and how many innings? I'm going to give you plus or minus three. Question five. Dub the blank effect after a game. This occurs when people devote so much time and attention to an activity that it begins that it begins to pattern their thoughts, mental images, and dreams. What game is it named after? And for some reason, okay, it's not. Never mind. There was something happening in the text that I'm pasting from, and it's not pasting out, so that's good. Number six, Virgin Airlines conducted its first inaugural flight to Newark, New Jersey, from which of London's six international airports? Question seven, Joseph Kittinger made the first solo transatlantic crossing using what mode of transportation? I knew there'd be kittens in here somewhere. Kittinger, not a kitten. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How many seasons did Alex Trebek host Jeopardy? And who won video of the year during the first ever MTV, MTV Video Music Awards? And it is a multiple choice. And so your options are Michael Jackson's Thriller, Cindy Lauper's Girls Just Wanna Have Fun, The Cars You Might Think, The Police Every Breath You Take, or Herbie Hancock's Rocket. And question 10. Band Aid performed Do They Know It's Christmas to raise charity funds for the famine in what African country? Mm 
You sure it doesn't have anything to do with bird sounds, right? It does not have anything to do with bird sounds. The one did not copy over, so. Susan, since there. you're not in my group, I'm going to suggest cat sounds because of the kitten name. No, no. Frog sounds for Jane. Mm -hmm. But all these things are connected. Uh, you don't get a bonus point if you figure it out, but it may help you figure out how to solve some of the other ones. So, all right. Thank you, Faith. You're we'll welcome. Our rooms. Somebody send us to our rooms. I will put those people in who are not, who fell out of the fell out of the rooms. Deborah is in room two. Karen, did I have you in a room? You just joined us. You get to be in five. Lucky you. I'm I'm ended up in the I should be in two, I think. Do, 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 do. Hi Karen. Do, 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 do. Thank you. Hey. I need it. I need it on the other one too. I did. Oh, did you? Yeah. It hasn't come I up on you. the other one. I got you in two screens. That's great. I haven't gotten an invitation. I moved on. you. Didn't I put you in there? Yeah, both of them are, are been told to go there. It's just not showing up on the on the iPad. You are there. I'm not seeing anything that, you, that is an invitation. Don't go anywhere. Let Join me breakout room. Oh, I still apparent. Do I still have power? No, Never mind. I'm gonna have to give it to you. Let me find you so I can give it to you. It's too weird having you. Well, I guess you figured it out. Okay. What am I doing? I'm going to three. Oh, it's going. What a day. Here we go. Apple. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Oh, look, there's Caspian. I haven't seen him in ages. Like two weeks. No, it's been forever. So, um, I, is number one Ridley Scott? Yes. Thank you. And number two, I think, is Challenger. I want to say that, yeah. I have no idea for, I don't have any idea for any of the others. Well, I, I think number, I think number seven is the hot air balloon. Yes. Not a clue on number eight. Number four was, I believe, 26 innings. That's it. That's a lot of innings. Um, let's see, number six, Virgin Airlines. Let's see, Let's see the heat through. Let's see, could it be Gatwick? Uh, number nine was uh, a thriller. I a thriller. I want to say it was Rocket. Yeah. Rocket. Really? I'm surprised, Cassie, you even know what Rocket is. I've seen the video for that. It's terrifying. No, it's great. Do do do. What a thriller was with, with the legs going like this and everything. Oh, that was great. I wonder if Thriller was just a later period. I wonder if that was after. Was MTV it was Thriller thrilling. was, you know what? I think it might be Rocket only because Thriller was a little later in the 80s. Later, yeah. It a could, it could bit, yeah. definitely have been Thriller have received an award. I wouldn't doubt it at all, but. Oh, I remember when the video Rocket came out. Rocket was early. Yeah. Unless it was yeah. girls just want to have fun. No, she kind of, that was another thing that came after, like, you know, maybe two or three years after MTV. She was made by MTV. Number 10, I believe, is Ethiopia. That sounds oh, right. yeah, you're right. It is Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Yeah. Um, okay, so, oh, well, there we go. Ridley Scott, 
hot air balloon, we're missing, rocket. We're missing three and eight. So we've what, got what, what theme. Um, the theme has got something to do with like in the sky, right? Rocket. Ethiopia. Twenty six innings. Well, no, it could be just twenty six. Not sure what Ridley Scott uh, has to do with 26. How about 80, 80 year, um, um, around the world? No, I don't know if I'd have a rocket for it. Ethiopia? The guy who went around the uh, the world in 80 days. Who? I don't believe. Jules Verne wrote the book Around the World in 80 Days. Yeah, I, I yeah. like the uh, I like the answer we someone said for number six, which was Gatwick. Gatwick. Yeah. Gat Gatwick. Why? I think. Um, I think there's a statue of Gatwick that commemorates that. I'm trying to remember. One of them. Alex West Trebek of, hosted a lot of seasons of Jeopardy. He was on there for. Yeah, I'm not sure that that's a precise enough answer. Well, when did oh, Jeopardy, I know. <laughs> when, when did when did Trebek's Jeopardy start? Like eighty five or so. Don't remember. It's been on, gosh, ages. He was so forty thirty five seasons. Thirty thirty five seasons. Yeah. So number five is really interesting. Did you guys name that before I got here? Because I don't know what it is. Oh, let's no. see. The blank. Could it be when you're zoned out? Could it a be game after Twister, Scrabble, oh, no. Monopoly, Solitaire. Frog, Frogger. Oh, it could be a video game. That's kind of what I was thinking. When you zone Space out. Invaders. Spaced out? Spaced out? Space Invaders. Well, spaced out would make sense. Um, yes. Could it be? That's just, that's just a wild guess on my part. Yeah, but that's not the name of a game. So, well, space and there's no space. There's no out. spaced out effect. Or zoned out. Zoned. We'll see, uh, we, we say somebody who's acting strangely is spaced out. Yeah, but, but we're looking for an effect. effect. It's blank um, effect. Yeah. Yeah. The space okay. invaders effect. Nobody's ever said that. I don't think. Not that you've heard it. Rudigo? It would be nice if we could figure out a theme because it would the help theme. right now. Yeah. But I can't see anything these things seem to have in common. Okay, so number four. The answer is, we think it's 26 innings, but the number is the one that's important to figure out the mystery. 26. Does the number 26 have anything to do with Ridley Scott or Challenger? And it's probably just Ridley. Ridley, 26, Gatwick, Rocket, Ethiopia. Yeah, but they were assuming that a lot of those are correct. Well, we, we do feel those are correct, right? Ethiopia? Ethiopia doesn't sound bad. I'm I'm not at all confident about number nine. I think that that's that Herbie Hancock's rocket is going to be much before the first MTV Music Award. If it was Thriller, would it make more sense with Ethiopia? I'm not sure. I, I don't. I don't I don't know if it's thriller either, but 
I really have no idea. But it would have to have something that would have like a a reason to fit into the theme. And like the cars, you might think that isn't really like a a phrase that would go into a mystery category is what I'm trying to say, but something like a, a noun like rocket or thriller would be. Girls just want to have fun doesn't feel like a, I mean, lapper maybe. What about the John, John Hughes directorial debut? Does anybody know? I, I've never heard of John Hughes. Apparently he was a director. Maybe <laughs> he still is. Oh my God. I am shocked, team. <laughs> Were you Other shocked that we don't know the same on. random useless information? You we know? have not figured out what's going on. I'm babe. on the team. You know better. I know what's going on. We're doing trivia. We're going to do meows in a minute. We're going to meow all the answers. We're failing the trivia. There. <laughs> okay. You're not failing. You're not failing. Okay, let me ask you guys something. What answers are we positive about so we can use those positive answers to try to come up with a theme? Ten. Which is Ethiopia. Yeah. Two. Which is Ridley or Scott. And I think it's probably no, two, two, two is Challenger. Challenger. Oh, Challenger. The Ethiopian Seven. Challenger. Okay. Are we caught positive about Ridley Scott? Pretty yeah. darn sure. Okay, so let's most likely it's going to be Ridley, right? Did these all happen no in 1986? <gasps> no. That's a good no, point. Did these all be Four. What? That would. 1984. 1984. Is that when the challenge oh. explosion happened? Was oh, was Alex Trebek start Jeopardy in 84? Oh. That could be it. You so could have it. 84 because that's why Apple chose a dystopian theme for their commercial. 1984. Who got this? Was that you, Vincent? Yeah. Brilliant. But I thought it was 1986. Well, I thought the Challenger. I thought the Challenger explosion happened in 1986. Yes, but not the first untethered spacewalk using the manned maneuvering unit. Ah, okay. Okay, could the longest baseball game have happened in '84? It could have, yes. And so yeah, that makes sense that MTV would have been in '84, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so okay. given that, I think I want to amend the seasons of Alex Trebek to 37? I think seven. You, uh, when did he die? Last year. Okay, yeah, let's go with seven then. Okay, 37. Oh, we got it. So... So, so seven could be 18. That makes sense. So the... The rocket Six. thing. I still think number nine is A, but if I'm outvoted, then that's fine. Well, all we know now is it was in 1984. Yeah, Thriller would have been 1980, 1984. I'm fine with Thriller if you guys want to go with it, because I know when that came out, it was a big deal. Yeah. I remember when it first came oh, I guess. You know what? Look at the question again, you guys. It's not the year that MTV came out. It's the year that MTV had their first video awards. Exactly. Yeah. So I think it could be Thriller. Oh, that's true. That's a good point. Are you want to change to Thriller? Thriller. Thriller, okay. That makes more sense. And okay, so now that we know the year is 1984, what... Film could have been John Hughes' directorial de debut in 19. When was Network? The 70s. Okay, yeah, how about, how about um, 2001? That was 1968, and it was Stanley Kubrick. Okay, I'm just throwing stuff out. Um, what could have been in 84 that was a. I was just out of high school. Let me think. What was big then? Star Wars was big. The Exorcist was no, that was too. That was big. earlier. Yeah. Um, 
Jaws? 75 and Spielberg. Yeah, Jaws is way okay, before so, 84. So you guys throw out some names now since I'm going on a limb. Um, here. Terms of Endearment. How about Love Story? Or what was that one that was um, everybody cried on? The woman died. Love that Story. Love Story. That was earlier, I think. That, yeah, so. yeah, that was earlier. I'm struggling to think of a film that came out in 1984 specifically. How about um, Build of Dreams? That was later. I'm also pretty sure Costner directed that. 84. One of the, no. B came out in 84. B? Yeah, anybody remember oh, B? B? Just V. Nope. His science fiction writer. I remember it was, it was Very, very campy. Uh, Could it have been his campy. directorial debut of John Hughes? No, it wasn't. No, I just, that was, that would have been 1984. Okay, so. Um, I was very young back then, but I still remember some things. Is the only one we don't have an answer for five? And two, three, three, and number five. I never heard of the game Spaced Out. No, it's it's not. There's no. I've never heard of a spaced out effect. So, Leonard, this might be your question. What game was popular in '84? Okay, things like Doom, uh, Wolfenstein. Much later, I think. There we go. 1984. Let's see. Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein. Maybe. Um, a solitary. It's one of their video. We, we assume it's a video game. Yeah. Um, a solitary. Pac Man. I think it was that, earlier. That's it. That's earlier. Or, what about Mario? Mario Buffett. Maybe. What is that game? Um, Mario about like right. Eighty four. Um, what was that game that came after Pong? Second game. Asteroids. Little, uh, yeah, Asteroids. No, that was definitely in the seventies. That's in the seventies. Yeah, I remember that. Um, Pac Man. I I thought Pac Man was earlier too in the seventies. Yeah, I I like I like Mario or Super Mario. Yeah. Could Harry there be a that? Mario effect? Yeah, Mario oh, or Super that Mario. That sounds good. Yeah. Well, it's better than nothing. Yeah. I don't know if it's Mario or Super Mario. Let's go with Mario. Mar Mario. Okay, so now we need a film that was in 1984. Uh, Dune. Was that 1984? That was David Lynch. Oh. Yeah. But it was 1984. Yeah, that's what I was going to okay, say. So what else was around when Dune uh, was out? Um, Vincent, what would you have would have been playing around that time? Well, I wasn't really allowed to watch a lot of uh, movies back then. <laughs> you, saw Dune. So. you knew Dune was around. Dune. So, yeah. I couldn't watch that either. I had to wait a long time before I could watch Dune or any of those movies. Uh, so I was, I was Do we have answers to all of it? We need one. No, okay. we just need one. Yeah, I was completely disconnected from the world in 1984. Vincent got the category. We hope. Yeah. We hope, yeah. Mm. What, is, what was your guess? 1984. 1984. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> it wasn't it then. It. Everybody else has pretty much got answers. So, yeah, we're still working on this. We'll never, we're just okay. going to get them in. So let's guess while we we have two minutes. As I'm closing, so the only movie I can think of that came out that I'm pretty sure came out in 1984 when I never saw it was The Breakfast Club. So let's put it in. Better than not having anything. Yeah, that works. I have no idea if that was. John Hughes' directorial debut. I don't know who but. John Hughes is, so. 
He was apparently a, he's a movie director. I've heard of yeah, him. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I'm just amazed that people think that that's an important thing to know. Oh, it was nice. <laughs> She's trying to figure out enough stuff for 84. <laughs> Sometimes you have to reach for something that is. I think somebody might know. What I tried to pick a variety of things. Yeah. No He's team never... would be over the advantaged. Thank you. I appreciate that. But we know team two got them all, right? Yeah, not, it's very hard to not have Carl be over advantage. He is he has quite the eclectic memory. It's the memory. Yeah. I remember having a good memory. Do you? Yeah, but that was I, a while I, ago. I saw a thing about old age that I thought was true. You finally finally have gotten to the point where you've had enough time and enough learning to really know everything that you can't remember it. <laughs> well, I, I, sir, I'm sure I never knew everything, but I, there was a time when I knew a lot more than I know now. <laughs> I know nothing. You know, you're this is not the kind of thing I ever knew. That's not true. I know some things. I know how to drive, so. You know that we're being <laughs> recorded. <clears throat> I keep hearing this computer voice saying recording in progress. T it's in your head. Get help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you've been telling us every week and no one else hears it. Progress or progress? I keep seeing the thing about the captioning every time I come back in the room. I know. I don't know what that is. Who can? Is I don't turn it on, but somebody says a participant has en enabled. We got to figure out which one. Which Ooh, we got to find oh, the mole. Yeah. Track them what, down. Who's the mole who puts on closed captioning? Who wants, who wants the translation? It'll come in. Yeah. Told you, I'm a troll for Donald Trump. I, I, it it off. <laughs> I think I it's. Suppose we should probably be happy that <laughs> someone cares enough about what we're saying that they really want to know. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think it's I think it's My Jamie, parents, but I'm not sure. They, they don't want to miss anything. I give her a little based on the overwhelming here. number of views on on YouTube. This is really a big deal. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. The it, it is. So, so uh, Vincent got our category. Uh, got the mystery category, which was frog sounds. Thank you. And he'll be doing the frog sounds for each answer. Yeah, that's not going to happen. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Check back in the video. He'll show you. I mean, I'll, I'll well, you could say knee deep. I could say me deep. Yeah. It was, it was interesting listening to your all's conversations and some people trying to talk each other out of the right answer. Um, I'm glad some team stuck really strong. Yeah, that's always interesting. Gee, that couldn't have been our room, could it? <laughs> we were having all kinds of debates in our room. But, um, oh, Faith, I have a question for you. Were you born in 1984? I am. I was. Oh, okay. Oh, well, then, yeah. I'm actually, I am actually. Oh, then that's here. why I guessed. And all of these questions are in chronological order of when they happened in 1984. Oh, and gosh. I am older than all of these events. Oh, right. So, so it was fun listening to you guys talk. Like one group was talking about how, like, what they were doing when this was going on. And with question number one, I was 12 days old when this commercial aired. Wow. Oh, <laughs> sweet. So, so, what did you think of it? Huh? <laughs> I don't. I at the time. I, at the time, I ready. probably was milk drunk and hopefully <laughs> sleeping. You weren't thinking about the Super Bowl, huh? I was not thinking, like, and it's it was kind of weird researching some of this because uh -huh. I looked up stuff that I wanted to do stuff that happened on my birthday, but then. There's not a lot of cool Karen's got the people. disco vibe going. Well, someday when you're famous, happened. it'll say uh, Faith yeah. was yeah, born in this, on this day. Place. Well, I share a birthday with Pat <laughs> Benatar, Rod Stewart, and um, George Foreman. And David Bowie died on my birthday, which kind of made me feel <laughs> a little bit special because I wanted to share a birthday with David Bowie. We could have sung well, to them happy birthday, but we'd could. rather sing to you, Faith. But so we'll get into the answers. Uh, number one, I thought was really shocking that it was only Super Bowl 18. 
Like that was just really weird to realize there had only been 18 Super Bowls before I'd been born. I but you the, watched it. The director of this one was Ridley Scott. Yay! And I'm gonna post all the answers in the chat when we're done. Um, and I think he had only directed a few movies before this, but I, his work with Alien and Blade Runner, I think is why they had chosen him to do this one because he did Blade Runner oh, like two years Ridley before. Ridley Scott was a woman. Mm -mm. No. 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 Ridley, no. the character in Alien was a woman. <laughs> Ripley. Oh, Ripley. 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 Oh, you guys are so confusing. Why did they do that? <laughs> he didn't write it. He just directed it. He, didn't write he it. also didn't name himself. And I think, it was, I think it was also fitting since it was 1984 themed with that commercial. So, starring the year 1984. Yeah. So, question oh, two. The space shuttle that um, had the first manned maneuvering unit was Challenger. Yes. Yay! Yay. Are you guys are you guys cheering Challenger? Yeah. Was the no, right answer? That I got that was it right. Mission. Challenger was the right answer, but okay. they only did, only did three missions with it, um, and decided to retire it after the Challenger explosion actually occurred. So Number three, John Hughes' directorial debut film was 16 Candles. Yes. Uh, oh, we were so close. <laughs> we really were. They only had 15 candles. Did you say 14 candles? Oh. It was 16. No, it was Maybe another movie. Yeah. Which I have seen that in all of his other movies. There's another movie though, with Molly Ringwald. Yes. Pretty and that came out, I think, like May 4th. We put Breakfast Club. We were close. Uh, Same idea. The longest, the longest Major League Baseball game. Um, was 25 innings, so all yeah. the yeah. well, yeah. awesome. yeah. well, yeah. well, well, yeah. well, well, yeah. team. That's yeah. yeah. 26. Else. You're fired. <laughs> and <laughs> will the, the video game or the game that um has dubbed the blink effect is called the Tetris effect. Tetris. Yeah. Yeah. That was her. Oh, oh, right. Uh, uh, of, oh. Was basically not released, but created in 1984 as well. Darn it. Yeah, and Russians. We, we talked about that. And we went to all of them, Space Invaders, and every, and we came up with Mario. I'm older than Tetris by like six months. So. I was going to say Monopoly effect. <laughs> but um, question, Bird, and I do apologize for saying first in inaugural Rob's team. <laughs> he was also their last. I'm, I'm 39, flight. so I'm now I'm now a geriatric millennial. <laughs> I was told it worked. But next year on my next birthday, I am now qualified for age discrimination if somebody tries to do something. So I will age into that category. I am um, not amused. Thank you. Not amused. <laughs> I'm, not amused. I'm not either. Um, I, I think I think it's all funny. But ah. the um, airport that Virgin Airlines flew from Newark, uh, from London to Newark was uh, Gatwick. Yes. 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 The only one I knew in London. Question seven: Joseph Kittinger was actually a retired U.S. Air Force Colonel, um, and he did the first uh, transatlantic crossing in a balloon. Yes. Um, so oh, I will accept my. helium, gas, even hot air balloon. Um, but it was just in a balloon. Yeah. Sorry what about, about a sailboat balloon? Not a balloon. sailboat. It had to involve a balloon in a basket. <laughs> balloon is a birthday theme. That's what we came up with. Um, yeah. Number eight could have possibly tripped up a few of you. <laughs> um, the number of seasons that Alex Trebek did was 37. Not yes. Yes. I'm 39. Oh, 30, no 30, right on the button. And Jeopardy actually Jeopardy aired about nine months after I was born. So, so plus I'm actually way before you were born, it was on TV. Yes. So I'm proud. Yeah, Alex yeah. Trebek. Was, Kudos oh, yeah, to whoever right. figured that out. Literally number nine it probably was the hardest one on here um all of these songs were actually nominated for video yeah, of the but year. it um, wasn't hard if you saw the cartoon of it there you go and the answer is c it's the cars yeah. yes. oh thank you karen really yes. Kevin, oh, Kevin, you got I'm that so, yes i'm so glad i remember <laughs> it because they're a boston band too 
Mm-hmm. I like that yeah. song and I love the cars, but I and number I like 10, the animated video is pretty good. The band aid do they know it's Christmas is in reference to the Ethiopia famine? Yeah. Which, oh, you know, sorry guys. Yay, oh, Ethiopian oh, famine. Faith, before you, <laughs> before, you are, right. before we give the scores, Faith, may I have your permission to read and then share five short lines from that wonderful song? Do they know it's Christmas time? Oh why? Yes. Okay. This group one of, of my favorite problematic Christmas songs. This group of this group of people who are trying to raise money for Ethiopia. These are actual lines from that song. Do they know it's Christmas time? Feed the world. If the table was turned, you would survive. Here's to them underneath that burning sun. Well, tonight, thank God it's them instead of you these are li- literal lyrics i know it's not and there won't time. be snow in africa this christmas time the greatest gift they'll get this year is life spare a thought this yuletide for the deprived thank you bob geldof <laughs> oh my Horrible. god I know, it's really not, not very um patronizing it when it came that. out i remember when that song was out Thank God it's them and not you. Really? They know it's Christmas. Yeah. Did they make any money and did it save lives? Oh, it did. It made a lot of money. It made a lot of money. Did the money go to saving lives? And they actually not. Probably went up his nose, yeah. Let's go to scores. Oh, thanks, Karen, for bringing us back down. (laughs) (laughs) Trying to be happy and positive. That's me, big old bummer Arajo. <laughs> All right. You might so think I'm crazy. Let's go to the score social first, trivia second. Seven. Seven. Good score. You are yeah. almost in the lead. Eight. We had a name, but it was on a classified document. We lost it. Eight. Very good, team eight. You are now in the lead. Let us pause for a momentary Stop celebration. Count. All right, we're over. Wait, wait, don't tell me. I think we had seven. And a, and a tie. Next, we have insert name here. We had seven. Well, seven seems to be the number, and we are in, have a new leader. Let's see if, God damn it, Biden will take the lead. Do they have more than three? <laughs> yes. And it's always uh, Carl, and he's always going to say it like that because he knows we all. Every time he says it, we get like. Sh- stay sh- with gusto, it. Carl. Come on. Has anyone told right. the team they're not allowed to Google these? Uh, How questions? come you don't put Alan on Carl's team? Why? I've been on Alan's team before. Hey. No, but not in the last five weeks. It's called That's matter right. and anti matter. The only way you're going to get him to be last. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> you guys Trying to change a lot, Alan. I'll see you next okay. week. Bye, Bye Carolyn. Bye, oh, Carolyn. Bye. 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 All right. So, who's number four? Who do I take the powers away from? I'm taking the powers away. And I just want to mention really quick I'm taking them from uh, Faith. Where are you, Faith? Oh, there you are. I'm ripping them from you. I'll take them. Um, And I'm going to give them to Kevin. And I just want to point out that we do not have a bonus for next week, but we have everything else. I'm just throwing it out there to you all. Okay. So Kevin, if it's another mystery group theme. It kind of is. He can do another picture and this time it'll be all famous (laughs) raccoons from from cartoon <laughs> sci-fis from an- Japanese anime cartoons. No, my category tonight is what do these things have in common? And when you get all the answers within the answers, the whole thing has something in common. So it's a mystery within a mystery. Okay, so uh, mute everybody. All right, I do that. You can. Thank you. So I'll give you an example. What do these things have in common? David Letterman, Newman, and Strahan. That's just an example. And you think of David Letterman, Alfred E. Newman, and Michael Strahan. What do they have in common? Picture their faces. 
gap tooth. Take my gap. That's correct. Take gap, the, the gap tooth is the answer. That's just an answer. Okay, so I'm going to give you the answer and then I'm going to give you the first question. Thanks for the good example, by the way. I think we've seen it before, something like that before, a similar example. So that was the answer, gap teeth. Now, the first one is Lincoln slash peanut. What do they have in common? The second one. is Ross, Stewart, Chanel, and Mode. The third one has a little bit of an explanation because it's a little bit different than the others. If I were looking, let me put it in there first, to buy a certain product and I searched the reviews online or in magazines like Consumer Reports, Forbes, Better Homes and Gardens, and I found these manufacturers, and I list them all there, Rowinta, Sunbeam Chai, Nori, Panasonic, Conair, Black & Decker, and Buterol. What would I be buying? Well, let me post more of that. What am I searching for? And I'm going to put four and five in together. Okay, plus the end of three. Three, what am I searching for? Then question four, what do these things have in common? Missouri, Mikasa, Victory, and Yamato. Number five, what do these things have in common? Howitzer, Little David, Czar, Carl Garrett, and Mons Meg. And a lot of these answers I got by looking and searching for the most, the best, the biggest kind of a thing on Google. You know what I mean? Like when I had the category, I just searched for something until I find a category that listed a bunch of them and then I gave you the answer. I'll give you the question. Okay, I'm gonna put a bunch of them in now. Number eight, what do these things have in common? Patrick Gordon Petty. Number nine, uh, number six rather. Number seven, what do these things have in common? Burkett, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Valerici or something. I can't even pronounce it. Balenciaga. Balenciaga. See, someone will get the answer because they didn't know how to say it. Christian Dior and Lowe. Number eight, Wolverine, Thoroughgood, Red Wing, Twisted X, Keen Utility, and Nick's Handmade. Number nine, Kane, West Highland White, Sky, and Dandy Dinmont. Number 10, True Tempa, Marathon, Jackson, Go Plus, and Rubbermaid. If you get the theme, it'll make the answers a little more apparent. Go to your rooms, unless you have a really question, but I'd be careful answer, asking the question because you might hint. Does it have anything Maybe. to do with kittens? Don't give any hints, Susan. Frog. I can, How about frogs? I can picture birds saying all these mm -hmm. things. <laughs> Go to your rooms. How do I do that? Breakout rooms. I don't have a question. I have an exclamation. Help! <laughs> that I won then. Hello, team. I'm here hey, to hey. help. I'm here well, to hello, help. Hello, Susan. I'm assisting you. Hello, Christy. I am just here temporarily. I go to all the groups once. Okay. I'm here to mess with your scores. On Susan, you're here to play. Susan, you're here to play. Oh. I'm I'm going away. Okay. Bye, Kevin. Uh, I'm Kevin. I'm, I'm listening to the. Someone said they had a couple answers. I want to hear them. Then I'm. Yeah, was okay. Lincoln. So Pina. number one, I get a top hat. Yeah. Mr. Peanut wears oh, a top yeah. hat. Oh, so good job, Troy. Number nine, Terry. They're all terriers. Kane, Karen Terrier, West Island White Terrier, Sky Terrier, Dandy Dinmont Terrier. Terriers like dogs? Woo -woo. Yeah. T E R R I E R, Terrier. Uh, seven That's sounds it. like purses or something, but well, somebody else purses. knew a name. Or it's well, those are like fancy brands. These are all things that are like uh, copy, you know, where they bake their 
Number seven is, isn't that like high end purses or something? Yes. Yes. So like hundreds of dollars or thousands Copy, of dollars. Uh, uh, what is it called when people are always trying to. Common forgeries, maybe you're forgery. thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff you can get cheaper in Alameda Street in LA. Stuff that is absolutely <laughs> worthless because it's just got some guy's name on it. Great. But they are purses. Okay. Is six so, race car drivers? Yeah, I said that sounded right. Uh, or Tom Petty. G. Gordon Liddy. Chris, she's got it. Chris, she's raising her hand. Is that normal for her? I think she's. We don't hear you though, Christy. She's not muted. No, you're not yeah. muted, but we can't hear you. Yeah. Now you're muted. We can hear you now. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, I don't know. That was weird. Um, I, I was saying, can I get a copy paste? <laughs> oh, sorry. I got gotcha. you. Oh, yeah, no worries. No, when oh. I first, when I I first uh, came into this room, I was saying that I was shaking in my boots because of the way he said, go to your room. I was like, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We get to be a little familiar with each other. We're on game what 143. So we're so, kind of like familiar with each other now. We tell us with eight, Brandy. Number eight are boots. They're boot brands. Oh, you said that. Boots, okay. Huh? These boots what? are made for walking. Oh, seven is boots. Eight. Oh, eight. eight is boots, okay. A howizer is a like a I thought that was a gun. Yeah. yeah. A and number. a little David, could that be a gun? If my kids were here, they'd know for sure. I think those are guns. Or I, things maybe. Because howitzer for sure, but I feel like I would recognize some of the other names and I don't. Yeah. Not that I'm a gun my guy. Meg but... sounds familiar to me. I should holler at my kids. Missouri. Yeah. Victory. Huh. Oh, I think four might be um, like Navy stuff. Like those are battleships or something. Well, I know Missouri is. Yeah. But Yamato? Well, Mikasa? that would be an ironic name. Yeah. Mikasa is uh, a China Yeah, brand. isn't that some kind of brand that does like kitchen? Like fine stuff? China. Yeah, fine China and yeah. stuff. Well, would that have anything to do with Missouri? Oh. Could be a brand called Missouri. Maybe they have a factory there. I don't know. Yamato? It's also Japanese-ish. Oh, these might be pianos. Missouri Ooh. pianos? Sorry. Could be. No, I don't think so. What am I searching for? Huh. Are we seeing an overarching theme here? Not yet. Race cars, purchases, purses, boots, carrier, most best and biggest. Number two, that's so like dress for less, for Ross so dress for less, less. Stewart okay. Chanel is a store Thank you. perfume. You know, it didn't transfer with the commas and stuff for me. Is Chanel and mode one thing or is it Chanel comma mode? There are no commas the number. way he did it, just spaces. Okay, I so copied and pasted. Chanel and Mode are different, right? I believe yeah. so. Okay. What one are we on? All we're talking two. about two. Oh, okay. Yeah. Chanel no is a perfume and a brand. Okay, number three are all Sunbeam is like the kitchen appliance stuff. Panasonic is like VHS and all those other home appliance. I mean, like, um, you know, Conair is a hairdryer. Yeah. Black and Decker is like tools. And tools, yeah. They so make kitchen stuff too, though. Black and Decker. What is he searching for? Yeah. So, hair dryers? Mm -hmm. No, mixers? Air, air fryers? All possibilities, yeah. I don't know. Uh, food processor. Yeah, mix. Black and Decker is more, I always thought that was more of like a garage, you know, home home improvement thing. Could they be Yeah, but they do have some kitchen appliances. How about like air conditioners? I don't know about air conditioners. You would know Brandy over there in, in Vegas. Oh, I have no idea. 
Does those sound I'm like thinking that? of a mixer, just a hand mixer or something. I mean, Sunbeam be. to me says mixer. But Black and Decker? I, yeah, Dirt. I like Christy? like egg beater. Christy Black yeah. and Decker. Egg beaters? Yeah, I like I like hand mixer. That sounds right. Because these are kind of like, they're not high-end brands like, you know, like a KitchenAid or something for a mixer, but for a hand right. mixer, more yes. brands would yes. make it. Yes. It's as good as any. I don't know. Okay. Um, do we figure out six Patrick Gordon and Petty? I thought race, race car drivers. Cars. And are we going with weapons for number five or? Yeah, I think so. Right. Yeah. Things well, go, go boom. My son said weapons are generals, but seeing as they seem to be hmm. products, I'm thinking weapons. Because a lot of times weapons are named after generals. Oh. Okay. Do we give them with 10 True Temper, Marathon, Jackson, Go Plus, and Rubbermaid? Rubbermaid? They make lots of stuff. I know. That's mm -hmm. why it's so broad. I've never heard of these other brands. Though. Yeah, me either. Go Marathon, plus. maybe. I keep Temper thinking Kevin would gas. know this. What, Christy? I keep thinking Kevin would know this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, this is, see the problem, the, the score is always lower. The team, every time I'm on a team, the score is low and they always blame me. But the problem is, it's the person writing the category is the one who's gone. The strongest. So yeah. I'm the person who should know the answers is gone and I'm yeah. replaces them. So it always looks like I'm the fault, but it's because they don't write the category with me in mind, knowing I'm going to be on their team. If I were to write a category, I would do something current events only because <laughs> so, I wasn't alive for most of the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, he said that all of these things were related. And then there was another related. It was like a mystery in a mystery. Yeah. This is, these answers that we do have don't make any sense. Not if we're trying to link them together. And top hat, hand mixer, race car drivers, purse, boots, and carrier? Wait, could it have something to do with Monopoly pieces? Who? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. A oh, gun. A boot. It. That is yeah. definitely a Kevin. The thing. race car. Yeah. So the iron That's... must be three then. Yes. Oh, you're absolutely you're right. right. Oh, you are yeah. right. Oh my God. I is so brilliant. Because I have a dog. So okay, there's, there's an a, iron. The shoe. There's okay. a boot. Yeah. Isn't there there's a thimble? A That's thimble a cannon, somewhere. not a weapon. There is a thimble. Is yeah, it a cannon? Thimble. Well, yeah, that's kind of what a howitzer is. It's like a cannon. So what's a, what would be a thimble? Isn't it? Sounds right to me. So. Where, there's a cannon in Monopoly? Yeah, it's, oh, it's taken out, I think, it. now. Yes. Iron. Uh, well, I got to send Kevin to room five. So, yeah, which one's thimble? Maybe that's what number 10 is. Rubbermaid makes a. Let's see yeah. that make any sense i've never bought a thimble so i wouldn't know the brand okay so i have a thimble over iron, iron. Word, iron. i'm not even <laughs> sure what you're supposed to do with a thimble exactly i don't oh, either I some, but I, I have one she's got one right there my my mom's a seamstress it's for when you're like pushing a needle through heavy fabric and oh, you, it's gonna stab it stab into your thumb you. So oh, used to it. so you okay? It it's gives awkward, you work, though more push to push Let's, through. Oh, There's, what about uh, other symbols, not necessarily p uh, playing pieces like uh, no the purse. jail Park place or the like ghost. House. You guys, there's no purse. Hat. There's no purse in in, in Monopoly. But there's a hat in Monopoly. Could but they be the hats? Hat. Oh, well, oh, right, right. We got a hat. And but could it be like Park Place or something? Like, could it be like a, you okay, know, like Rodeo, Rodeo Drive or something? What are your Monopoly pieces? There's a wheelbarrow. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. 
There is. Oh, oh, I bet that's the Rubbermaid one. Maybe. I bet it is. I always played the wheelbarrow or the ironing board, or the iron. Those were my favorite. Oh, the, there's yeah. There's so we a have car. There's, um, there was a cannon. There was a dog. There was. Come on, you guys, you've all played Monopoly. Thing. Well, yeah, so so Will yeah, Barrow's number 10. Right so there. let's move, let's move Thimble to a different one. What's left? Will Barrow. You said cannon for number five. A howitzer is kind of a yeah, cannon. Yeah, a cannon yeah for, for sure. Yeah. Um that leaves two and four. Well, four, I've never heard of any of these, so maybe that's the thimble. Oh, Maybe, there is yeah. a battleship in Monopoly. I oh, think. there was a battleship. Oh, yeah, battleship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like yeah, the extended Monopoly. Maybe then that would be number four, right? Right, that's four. Uh, four oh. yeah. two, must be, two must be a thimble. Because what else is there? Two must be a thimble. Sure. I mean, maybe yeah, there's there's yeah I'm running out of thimble pieces. somewhere. Is there ten? At our house, there was a red sorry piece also because that was. We ran out of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it could be anything. Yeah. We I usually play the Star out. Wars Monopoly. I think that's the one we oh, have. Oh, I was you guys are too young. <laughs> the children. The children. Okay. This so is what's right. number seven? A hat, thimble, iron, battleship, cannon, race car, purses. Wait, there's no purse. No purse. Yeah. What's it seven? Is, um... There's a shoe though. Yeah, but we got no, eight for the Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so nine. Okay, we need we seven is a... What's nine it? is the Carrier, terriers. The dog. Carrier. And then ten is the wheelbarrow. Oh, so. Okay, so what is the other piece of Monopoly we're forgetting? Thank you, guys. Maybe purse is a play on the fact that you have the money. You've got the purse. Purse strings. Oh, all, all the other nine are pieces. I know. So what is the piece we're not thinking of? I've never heard of wheelbarrow and cannons. Oh yeah. Chips. I always played wheelbarrow or, or iron. What about monopoly? I was always the dog. Wait, there's also like a horse. Isn't the there? Horse? There I thought there was a horse. Yeah. Like a person on a horse. Um, I'll give just, you a maybe. Like he's he's like up in the air. How about a bag? Like, I mean hmm. Birkin and everything are bags. I mean, purse, pocketbook, pocket. No, there pocket was never a bag. No, I, I think it would be connected with like a place, like Rodeo Drive or something. Like park place. That's where that's where all of like the shopping would be. Like all these stores are at this location, like in New York or whatever. Or in California. Other things they had were houses and hotels. Um, oh, um, money, dice. No, yes. What's the place that pairs with Park Place? Park Place and Boardwalk. 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 That's what it is. Yeah. Please get all your shopping done. There's got to be a tenth piece. We just can't, aren't thinking of it. I don't think there was a horse. Yeah, no. there definitely was a horse that was like neighing in the air. Definitely nah. like on a like version I had on its back, yeah, leg, like it was standing. Yeah, it was. I like, think that's from another game, and it got mixed in at your house. Like, I <laughs> yeah, I would have taken the horse, I would have remembered that. Um, I'm gonna horse. find it and then show you guys after. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's coming with a horse, and um, let's see. It doesn't fit with the clues, but I'm dying with that. I'm dying on that hill. <laughs> we, we lost that piece and we used this one from another. Oh, wait, money bags. Uh, the guy, the character, yes, no, the man for Monopoly is Mr. Money Bags. No, and these are money there, bags. These are Wasn't money bags. Is there an actual money bag though? Like a like it was a it was a purse. So. Like it wasn't a purse, it was like a sack that was tied up like a satchel like a, like a sack of coins kind of thing you know oh that like was a rope drawing, around it. I think, on it like there was an like, iron I don't like know. like in one of those cards where it says go directly to jail or something and they've got a little a drawing on it mr Moneybags would have a sack yeah. of money but that was his name yeah. mr Moneybags. 
So maybe we are good with just purses. I like I like Mr. Moneybags, yeah. Well, like we'll just putting the stuff. character, putting the character himself, because he probably ran out of pieces. I don't think there is ten pieces. Nine? Yeah. An odd amount. Or you think there'd be a dozen? Hi, Kevin. How are you? Hi. Did you We're guys get on the last two? For number one, because I gave a hint to everybody. Yes, and you better. You had to give a hint, hint for number hints? one. No, I kind of did. Somebody asked me about my punctuation, and I said no, that was intentional. There were three hints oh. in line one. Was your hint uh, close friends get to call him TC? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, oh, that's Top Cat, not Top Hat. Sorry. <laughs> All right. I know who TC is now. Yeah. So you got an answer for it. I don't think give it hints because we got that one. No, somebody asked me a question and I kind of revealed it. So I had to give it to everybody else. Well, don't. Everybody got it anyway. You're supposed to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Did you get all the other answers? While he eats or while he we're stuck. Throat. We're stuck on number two and number seven. Those oh. are the two we're stuck on. No, I'm but you got a theme. I'm convinced. Yeah. Numbers. Yeah. We think it's shoots and ladders. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so you were convinced that it's money bags then? Did you yes, want to? Yeah. That is like that the guy's again. name, Mr. Moneybags. Okay. Because there was a I'm, I'm good with that. So do we want to put thimble for number two? Did we yeah. put thimble yeah. somewhere? Yeah. It's just it's better than leaving it blank, but yeah, there's gotta be a thimble. We know that. Well, there's four words, and the way he said them, they weren't attached. He didn't say like Ross Stewart. He's Ross Stewart, Chanel, Mode. And there's yeah, like Chanel, Chanel's a fashion house, so they could have, like, I don't know, been the OG Ouch. thimble. I feel like, is there, Ouch. like, oh, yeah, you're saying house, fashion house, Ross? I don't know. I'm still thinking it's a, it's a piece that we just can't remember. Mm. I'm well, to... what were the other, other elements of the game? Um, there's chance. Yep. And community, community chest. Oh, that's in a different one. I, that's in careers. My family played careers. I love careers. <laughs> we played careers so. all the time. My kids, yeah, said, yeah Caspian. House is in hotels. You still enjoy it? What? <laughs> what? I know. I was. I was going to go. I was going to continue with the tangent on careers. Susan and I could just go in our own breakout room. Well, fine. Right. <laughs> Um, well, it is social trivia, right? <laughs> What's well, careers? I never heard of this. I neither have I. It's uh, you go around the board and you can go into different careers and stuff, and it's like, sounds I don't like know. life. Yeah, so it's it's just really fun, and yeah, you roll the die two two die for going around the outside, one when you're in, and. Yeah, you can be a teacher or go to big business and it costs you, but you have to pay money to go into these careers and you can get experience and extra opportunities and it takes you around the board. You get your salary and stuff. You can get increased your salary. So every time you go around the board, you get more money. So to win the game, you at the beginning of the game, you have to decide um, three categories that add up to 60. You have fame, love and money. And so you can divide it up like five for fame and, you know, be 20, 20, 20 is like the easiest. So you have to decide if you're going for fame or if you're going for money and then whoever gets their formula first wins. Christy, Christy really did play this because you, you hit every element. We well, we played speed careers. So everyone got a dice and we just would take turns over and over again. And if you had to skip your turn, you would have to run to the other room, tap a key on the piano and run back. <laughs> <laughs> like skip your turn so yeah we would we would play it like as fast as possible <laughs> oh wow you know we just played the careers of maybe in the last six months that's so funny yeah that's anyway so Kevin we still you're running out of time if you don't have all seconds. the answers I think we're good I think we're good do you guys know the origins of Monopoly yeah it was Atlantic City 
No, I mean the author or whoever created it. It was it was a woman depression. and it was stolen from her. It was in the depression, right? I believe so. And it was meant to teach a socialist agenda. It was about how bad the monopoly was and the board would flip over and you were, oh, the other side was the socialist version that was supposed to be better, but people only played the capitalist monopoly side. It was a socialist version? It was something the board flipped over and it was like comparing and contrasting the two styles of government and it was meant to push that socialism was better. I've never heard that. Are you yeah, sure yeah. that's not some conspiracy theory? We're going to have to Google right after this. I'm I, pretty I, sure I, about yeah. this. I played a lot of Monopoly. I've never heard of that. I heard it was somebody in the Depression and they made it on the kitchen table and it was based on where they lived in New Jersey. Yeah, but right? it was it was a woman and then it was stolen by the game makers and they started making money and she never made a dime off the game. I hadn't heard that, but I wouldn't be shocked. What are you guys oh. talking about? You totally missed the theme. I know. For real. <laughs> Kevin, are we still here or is there, have you already- 24 seconds. 23. I don't, why don't, there's no, nothing's coming up for me. It's You're 22 seconds. seconds. There's no, oh, there it is. Okay. All right. La, la, la. I'm still humming that uh, rocket. So do you think you got 10? We think we got yeah, nine. We got over nine. We got over 9,000. Was it fun? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah good. good, good. Well done. Hey. Yes, I, I think well you guys done. had fun. I think people had fun with this one. We we had. I don't, fun. I don't think that word means what you think. Fun. It yeah. fun. We I laughed. think some teams had fun. We <laughs> Christy and I bonded because Christy and I have something in common, and you guys. Would yeah. Know. If you mm. if you don't care about winning, yeah, we had lots of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, so, I think I think when you come Paula up with was this at round, my house. Kevin, did you just Roll the dice and come up with something? Yeah, yeah I did I, kind of. Paula, when you were at our house at Thanksgiving, Caspian, did we did we play the game Careers? I can't oh. hear you. We oh, did play Careers. Chips. Potato chips. Was so Paula there? During the last year. Okay, here there? are the answers for the folks oh. listening at home. Okay. Number one, the three clues are <laughs> Lincoln, Slash, and Peanut. That's Abraham Lincoln, Slash, the guitar player, from Guns N' Roses and Mr. Peanut from the character. Oh. And they all wear the top hat. Oh, Slash! Got one I get point. it. So I the answer is top one hat. The second it. one is, is Betsy Ross, Martha Stewart, Coco Chanel, and Edna Mode. And they're all famous designers. So if you put designer or dressmaker, that's fine. But I was looking for the thimble. Hey. What? So um, dressmaker what? or designer is OK for an answer, or the thimble. Or the thimble. I'm so sorry, team. I think Rob didn't get the theme. <clears throat> okay, number three. <clears throat> number three, you'll be looking to buy an iron. Yay. Yay. Number four is battleships. Yay. Number five is cannon. Yay. Number six is Annika Patrick. How about Damn. weapons? Gordon and, and, and uh, Petty. They're all race car drivers. The Lynn is race asking car drivers. a question, Kevin. What's that? Uh, for five, how about weapons? Um, uh, so cannons or artillery? Yeah, we if put, you put, put weapons, that's okay. Kevin, we put weapons, that's okay. okay. It's, the answer is cannon. Okay. But if you put weapon, that's close enough. <laughs> okay, thanks. Then number six is team. race car drivers or race car. Number how about, seven how about, is Na purse. How about they all make purses. Nas Kevin, how about NASCAR driver? We put NASCAR driver. Yeah, that's okay. We're pretty out of the theme, though, you know? They didn't get the theme, but give them a point for getting the, the competition thing connect. Wait, wait, wait. Is Rob... Wait, Shut up, see. Susan. I'm going to mute you. <laughs> <laughs> it's your chips, Rob. There, you're muted, so Number seven is purse or handbag. Yeah. Yay! Yay! Not perfume. No. Nope. Number eight is boots or shoes. Yay. Number nine is types of terriers. Yeah, I was looking for specifically a Scotty dog. Somebody. And number ten is wheelbarrow. Oh, oh! Now, you get the connection now, Rob? Uh, Absolutely not. Yeah, but nobody yeah, did. Okay, don't don't, tell, don't, don't, tell your time. don't don't tell Rob. Oh. Top hat. Yep. There's a top hat. There's a I thimble. There's a yeah. race car. Hey. There were people oh, who did battleship. 
There's a cannon. Oh, Monopoly. Okay. Uh, and Monopoly. you're going to be the iron or one of the stupid pieces. You don't get to be the ship or the head or the car. <laughs> yeah, the the dog. Dog. Cool. I always okay. just got to be the wheelbarrow. I was right. a logical right. the person and show. wanted a character which can actually walk around the board on its own. And the only one that can move by itself is the Scotty dog. So that was me. And no, I the horse, the horse I can move the no, they need water. Iron. There's no Burn water on my board. Are we playing Monopoly rules? Space Battleship Yamato didn't need water. And the I suggest the iron the and the wheelbarrow were the best. I, I specifically put the battleship one in for, for Caspian because I thought I took off some of the easier battleships because I figured he'd get that point. Oh, those <laughs> were all easy. Yamato, yeah, Missouri? those were easy. I almost took off the Missouri. We got the battleship because we got the Monopoly. We knew there was the pieces. Yeah, but and I the howitzer one. one. I almost first. took off the howitzer. The was cannon is actually was modeled after a howitzer. On the Monopoly token. Was there oh, a purse? What are you eating? Yes, there was a purse. I don't remember there being a purse. It Someone's was not crinkling. original. It was Rob, added. Rob, Rob yeah, stop crinkling. Rob. Okay. This would have been a oh. good bonus round. <laughs> oh yeah. I yeah, there's, your... yeah. There's 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 a lot of information about the original six or eight pieces, and they added a few and took away a few. There used to be a money bag. There used to be um, money. part of gold, I think. There was yeah. a yeah. remember the horse? Yeah, there's a guy riding a horse. Oh, yeah, all right. Maybe you're right. The cowboy. There was a rocking yeah, horse. You got it, Christy. We thought yeah, she was taking funny. a piece out of an old game of something. Else. Yeah, it's funny. My my teammate said that they play the red sorry piece because they lost the pieces. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Good, good, wah, wah. good one. Good one. Very good. Yeah. All right. Let's do our scores. Good job, Kevin. Lisa wasn't. I a think we got a lot of high scores, except well for Rob's done, team. Well done, Kevin. Except for Rob's <laughs> team. Okay, look at this. So Sorry, we're, Rob. So number team five. Let's we'll see if you can come back. Social first, trivia second. Eight. That's a good. I we got nine. What, we, what else? Do I hear ten? Do I hear eleven? Is it nine? No, we we got ten wrong, and we got two wrong because we changed we changed it to last minute. Yeah, change to the glass. But we didn't think that it fit in with the Monopoly theme. And that's my fault for suggesting go to jail. We had designer. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, don't tell me. That's a 10 for us. That yes. The team my team I comes through. Gone. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. Breaking no the curse. curse. No curse there. We had a name, but it was classified on a classified document. And we lost it. I think we got eight. We yeah. got eight. Yeah, I concur. Eight. eight. Yep. Already really done. Rob. Name here. Without figuring out the thing. Ten. Ten. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. We have a new winner now. Okay. God damn it, Biden. Two. Ten. Two. Ten. Oh. Ten. Many people were discussing food containers for the last one. Food containers. Yeah. Plastic food containers. Plastic food containers. Plastic food containers. Rubber. And then they finally dawned on them. So we got, got the, the other cat. We oh, the we theme. knew it right off because that's one of my favorite pieces of wheelbarrow. Uh, you were recorded, so be careful when you say that, Susan. You go back and you look. You <laughs> right away, you knew it. Okay. I don't oh, no, 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 no. I only knew it when we got to the Monopoly pieces. The I theme, didn't know right. by looking at the list you gave us. That was ridiculous. <laughs> that was a thought. Hey, I know my wheelbarrows. I'm a gardener. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last but not least, good job, Kevin. Last. That was a tough talk. one, but it was fun. That was fun. Yeah, it was tough. Okay, here, here, Ben. Yes. Please tell me it's not another mystery. Um, no, it is not a mystery, but I do predict that uh, we're going to have a pretty varied score here. We're probably okay, going to get like some scores. some really good scores, and then some people that won't know a lot. Okay, good. As long as it's not easy. So let me give you guys a little clue as to what this bonus category is going to be about. Kittens. Ooh, original oh, Atari? Atari. Yes. Let, the, let it go with so, the kid. It ain't happening. For the bonus round, there are... This is going to be embarrassing. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, Leonard might need to be disqualified for this category, but, you know, hey, whatever. <laughs> It'll be a gimme for Leonard. Um, there are 130 games published by Atari for the 20 Atari 2600. So there are games that were published by other publishers that you know, came a little later, but I'm looking for the ones just published by Atari. There's 130 of them. Um, name 10. And no mono rules. So if you are able to come up with 10, you well, got that's 10. that's easy then. We can come up with 10. There you go. 
So, published. but right, here's send the thing. Us to our room. Yes, yes. Published by here. Let me put this in. Um, published by Atari. The other caveat is you need to have the full title. So if it's one of those where it has a title <laughs> and like a subtitle, you need the full title. But you know, spelling's not going to count. But you, you know, you need the the full title for it to. I forgot to push enter. Those are not the answers for this one. Okay, thank you. How dare you give away answers to my round, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get the wheelbarrow game on my yeah, So, so there you go. Have fun. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know how many how many of you play uh, played Atari, but you know, never. Well, I'm you, you have hundred and thirty possible answers, so I'm hoping that you guys can come up with something. All right. These games are not my, my brother had them no after I left home. I would say pit, Pitfall. How do we was... know who published them? Well, I'm, I'm just going to go with the ones that are most popular. Okay. Well, there like, was that game where they went swinging like that. So that was Pitfall, right? Pitfall. That was Atari. How about Frogger? Oh, I would say maybe. I don't know. Well, there's 130, so... Yeah. There was a jousting one. I don't know yeah. if it was just called jousting. <laughs> was it Breakout? Oh, Breakout. I think it had different names. Well, that's true. It depended we who did said it. We had to come up with the exact name. Yeah. yeah. Space Invaders? <laughs> Is it Breakout or Breakout? Pac-Man? Pac Weren't those all... I mean, there were arcade games, but they did they also get made for the no, no idea? I don't think no so. Idea. I think that so we're talking about the ones that were on that machine that yeah. you plugged in and you had the little paddles and you cartridge had... and you got joysticks or the yeah. Yeah. So what about Super was Mario my... Bar Brothers. Hmm? Super Mario Brothers. That's after. Yeah. I think that was with Nintendo. I yeah. can't believe Zeke and I are the ones that are trying to come up with these. Let me think. Well, we had one, but it was like I was just on the tail end of it. My brother really? had one, and I would sneak into his bedroom, and I you had to take the the back of the Apple computer off, and you had to put the little the handles in there, and I had I learned how to do it without getting dust moving the dust because he could tell if yeah. I had done it. So I got really good at hiding the fact that I was doing it. And there was Pong, but I don't think, I think it was no. Donkey Kong. That was Nintendo also. That's later. Okay. There was a game based upon a movie or that it was came an, out. It, it was it an was E.T. for our, E.T., for that's the, the one I'm trying to remember. Yeah. It was considered the worst uh, game ever. They took it's all terrible. the cartridges and they buried it in the Arizona desert. The only I just didn't know if that was an original Atari twenty six hundred game. I don't know what he means. Yeah, by, yeah like, it was an Atari game, but that's as but much it, as I, we definitely yeah. had it on the Atari. Yeah, it was ET. That was the one. There was yeah. a frog game, and then there was the. So we have three. So these no, there should be four. We have twelve, have 12 Frogger, have... ET, I don't Space know. Invaders, no, Space I don't... Invaders. They said no, it was Space Invaders. Joust. Yeah, jousting. And breakout or Brickout. And I don't know what I played about. Breakout, but I don't remember. I'm not on the Atari. Well, what about Centipede? Like Centipede? That could be. Tetris. I came later. Right, we just learned is 84. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so Atari was really basic kind of stuff. Yeah. Wasn't there that, another? Oh, wait. That was. Uh, remember, there was the little triangle um, ship. Asteroids. And you go. Doo, 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 doo. That was asteroids. That was asteroids. And that I wouldn't be surprised. You know, asteroids? that was. Uh, um, wasn't the asteroids um, Nintendo? Okay. I don't think so. No, no. It was Atari. Asteroids. Okay. Asteroids. Okay. So I have six listed now. I don't remember ET being in it. Maybe I'm gonna go call. Later. I'm gonna call my husband. Yep. I'm not sure if he. I'm not sure if he had Atari, but maybe he had older siblings. We're so young. Well, that's what we used to do. When was Atari? Seventies. Late seventies oh, really? into the early eighties. Did oh. they make a game out of battleships? That other game? I don't know. I I completely clueless about the video games. So I'm just. You didn't wild. have anything like that, huh? I never. It never appealed to me. 
and I didn't start playing with them until like the uh, IBM PC days. Jane, are you a secret secret gamer? No, I know nothing about games. I just video games just left me cold. Somewhere. Right. I my brothers got them, but I was long away from home by the time. What has he got? Yes, got they. In the previous Zeke's round, I mentioned I played Mario Brothers once. I mean, that's it. What do you got? Zeke? What did he you was, learn? He was no help. He didn't have oh. one. <laughs> really? Okay. Oh, no. was there okay. some kind of pinball game, sort of, that was a computer thing? It's going to be oh, oh, fishing and... derby. Fishing oh. derby. I just remembered. Fishing sure. derby. Pong. Oh. So lame. It was one of my favorites. Jane is saying pong. I would be surprised if there was a port to it. That was, a was very, early. Was I don't know. It was one of the very first, probably the very first. It was. I, I mean, Pong came, came out in the sixties, but yeah, yeah, it's I not. That. It might have been a. Um, but they may have made one for a time. Right. Yeah. It's possible, but. What about football? I played that too in 1979. It was a little football game. You just moved a little thing around, and I know they had that on like the little tiny. Yeah, yeah. Game, was that Atari? Thing. But no. no, I don't know about on Atari. Okay. You probably need to get the exact name for it yeah, too. A little handheld. Yeah. I know fishing derby for sure. I say jousting for sure, pitfall for sure. ET I for sure. Pit, I'm, I played pitfall a lot. We need three more, I think. No asteroid, no space invaders, no centipede, no Tetris. I don't know. I centipede yeah, they about, might have had. What about Hubert? Was that on Atari? I played after? it on the PC, but it might have been on the Atari originally. What? Yeah, it may be PC. I, I'm trying well, to think. Yeah, that's where I played it because, like I said, I played Cubert a lot. Yeah, it seemed. I, yeah, early, the like visual a, seems too advanced. Was there an early kind of like a a, a game that was like um, space? Uh, not Space Invaders. Well, well, oh, there's. I'm thinking oh, of Pac-Man, so like something like that, where you'd go off of one screen and you'd come in on the other side, and everybody thought that was so cool. The way Pac-Man worked. Um, yeah, you would leave one side and you'd come in the other. But would you think that there would be a Space Invaders? I know that was later, but maybe there was a Space Invaders. I mean, it seems so simplistic. It seems like that would have been a... I Atari. played Space and play Invaders in the early 80s, but I, again, PC, not... Uh... But could it have been an early version? I mean, you know, of even more simplistic Atari. Cause it, cause I wouldn't be they surprised. They're not going to develop it done in the 80s. Who, who is um, secretary for this? Who's writing down our official pen? I think Janine. Janine. Right, I'm writing Janine. down. I'm writing down. Yeah. Do so do we, do we say yay or nay on Centipede? I well, mean, if we don't get others, we've got Space Invaders and Centipede as possible yeah. we have pitfall frogger et space and in, space invaders i guess we do have space invaders mm -hmm. joust asteroids fishing derby and possibly centipede and pong you know about yeah. breakout breakout and pong how do you feel about those susan you know i'm sure there was a breakout right might have been called brick out and since he's got the name if we can't, I, I, if we can't come up with ten, I'd say breakout and breakout, and one of them's going to be right. That's probably <laughs> true. There was two yeah. different names. Right. And was do you know if the jousting game was called jousting or joust? I thought it was joust. Mm. I never played it, but I can remember the breakout and breakout. Yeah. Okay. Breakout, I know, was the the PC version. Knowing I can't. Susan. I would, knowing Susan, I'm wondering if the game was called Breakout and the image was busting out bricks and that's right, remembering Brickout. No? I think there were two different names by different. Okay. Breakout well, and Brickout. Okay. Breakout. What about Centipede? What about Centipede? I, it, it was primitive, primitive enough of a game that I think it could have been done on an Atari. Okay, if I okay, don't hear anything wild else out there, I'm adding centipede and breakout. Break 
Yeah, were there any card games that were? We didn't have it. On... Poker or um, solitaire. So I'm right. saying some version of solitaire. How are you guys doing? Well, Good. we're not Turn there yet. How many? How many more minutes to give people? Ben, put Three. it this way: it's Zeke and Susan that remember this. Okay. <laughs> And Ron. <laughs> Ron's, Ron's. No, nobody played player. Atari, huh? I never played Atari. I played I, I used to PC. play my brothers, but I had to sneak yeah. into his room to play it, and that was very rare. I had left I was... home and gone to college. He had an it. early Apple computer. Like, I mean, early. He was like one of the first Apple computers. I remember when he when he figured out how to make a, a thing go across the board. Like, Here's William. Here's Bill. William, where maybe, maybe maybe Bill will know. Did you play Atari? Did come you play on. Atari? No. Oh come on. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> Bill, yeah. did you Bill? Did you ever play Brickout or Breakout? No. <laughs> yeah, Zeke and and Susan are the only two that and Ron. The three of them know these. Well, now I'm going to go find an emulator after this. Yeah. Yes, okay. exactly. I want to I wanna play fishing derby. I want to play pitfall. That was hard. You had yeah. to get like catch him. The thing was swinging back and forth. You had to just go catch him. You'd had to swing across. That was hard. It was an adventure. Listen, Prince of Persia. I played Wait, a game Susan, called Prince of Persia. Susan, Not on was Atari. It print, oh, was that was pretty advanced pit, for Atari. Pitfall or pitfall. Pitfall. In 1988. Okay. Well, definitely was not on the Atari by 88. Oh, okay. It, yeah, I was on my number, my boyfriend at the time. And number three. Which boyfriend was it, Karen? Number three. It She's was on his, um, She's hilarious. She numbers her boyfriend. On his Mac. It was the first time. And you could and you could turn the computer. You could turn you could physically turn the screen. <laughs> Portrait or um landscape. Okay, can you read the list one more time, please? Okay. Pit pitfall. Okay. Frogger. E.T., Space Invaders, Joust, Asteroids, Fishing Derby, Centipede, and then we have possibly Brickout and Breakout. So we and did Pong. not include That Pong. would be Tan. We did we not Pong. include Pong? Uh, we can. Well, Jane had offered Pong. So what will we drop? I thought we decided Pong wasn't. Because it predates the Atari? Oh, yeah. yeah. That it was. No, but I don't know. Pong. I feel like there was a pong on Atari. Okay. I wouldn't pong. be surprised. But we that means we got to drop something now with pong, right? Now pong, and then we need to decide between breakout or breakout. Oh, because the logic before was to in include them both, so if one of them. Yeah. Right. 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 Exactly. If we couldn't get enough, or we can replace something else. Yeah. I, I mean, I can I tell you, I know I played Breakout, but not on an Atari. What have you got that's extra? I've okay, got so what if we take Breakout out and put Asteroid instead? We have Asteroids. We have Asteroids. Well, Pong, we don't have Pong. Did we decide and no so Pong? I did Pong, and that leaves one more. Janine, can you read them one more time? I would appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Pitfall, Frogger, E.T., Space Invaders, Joust, Asteroids, Fishing Derby, Centipede, oh. Pong, and either Brickout or Breakout makes okay, ten. So it's Centipede this. Oh, okay. So you have to decide between Brickout and Breakout. Yeah. All right, here it comes. Or replace something. Which Susan do you want? And Ron, do you have strong feelings about Brickout and Breakout? I, I, like I said, I've only played Breakout, but it was not on an Atari. Mm. Because it, the ball was way in the back, so you're trying to break it out of the bricks. Okay, so there break, out, bricks, break, and out, break out and leave brick out, brick out. So brick out, you want yeah. brick out. I, I don't feel strongly about either because I feel like both of them are right, but it could be the Mandela effect. How um? How can I help my team? I really want to, but I can't. No, you how can't. Are you about Shut up. <laughs> Like, which uh, choose one or the other, Susan? He said, he because said. the the how strict are you about the na the actual name? Because I know ET wasn't just called ET. It was like ET the extraterrestrial. That he wants the name. Yes, I want the full name. 
I would go okay. the ET the extra terrestrial then. Change it to ET. Okay, we have 60 seconds. If we choose not to decide, we still have made a choice. I have to leave at the end of this session. It's been fun, guys. Thanks for okay. having me. Okay. Bye, bye, out Mano. Thanks, bye, Thanks bye. for the help. You get some good on. answers. Breakout or breakout? Two. You're deciding. No, I will cover, cover my mouth so I don't give Deke, anything Deke, away. Deke, you decide. Because I think they're both good. Uh, the pressure. I don't know either. Recap. I don't want to be the one that's responsible. This isn't my team. Okay, we'll take Would you like me to be responsible, even though I've not heard of either? Yeah. Breakout. Let's do breakout. 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 Take a is. vote. Take a vote. Breakout or breakout? Breakout. Heard of breakout. Either one. Breakout. Okay, breakout. Right. Breakout. Yes, for breakout. 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 Okay. Can I, breakout. Can I put my but You know what? If we're wrong, I still love all of you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it was a good game. It was a good hey, game. We came up with I, it. You know, thimble. nobody would remember I can't that. believe designer. He's like, oh, yeah, Thimble. I know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Very glad we had. Okay, so you're going to read the answers one at a time, right? Yes. So uh, <laughs> I was thinking about this because there's 130 to go through. So we can either do, even though we're not doing mono rules, we can just do each person reads all of them off and I say yay or nay. Yeah, that'll, that be quick, that'll be quick enough. I, I also fast. have yeah, a, yeah, yeah. a document in my OneDrive that I can share out with you guys. No, no. I will call them. out the team name and then that team will read. There are 10. Everybody else will be quiet. Yep, that's good because and I have then, a document that I can do a search on to make sure. All right, so you got your document up. I'll pull up a team. Yep. So yep. the team we're going to start with is team five, which is social first, trivia second, since they are at 23 points. So I need one person on that team to read them out whenever I say so, but not yet. Right? Who is that person going to be on team five? Me. Okay, Janine's got them written down. So are you ready for us, Ben? I am. Okay, so Janine, one at a time, slowly. What are the ten? And name it, and then he's going to tell you yes or no. One pitfall. No, that was an Activision game. Yeah. Oh, two Frogger. No. Nope. Three. E.T. the ex extraterrestrial. Correct. And you need to have Scott the Warshaw. full name. E.T. the extraterrestrial. Yes. If you just put E.T., e it doesn't count. That's right. That's right. Or space invaders. Uh, no. Five. Jobs. No, wait. Uh, hold on. Yeah, space invaders is there. I'm sorry. Oh, yes. oh, it is. Okay. Five joust. Uh, joust, I believe, is there. Could be. Yay, Z. Six. Hold on, I'm having trouble with my. No, search. we're doing so well. Let me. I'm just gonna. Yep, joust is there. Okay. Six asteroids. Um, let's see. It's quicker to scroll. Asteroids is there. Okay. Seven fishing derby. Fishing Derby is not there. Was, Eight, Centipede. Centipede is there. Yay, Zeke. <laughs> Nine, uh, Pong. Pong. No. And 10, Breakout. Breakout is there. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I'm just a little excited. <laughs> Good thing you didn't go with Breakout. We went back and like, forth on that. Oh, oh, you guys were going job, back and forth Zeke. so much. Zeke, high five. <laughs> Good job. Thank Hopefully, I, so I didn't, I didn't screw our team too much. All right, so the score right, next. for social first, trivia second. Janine. Janine, our score is... You're on mute. You're muted. Sorry. Six. That was a hard one. Six. Okay. Now, so I hope other people okay. were paying attention. So we're going to go to team one, which is we had a name, but it was classified document. We lost it. 
So what names that were not on there that he just named? Who's who's your representative? I'll do it since I was keeping the list. Okay, Rob. So we we've got five of those already, and okay. then we had maybe Galaga. Um. Mm. Or Galaga. Yeah. Oh, that's a tough one. Galaga does not appear on the list. There is something that's close. Yeah. And Galaxia, I know right? Is it Galaxia? Yeah. It's Galaxian. Yeah, that's what I was totally thinking. Totally different so, game. Yeah, I think um, that's a very different game. Tetris. Uh, do, do, do. Tetris is not on the list. <laughs> Tetris is much over. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we suspected that, but we just learned it didn't come until 84. Uh, Pac, Pac Man or and or Miss Pac Man. Pac Man is on the list. And Ms. Ms. Pac Man is also on the list. All right, that's our list. So we got okay. um we got what do we got here? We got seven. Seven, seven for okay. okay, seven. Got it. All right. Okay, the next team Ooh. is going to be wait, wait, don't tell me. All right, well, we're starting with a four. Uh, next, Montezuma's Revenge. Ooh, um, that is not on there. Are you sure? Okay. That sounds like Arkanoid. a quite disgusting game. Imagine <laughs> <laughs> what you have to collect. Didn't hear Kyle. Arkanoid. Uh, Arkanoids. No. Uh, Moon Patrol. Moon Patrol. Moon Patrol is on there. Mission com uh, Missile Command. Uh, missile Command is on there. Man, I forgot about that one. Baseball. Oh, baseball. Okay. Just Let's baseball. see. Just Baseball is not on the list. And we had Just Football. <laughs> um, do, do, do. Football is on the list, but Just Ooh. Baseball is not. There's some what games that are... Called? Real sports baseball, real sports boxing, real sports football, but there's also a game just called football. So there's a bunch of ones that are real sports and then that that title. Eight, so. so that gives us a seven. Very good. All right, we're on it. Okay, so next we'll be insert name here. Okay. Len Leonard's team. Yep, yeah, I I I've got it. Um, we already have three. We have okay. Battle Zone. Battle Zone is on there. Circus Atari. Uh, that is also on there. Dig Dug. Um, Dig Dug is on there. It's really? Adventure. Wow. Adventure is on there. Shoot. Blackjack. Blackjack. Let me look. Blackjack is on there. Clax. Uh, that's K L A X, right? Right. Yep. Yes, that is on there. And pole position. Pole position. Do, 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 is on there. Wow. We have ten. Well, so, I mean, so for those, was on we were so those who don't know your background, I think we Atari also had a big advantage. Leonard, what what is your background work with Atari, Leonard? Uh, I was vice president of software for Atari. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Just a minor Yay. little thing. Just a little yeah. bit. Minor advantage. But I but I, I started more than a decade after most of those games came out. We we had a ringer. I love yeah. it. That's hilarious. All right. So god damn it, Biden. Okay, what's left? Yes. Um, you got golf. You said golf? Yeah. Just golf is on there. G-U-L-F or G-O-L-F? G-O-L-F. G-O-L-F. <laughs> uh, I thought you Revenge. had an oil rig game. Uh, hold on. Uh, Yars Revenge with yeah, a Y. Revenge. That is on there. Yep. And Raiders of the Lost Ark. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Yes, Raiders of the Lost Ark is on there. By the way, Susan, you, you're not sharing your screen as you're putting the scores on. You know that? Okay. Carl? Uh, we have eight. Because he wants the full name for E.T. Oh, you guys didn't do E.T. the extra. 
<laughs> which is one of the most famous uh, games because of it's what ended up happening with all the cartridges. Yeah, yeah. And we Arizona could Desert. Whole, we could do which, a whole round which everyone, that. which what everyone knows isn't true. Right. Okay, yeah. here we go. Okay. So. Ooh, we're not in last place, team. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> so that was a very nice try. In Hooray! You sure came so, back. So the last place team had a lot of fun. Yeah, <laughs> we did. I, I, I was hoping well, that they get a little more team, social but you did first, right. trivia second. Exactly. Our, our, name was, name. our name was very fitting. I'm just and glad I didn't third. end up giving our team like a two. So I'm very <laughs> proud of you guys. Yeah, like, that's yeah, my job. Yeah, really like somebody that, did this game. I, that's my job to give. It was mainly to... Zeke because the stuff I caught got on there were not on there. They were activism, Activision. Activision. Yeah, yeah. I so realized what I we had a lot of Activision. Is yeah. another round Pitfall, I can do I like the full well. three hundred and something uh, <laughs> list of Atari twenty six hundred games. Uh, you guys but I definitely that'd be a little hard to manage. Out. I yeah. remember break out. Was there a breakout and a breakout? Does anybody remember? <laughs> Yeah, there Rick was a out breakout is the original and breakout. Yeah. Rick out there might have be been like one a, called Bricks or something. It would no, have been no, a no. Brickout. Were there two different games by yeah. two different companies called yeah. Breakout and Breakout? Yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm okay. signing out. I'm signing out. Thank but you. Was no yeah. Yeah. Out Thank you. Night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Okay, the last night is sign out too. I still do not have a bonus round for next week. If nobody does it. Christy I was uh, Christy bonus. was asking about doing one. <laughs> I'm not putting anybody through it until they've been here a few times. Good night, everybody. Kevin's got night. it. Uh, Good night. I'll do it if nobody else has it. It's okay, a bonus round, it. right? So yeah. if Vince is no longer here, are we still being recorded? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Should I unrecord? So, so Christy, so what Susan has people do who are going to do it for the first time is to submit questions to one of the typical players who's not going to be there that week. <laughs> Okay. Well, yeah, I no, I, I would want to except Richard Saunders. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I would need I would need a couple of times before you gotta play a few times. I would do, but, I, but I'm interested. Most of, most of us played for four months before we got a shot at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I mean I'm really happy with middle of the road for my first trivia ever. So Yay! that's yeah. another yeah. win. Yeah, well, you were big help in some of the categories too. Troy's going to play. Troy's already got their uh, her category all figured out. So I told her she had to play a few times before she could use her category. Uh, my the category is assigned to me, or no, no, no you, you have to okay. come up with it. You're Nobody wrong. knows. But the okay, thing yeah, is, I, a lot of things have been and done. You can't already. even hint. You can't even hint. Yeah, yeah no, I never look. tell anybody my category, and yeah, sometimes I do even, even even when he take does the category, on... he doesn't tell anybody what. That's it's right. <laughs> take, take a look at the Facebook uh, event. Susan has an unbelievably long list yes. of categories that have okay. been used over the preceding gasp almost three, three years. years. <laughs> then, can I get look a at her skeptical a inquirer journey? article? You can see a lot of sample past question yeah Ooh, i don't know post, i have, a, I have a younger perspective here so i feel like i could stump you with like uh all the things that i've been alive for well, <laughs> we, we had we had, had, like, had good we had billy eilish we had billy eilish on and nobody knew who she was i was like what because yep. paying attention in the mid 90s so yeah i'd be awesome but <laughs> hey hey wait wait i just out of fairness there's a lot of categories on here we've done. I wasn't alive for it. <laughs> like <laughs> Middle Eastern, I mean, middle, uh, uh, like uh, cathedrals in the 17th. Victorian. Oh, yeah. Kings, and stuff. kings from Elizabethan times. So, World War I. Uh, we're, uh, we're all out there. So, this is not boomer. Yeah, it's <laughs> true. And history. There's been history. Lessons there were no in. British kings during the Elizabethan times. Uh, you, know, Elizabethan. you know what I mean. Like, you know what I mean. I'm saying, By definition, there were no British kings during the Elizabethan times. <laughs> All right. You know what I mean. Famous well, Elizabethan 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 gender fluid royalty. Kings. I'm making the next game right now. <laughs> All right, so did you get somebody to fill every spot for yeah, next Yeah, Kevin week? says, yeah, yeah, everybody's on. We've got next yeah. week we have uh, Aaron, Rob, Gail, 
Kevin, and Kyle. And Kevin's bonus. You mean Carl? I'm doing the bonus, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't have. I have Kyle. Aaron, no, Rob, Daniel, Kyle, Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> Are you getting them confused again, Susan? Once again, I'm reading what is written. You confused say, me with my alter ego. <laughs> did I say Kyle or did I say? You said Kyle, Kyle, but I think you meant Carl. No, no, you no, I have when, Kyle. when you said it, I was doing this. So. No, wait, so you think it's Kyle? <laughs> yeah. It's Kyle. Think it's Kyle. Uh, what if Carl well, wait, doesn't Carl. think it would be Carl? Carl? Carl has a round next week. No, well, Kyle has saying? a round. It says no, he Kyle. Doesn't. Kyle is shaking his Kyle, head. Kyle do you have a round? It. Kyle's saying no. Carl's saying yes. I think okay, they I need to be with them. Carl in Kyle's yes. place, but it's yes. it my Kyle. place. I claimed it. Thanks for coming for me. <laughs> I think we need to Thanks just start playing. referring to I them as I have Kyle. The I'm the evil twin. <laughs> one, one of I'm you could Garth Polish. What one of you could change the first letter of your name. What? Well, what? it can't be. Oh, it can't be Carl. Because be then he'd have to change would, both. Then you'd be pronouncing it Sile. <laughs> oh my God! And, you could, <laughs> and you'd have to change your last name. Go C H. Use I would be so lost, you guys. I would be so cruel. So that's oh, it would be hit. Kyle, like the end of uh, like a card key, like bicycle. C L. No, it's Cole. Cole. No, so it's Kyle. Kyle. Kill. No, it's Kyle. Or K. use Kyle with the. K. Or use the uh, Kai from the Greek alphabet. Yeah. K Y L. Kyle with a K. Do we have a list, Susan, of what states have not been covered? Uh, I only have what states we have done. Shock and confusion. No way you could create that information, Rob. That's We've true. done Illinois. California. Well, somebody look. I can tell you really quick. Okay, let's see. Illinois. Yes. I did Mass. Okay. I did Connecticut. I did Rhode Island, and I did New Hampshire. Look I on only, the list. I only part. did. Notice that, uh, nobody specified these were states of the United States. Oh, Why can't we do North Rhine, Westphalia, states? or no? Uh, really great. Nora. I will do the state of confusion round. Yep. Why not? Okay. That's a category right there. State of shock. State of confusion. State I'm of shocked that we have. You know what? We should have done monopoly pieces for a bonus Watch category. I'm surprised we never did that. You do the state, state of matter. Well, now you took away next week's category, Susan. But we've already now done I have it. to come up with something else. We've already done it. Oh, we did. I'm still waiting, Brandy. You have not done one yet. Have waiting, you? Why waiting do you have to say my name? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to do that according to a new state. Both Einstein. Stop bullying her, bro. You know what I'm going to start doing is is on the mystery themes. I'm going to start listing them in here. Green Acres, because um, I've just not been putting those ones that are mystery themes. I've not been putting what the theme is whenever yeah. I write them on. It's not a mystery when you do that. Well, if it's well, afterwards, yeah. it's not supposed to be. Yes. Right. How do you spell acres? A C H A C R R E S. Okay, that's how they spell it. Okay. Acres. So I need that's to go back and look at some it. of these. So we have monopoly pieces I need to add. And so I have actually considered a couple of things for categories. So Yay. I'm just scared. You can well, do it, Brandy. We believe in you. Brandy. Well, well, do a bonus one for us. Well, one. I thought out. about a bonus one. Wikipedia run. pages, you can't be that scared. Come on now. No, I wrote one Wikipedia page and got scared and stopped doing it. Uh, <laughs> you've been into a Thomas John event. True. Yeah, that I did do. You're not, there, there should be nothing to be afraid of. You're fine. Start, start with a bonus round. They're easier. You don't have to Okay, just do as try, much. Explain the difference between a bonus round and, and what needs to be written for it. So bonus, the bonus rounds round. are typically like a, a, a kind of a top 10 list, Yeah, you know, where you just like, give me 10 of the, you know, best, the top 10 highest grossing movies. One you know, question, kind of, 10 answers instead right. of 10 questions. Or just 10, 10 like today, you know, there's 130 games or whatever it was and then 10 of the 10 of them. It could yeah. be Here's, like one, that, here's one Carl came everyone. up with. I love this one. Tennessee or Mississippi. <laughs> oh, that was so Sad good. I missed that one. He States said, if you blended Tennessee, Tennessee and, and Missouri, if you had the one blend, state. if you made them into one state, what would be the name 10 uh, around the outside? And would the 12 touch states it? they would border. He says there would be 12 and there'd be 10. Okay, that's one we did. A weird way of expressing his redistricting. We've done things boys. like the top 10. <laughs> The, the top ten boys' names in like nineteen, you know, trying to avoid giving the answer. 
How about how about the the best movies of the year according to Roger <laughs> Ebert? <laughs> that Ebert. That was horrible. I have scored okay. round ever one point between all teams. <laughs> it was <Wow>. horrible. <laughs> okay, Nobody had gone to the movie because it was a pandemic year, and who the hell knows what they put on their website? We had like, Charles Dickens characters. We've had countries with a single land border. We've had ten yeah. universities with the largest endowments. Um, album covers. He yes. got winner. Pre U.S. presidents that have been in office eight years. Exactly eight years. Right. Pretty Maybe much a one question that you can give ten answers to. Let me just dish in ten Oreo individual flavors questions. that did not go over very well. The first ten dish digits of pi. Uh, Yiddish words. Name word. any ten people Chia who have pets. won an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony. Tires. Name that Chia dog. Pets. Name that cat. Batman villains. 10 heaviest terrestrial animals, Hollywood squares, Oreo varieties. Oh my god, we've done everything. Uh, the name, the name of that dog and name of that cat. I had a picture of 40 cartoon characters, dogs, and then you have to name 10 of them. But and then the other one was cats. It, yeah, we had a picture. Oh, we've and had then, everything. But that was that was mono Play a few right, games you know. and yes, I think it was. Yeah, name, that's funny. Yeah, that was mono rules. Yeah. Name 10 presidents who held the rank of general. Now. I've got to go back and do all these mystery categories. It's okay. hard to um, it's hard to do a, a a bonus now because I'm running out of things. We've done it's Bohemian Rhapsody. Me. We've done. It's, yeah, yeah, I did a lot of songs. I did a lot of songs. I did six you songs. You so guys, uh, you guys have got to get to know me because I might do a bonus round. I, I fostered tons and tons of kittens. I say, name 10 cats that I've owned. <laughs> oh, that's well, look, normally kitty. it can't be that personalized, except we did have somebody kitty. who said 10 things in their house. So that yeah. was, who, who did Yeah, it? Jeff and Bye, Jeff and his okay. wife, <laughs> used to, Jeff and Julie have foster kittens too. Well, they would take they Mike, would put a camera on the kittens and we could see them in one of the rooms. Yeah, Mike that was cute. did that, but he also made up stories that were more broad about those things in his yeah. life. He said, yeah, well, Rob, you house. did your you did your uh, employment history, right? That was fairly personal. But well, you gave that wasn't that so wasn't that the bonus. Guess what the, those were 10. Right. Those were questions. 10 and I gave a lot questions. of information <laughs> about each. Maybe one. you could guess like the company countries yeah. that use dollar for their currency. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah, that. Good bonus. I, did oh, I was just looking that up. <laughs> 10 coins that have holes in them. What country? Oh, yeah, you did. oh yeah, that's yeah, cool, that. too. Oh, I did 10 of the I think it's 17, maybe a little more than that countries that don't have their clocks on the hour, right? Oh, yeah. Time zones yeah. that don't yeah. have Yeah, that was, a, yeah. Or, that or was one of those. an interesting one. Nobody or, yet, India. Christy, has India. done the category, what number, name 10 numbers I'm thinking of. Water <laughs> <laughs> rules. The 10 best numbers. <laughs> we did like the 10, to the, 10 the top 10, the top 10 boy names last year, oh, the top 10 those. boy names last decade, the top oh, 10 girl names from the year 20, uh, you know, 1900s or something like that, according <laughs> to Social Security or whatever. And we had all these this information. So we'll look up something. Once in a while, we have something that's disputed. You know, it's like, oh, that's not on my list. That's not on my list. So I came up with one that was 10 drinks because I could not come up with the top 10 drinks. I just listed the ingredients name and it turned from a bonus category into a regular right. round. And by the way, although it may give you the impression that all of our categories are themes, that this is the first yeah. time I remember where we did this many in one night. Usually at most it's one. One round, just, yeah. Like a mystery? Yeah. Like, no, mystery theme, you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because the usually, yeah, usually some of them. We had one time like, that all of them were mysteries, weren't we? Except we maybe. remember that. I love the mystery themes. I like them that way too. I did I a lot like of songs. A mix. I like a mix. When I do the yeah. mystery theme, it's all the related answers are totally different questions. But then, okay, if you so think of I the need answers, a, I need the more. answer to this mystery theme, by the way, because I'm going to go back and try to put these mysteries and write them in our past category themes. Okay. Yep. Borax, caldera, transport, Faith, abrasion, Faith, and, Faith and Romero's. Um, Vacation. Uh, vacation oh, trip. trip. Yeah. Okay, got it. What? Faith mm -hmm. they, they have vacation photos yeah. where they went, and yeah, you, you, were, you weren't here something. that round. Oh, I missed that. It game. was cool. To, it was cool to see the answers because then they, they were posting pictures. Of vacation where they were. photos, and you had a picture where there was. Yeah, like so. Every well, different place we went, you created a trivia question. I was just talking about it earlier today with him. Actually, that um, it was actually kind of fun. I liked it. 
Faith was on our team and she wasn't as much help as you'd think she might be. <laughs> oh, it, wasn't until, it wasn't until Leonard mentioned elephant seal and then it occurred to me that this is all of these things were related. And I still gave him grief um, earlier today about the uh, one about the sequoia trees. Like you happened to pick something that wasn't even at the park that we were at, that it was just <laughs> remotely related. Like nobody fucking got that one. You know, one of my favorite categories we did was this one Erin did called What's My Number? And Erin just came up with like, she had um, 1701. Yeah, that, that was a fun, that was a I fun like round. That, and she, that was this enterprise. Yep, that one was good. Yeah, 86 and 99. Well, then you, I think That's this smart. was where we did uh, a few weeks ago the we had to rearrange the round so the bonus wasn't the last round it was like the second to last round and that's the one where um i think it was kevin did the 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 members of the five timers club from snl oh, oh yeah, yeah that's right, right. that was a lot of minute that was fun. greatest hits there was one that had the three stooges john denver 30 mile zone what was that coffee milk State oh, that's greatest hits. Right. That was just random ones from past because no from, one was oh, yeah, category. Old, okay, I know. coming yeah. up with a category. At, at, at zero, I just no. went through my old history yeah, and picked up my favorite Cat question. Category of previous Kansas. categories. Okay. Yeah, Pickles, one question Butter, for me. Cap, Dan Quill, Robin Wright, Steve Crane, Phoebe Gates. What was that? Say it again. Cheryl Crow, Eddie Velasco, Jay Silverheels, Christopher Wren. Do you oh, mean Edie Birds. Bird, birds. bird names. Birds. Oh. People's whose last name are birds or something mm. like that. Yep. Edie that Falco. Was fun one. Falcon. We got that theme. I remember that. That was good. Avian surnames. Falco was one of them. Did you have mine with the theme? Did you? I'm the trying to go up back in the back, trying to come up with the. My most recent Ask one was the for as a word had to be in. We didn't start the fire. Like, oh, nice I guess that. Yeah, 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 I like that fire. one. Good night, everybody. I enjoyed that because I got Take it. Take care, yeah. Mr. Tremel. <laughs> I did, I did mystery songs. You know, I did uh, Imagine, American wait, wait, Pie. Oh yeah, Imagine. That's a good I song. I know, but I'm American. trying to do them. In, I'm sorry, I don't forget. How about oh, Russell oh. Palin, Brooklyn Decker, or Bryce? How that was mine. That that's where people who were named after locations. Ah, yes. Uh, cities specifically. It was city locations. Everyone had a city <laughs> name. Yeah, Brooklyn. Arizona. Okay. Um, mystery. God. Sabbath, birds and bees, alternate place names, different actors, same role. Cass Elliot, Ooh. nerd buster category, match the captain of the ship, non existent geography, George Carlin, Yiddish words, seemingly random celebrities. What was that one about? Tom Waits, Ben Foles, Jeffrey Irons, verb names. Yeah, it, and Not it tells uh, well, technically yeah. people whose names were com grammatically complete sentences. Oh yeah, oh, oh, that Bill. was pretty good. That was pretty good. Oh, how am I going to say that on here? Yeah, people whose names are sentences. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, it. That's it, right there. Norman Fell. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember that one. Was I here? Yeah, that was that was good. Yes, I'm pretty sure that you, was, you uh, were drinking too much that night. Yeah, September 29th. <laughs> I must have been here. There was one you weren't here. There was one you weren't here. She what doesn't drink. She was here. popping milk duds. <laughs> so okay. drink, American Dicker, drink. Smokers, Jokers. Oh, that must have been the song. Yeah, it's a song. Yep. That's Midnight that's the Jokers. Joker. What's that's the, song the Joker. Called? The song the is Joker. The Joker. The Joker? Stephen yeah, Miller. Steve Miller. Some people call me the Space Miller, Cowboy. The Some people call me the Gangster. I don't care what people call you. What is the name of the song? Sorry. I hate that song. I love that song. I cannot stand it's a great that song. Homer Simpson's song. favorite. You're oh. just upset that the word pompatus is in there and it doesn't even yeah. exist. We've had Lady that's, Park. That's the word hey, I always use you know in, what, a, Susan? in the lyrics. Steve challenge. Miller Band. Yeah. Steve would be a wordle answer. <laughs> We're back to that. Okay. Oh. Fame, so uh, George's we Joker. Had... So would Joker. Mm. People named George. We had that. By the way, am I correct for the people who play Wordle that they never have a plural, so the word does not end in an yes. S? Yes. Uh, it can end in an S, but if it's not a plural, though. No, I think it can. No, yeah, it can't. It's random. They, 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 no, they say, say hey, they don't hey, allow hey, plurals. Hey, hey, do you want me to end this? 
<laughs> I'll, I'll turn the Zoom account so right that, around. So that's a way for them to get a whole new slew of words, four letter words yeah. with an S on the end. Okay, and I'm asking you one. another question. Yeah. Doris Day, Joe DiMaggio, this is Rob. That's the We Didn't Start the Fire. Those are the We Didn't Start the Fire. We Didn't Start the Fire. Lyrics to We Didn't Start the Fire. It did have plurals, Kevin. Here's it another one. Fun. Watch out, Rumi, Delta, Linen, Empty, Cabal, Cabal United. Wordle words. <laughs> you can right. walk Susan. right into oh, that oh, one. Cold 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 cold. Is a cold. Wow. Okay, here's another one. Susan, Smoke Susan the water. you have to end yourself. Christy. Sorry. Susan does <laughs> not like Wordle, Christy. Susan gets muted. There you go. Susan muted. She has Mute an Susan. I, I can't just <laughs> keep talking. We muted you. Muted is a Wordle word. <laughs> <laughs> I just took away your permissions, Mr. Ooh, oh, snap. Palmer. Okay. Wait, do I still have permissions? Oh, yes. <laughs> Don't say it too loudly. L O U D L Y. Five. Susan, just remember oh. the way you feel about Wordle is how I feel about mono rules. <laughs> no, it's totally different. Nobody can no, feel the mono rules. Nobody can feel the way I feel. Like, like, Wordle doesn't hurt you. <laughs> Every something... day. You know what I do when I see a Wordle on Facebook? I get rid of the post and I tell her that I do not want to see any of these posts. So that makes your posts, all your posts, they don't notice them as much anymore. So if I start playing again, I should specifically tag you in every one that I do. And you will become hidden. You will become <laughs> no longer a Facebook friend. I, I wouldn't do it. Please. You just have to create the secret like cabal text messaging. Susan, you share how many letters in cabal? Susan, have, how many just letters see in how cabal? many skeptics you know who are Ooh. playing Wordle and you are helping minimize their other messages, making making it out there to people. So please think about how much do you love skeptics versus dislike yeah. Wordle. I remove mm. them. They I mean, away. you could you could have like my feed be all Wordle answers, you know or it could like? be misinformation from okay. Facebook advertisers. Remember the beginning. I'm actually of playing Facebook? Wordle as we speak, and I just use the word cabal just to figure out where. <laughs> okay, <it is>. listen. <laughs> Do you guys remember you go, whenever we go, go I've already solved today's in three. Do you guys remember? you want to get back to more mystery rounds? Yes, Susan. Susan. Yes, Susan. Yes. Do you remember the beginning of Facebook? Does anybody remember that? Yes. yes. People kept putting up those goddamn candy crush or farm bills. And yeah. Hold on. That Facebook. wasn't the beginning of Facebook. It that was, was, when, that we... was when they let you riffraff into it. Because oh, Ramiro and I, and I no, had to have a, had to have a email address. address. I've had a Facebook account since like 2004, 2005. Okay. Like from the beginning. Do you remember the days when people would put up their farm bill, their they're trying to get you to play the game. Yeah. Well, the, yeah, the worst was when they would invite I mean, my space. So yeah, they, no, mean my space? no, we would send like invites, like send me lives yeah. and things yeah, like that. No. I hated that. And that's what Wordle looks like to me. It's just ads. I hate ads. And it just looks like ads. That you all know I hate it. Do not get every time away. you put it up, it's like somebody saying to me, we don't care that you hate it, Susan. Here it is. It's You're my right. wall. Go somewhere else. Like it's not all about you, you Susan. <laughs> what I want. If you don't There's want to another game. how many times we talked about it here in this game. There's, There's another so game. Different. There's another game with Wordle, right? That's called Letterboxed. The answer, like within the last couple of weeks. No, but listen, it's it's a really relevant answer. You have to connect letters to spell words. It's not Wordle. And the answer was psychic chicanery. Ooh. That's good. But the see? point is, Kevin, do you play it? Oh, hold on, Kevin, are you playing it to solve like in one or two words? You you play it to solve it as in like they give you a number like four or yeah. five, but when they always show the answer, it's always two. And their answer one time was psychic chicanery. Where how do you see the answer? Because it doesn't you, show you it click on the word answer, it's right there. The yesterday's answer, it says. Is, you see yesterday's answer when you play it box. I also any, to do the New York Times mini. That's like my ritual. I actually so, took a screenshot of it. Guys, I'll share it. I play it. games too. I play solitaire. I play all kinds of things, but I don't. You just don't take pictures of it and put it on your Facebook Why? page every day. Why would you? Care? No, I think part of the reason is part of the reason you're trying to figure it out. And someone Carl. sees and someone sees a better. <laughs> you you have powers mute everybody, Susan. You took my powers away. I could have muted people for you. Yeah, you muted me too. So, what is the next mystery <laughs> category? Okay, I've got Jerry Andrus, Estelle Getty, Mick and Morty, Helen Hunt, Silly Putty, George Carlin, Kramer versus Kramer, Susan Sheridan. Sheridan. 
Sarandon. Sarandon. Frank's oh, Red the Hot Sauce. I Jesus, that was my that category, and I can't remember. <laughs> what is it? Ed Getty, Jerry Andrus, Rick and Morty, Helen Hunt. Oh, wait a minute. That might not have been mine. Jerry Andrus. Elaine Bolster. Hold on. Elaine Bolster. George Carlin, Kramer versus Kramer, and Susan Sarandon. Seinfeld. It was a character from Seinfeld. Yeah. That was your character. Yeah, that was my character. Fun game. Seinfeld. That was my F-I-E-L-D. Newman. Wait. I'm asking you, how do you spell Seinfeld? Is it S I N D? S E I N. What? S E I N. F I E L D. F E L D. F E L D. F L D. All right, one person told me how to spell Seinfeld. Why don't you just Google it? Because I'm talking to you guys. And if I had to Google it, I'm going to be, I have to spell it. There is the restaurant Seinfeld in New York City. It's called Tom's Restaurant. Okay, I'm asking you how to spell it. Oh, e i e i n f f e l d. Yeah. Okay. Just type Start in over. It starts with Damn an it. S. The uh -huh. next letter is E. Next letter. It's in the chat. It's in the in chat. chat. Where's the Seinfeld. Chat? Because I googled Impossible. it. You screamed at me all at the same time. Follow the German rules of spelling and you can spell it. Yes. <clears throat> so frustrating, you people. Okay, next round. Wait, are you like an ET cartridge? Here's a random category. Oh, that was a random category. ET, the extraterrestrial thing. Was it random or <laughs> That was so <laughs> redundant <laughs> because it really ET stands for extraterrestrial. I hate that. Name. I understand, but that is what it was called. Okay, this one says random. Is it really random? To the Lighthouse, Punch. Oh, Punch and Judy. Judy Ooh. Collins, Twelfth Night, Cube, EGOT winner, Death of Sherlock Holmes. This was previous trivia rounds were the answers. Okay, yeah, you're right. Okay, I remember that now. Um, okay, here's another one. What's the theme? Phantom Tollbooth, Brian, Landslide, Poor Boy, Mama, Trigger, Fandango. Oh, that was uh Bohemian Rhapsody. Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. That was mine. Write the word Bohemian Rhapsody in the chat so I can just... <laughs> No, no, nope. You have to spell that one all on your own, Susan. <laughs> oh my god. There's lo lots of R's in that. Better than Washington. Here's another one. Control 99 Thalden. That's get smart. That's, okay. Get smart. Did we have two get smarts? I thought someone said that before. Um I think he was just rating them off, but I'm trying to go through them in order to make sure. I, don't I think we did a get smart category. Then we did a mystery category. That was okay, all, here's one. Seemingly oh, unrelated oh. trivia theme round. The Treasure of Sierra Madre, Echo, Alpha Decay, Alpha Doodle Danny, or oh, Yankee Doodle Danny, Quebec. Oh, these are the words yeah. that are all phonetic, phonetic alphabet. Phonetic alphabet. Mm -hmm. Yep. Can Things somebody the write the word phonetic? <laughs> the chat. H. F. <laughs> not F. No, F is in Frank. I think he it's not spelled photo. phonetically. Thank you, Zeke, for it's writing not. Dang it. For me. Thank you, Zeke. Now somebody could write. Phonetically should be spelled phonetically, and palindrome should be a palindrome. Yes, it should. But alas. The most amazing word is radar because it reflects itself, and that's what you do with radar. <laughs> Susan, okay, do you also need? Do you also need the word alphabet? Nobody's put it in there. Wizard of Oz, we had that as. I well, I was waiting to see if you wanted me to also spell the word alphabet. I could, I really would like, oh, there's. Okay. So no one is amazed at Good radar, job, or did everyone realize that? Because I worked with radar in the military, and we always said, oh my God, look at this. Wouldn't it be and Ray Bar? Like no. R A D A R. It's... Yeah, but if you reverse it, the D goes back. No. <laughs> it reads back the same way. Yeah, yeah, palindrome is not the same as symmetrical. Okay, time travel right. trivia. Taco Cat. Tra time travel trivia. Was that a Guardian of Forever, Jack the Ripper, Traveler's Plane that was about to crash? Frequently asked questions about time travel. That was Six to piss you off line. category. Hmm? That was to piss Susan off. It was all about time Taco travel. Cat. Rob Taco Cat. Out. Did you get the words you what? can spell with your left hand yet? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we that did was that. around. Was it? Was that yours, Kyle? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. I I remember that. that. One. Yeah, only on the keyboard. It, it took us a bit, but once we figured it out, we're like, oh, the... everything's left-handed. Do you remember the category that also had to have like three-letter e's in it or something like that? Oh, I did a Wordle one where word all the words had to have three letters. 
Five letter words with three letters in them. Yes. That was a tough one. What does that mean? Like M O M M A is a five letter word with three M's in it. Oh, three of the same letters. Yeah, they have three of the same letters. White Lightning. Is this Greece? Granny, Donna, Jethro Toll. No, read them again. Beverly Hillbillies, right? Yeah. Yeah, Beverly Hillbillies, Jethro. White Lightning's a term for moon. uh, Moonshine. Moonshine. Who did that one? It wasn't Kevin, me. probably. No, it wasn't me. It wasn't? What? I don't think it was. Are you sure? Maybe it was. No, I, I don't remember. I down who had each category, but I don't have this one. <laughs> you don't? Time. I did it. I don't remember. <laughs> Terry's done a lot of TV ones. It, it, was, is, Terry? I think it, was, it was uh It was June 9th, 2022. I think it was Terry. Yeah, Terry did a lot of the TV show ones. Here's one that says, and now for something completely different, Chris Farley, Danny... Keith Richards, Lori Laughlin, Ruben. That's me. That was Partridge Family. Um, yep. <coughs> because I did a Brady Bunch category, right. another Brady Bunch category. You guys were getting mad. And I said, now for something completely different. You thought I was going to do Monty Python. I did the Partridge Family. <laughs> Sticking that's with the great. theme. In the same do night. Do we have one called Sticking Bunch. with the Theme? Build a House of Cards, 1969, football. Yeah, that was that was the Brady Bunch one. Tyler. That was the Brady. That's something to do with Brady Bunch. Okay. Build a Every house of cards. That's what. That's how they settled an argument on the Brady Bunch. Oh, Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks was the only one who wasn't on the Brady Bunch. Are the are the are the characters I listed? The famous people. Oh my god! His wife was actually on the Brady they Bunch. They had an Tom awful lot of uh, um, categories that were um, social. Like, um, what am I trying to say? Pop culture? Pop culture, yeah. When I did the Brady Bunch, I did a Brady Bunch category Anthony, with based Mary on their names and then the characters' names. Oh, that was another one you did. Which one that is it? Brady Bunch. This one's I did uh, two Brady Bunches in a row and then followed by the Partridge family. Why would you do two Brady Bunches? The Partridge family. The Partridge family. The Partridge yeah, family. family. I, I did it to piss you guys off because you would be like, <laughs> didn't believe I would do it in one night. And I it did was, the same. I just did the same thing all night. It was part of his trolling campaign. He's yeah, a troll. Oh yeah, that was the what one where you were doing out? the whole the whole night, Kevin. Yes, I did the whole yeah. night. The yeah. pot, it was all mystery all night. Okay, here's another TV mystery: Dukes of Hazard, Knight Rider. That was Carl's <laughs> classic cars. Yes. yes, shows with iconic cars. That was yes. a great round. That was, that was great. Nobody got it, and then as soon as he shows the answer, oh, of course it's the cars. Get what? pictures of it. Like, Were they yeah. our, our, our team had that. Oh, uh, you got it? Right? Okay. Uh, yeah, I, that was my team. I, as, as we're answering the questions, I'm like, oh, these are all iconic cars from TV Wait, was shows. Was it TV shows or was it movies? Or no, was it TV, TV shows. shows. TV shows? Yeah. yeah. TV shows with iconic yeah, I don't, cars. I don't Dukes of Hazard, A Team. Movies. Um, Mr. Bean. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh, here's another one Getting Her First Period. Ah, Corey. Terry. This this was this was keys in the keyboard. Tab. Period. Yeah, yeah keyboard. keyboard. Yeah. Period. Each, tab. Yeah, each, each tab answer is, a, is a key on the keyboard. Man, you guys are clever. That was that was Carl's, right? That was there was a lot of clever ones. Uh, Carl's greatest hits. This one, volume two. Missouri has. It was just questions from previous rounds that nobody oh, okay. had that. That you had no excuse for not knowing because you'd heard them all before. I actually we did still okay on, on that round. Okay, of, here's another of, mystery. I remember the answers I got wrong better than I remember some Kate of the right Moss, answers. Juliet Lewis, Renata Ryder, Jennifer Gray, Elon Musk, 96. People who have dated either John. Oh, people yeah. who have dated Johnny Depp or Ember. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> what was, was 96 in there? How many people Ow. have dated them? The question, the answer was 96. What? No, that was a. Yeah, it says. Year? How many acting credits does Johnny Depp have on INDB? Yeah, oh, I think that was 96. just a, 96 didn't have anything to do with it. Oh, she couldn't come up with another. I think it was just a filler question. Yeah, that it was, was a probably question. Robin. She was so into that. Yes. The trial. Into that trial. Happy yeah. days. This one I wrote down. That was my favorite answer that everybody seemed to like. Carl, didn't ten. you do one, or have we had one kind of along those lines of uh, shows that have had spinoffs, right? 
We had uh, something kind of. I don't. Those lines. I, I've talked about it many times, but I haven't actually done that round yet. But you know I what see, we do? I see that coming up in the future. Around the right. People like Janine had no pop culture. <laughs> So, so we need stuff. But that's okay, Susan, because that makes up for the questions that other people people are all like, I have no idea about this subject whatsoever. I think we need to make sure we have a good diversity. Like, think about diversity and not just pop culture. Everyone's played Atari, right? (laughs) Hey, I did. Everyone over over 40. Everybody poops. Okay, here's another one. Well, that's kind of why I went with the Atari. I figured with the ages of the team members that that would probably be the better console to go with. This was, uh, I think it was um, Romero's, May 5th. Cinco de Mayo? Well, he had May 5th themes. Yeah. May the 5th be with you. Brian Williams? What does that have to do with May the 5th? We'll read the answers. Uh... Oops. Uh, Exile to the island of St. Helena. That was Napoleon Bonaparte. Mm-hmm. Um, there was one, the nephew. Okay, Puebla. First American. These are all things Day. that happened May 5th. May 5th. Mm. So Revenge of the Sith. What was Brian Williams' this 5th? Probably his birthday. I don't know. Would you have come up with that, Romero, for Brian Williams? Yeah, I think, I, yeah, I th- I think that's what it is, yeah. Everybody Cinco knows de Brian Mayo. Williams' birthday. We would do in the category <laughs> on Cinco de Mayo. Oh, here's the 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 Flintstones. Yeah, he would. Uh, Brian Williams Flintstones. was born May Meet 5th. the Flintstones. I think I did the Flintstones. You well, you always do those kind of things. You and Terry. Modern Stones family. What was it? What was the Flintstones questions? Um, it was Dean Martin gave up boxing to work as a roulette sticks. Stick yes, there was a mystery Dino. category. Yeah, I did that because the nickname was Dean. When she was, was 21, Dino. she was a nine of hearts and ah. a new deck of playing cards. Betty was, White. Yeah. Betty White. This is all yeah. hard. Uh, mystery theme. Oh, here's another one. Facts of Life, mm-hmm. The Brady Bunch, Mork and Lindy, Cros- Cosby Show, I Love Lucy, Family Matters. It, all, these are all shows that added a, a new character kid to try and keep the show alive. Yep. That always Just fails miserably. Cousin Oliver trope. Yeah, the cousin Oliver. That was from Brady Bunch, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Was that the first show, or was did anything prior it's to that, like black and white show shows? Yeah. Add a kid. That added a kid. Yeah. Yeah. A yeah, it's like when they jump the shock. Okay, that's why, why TVTropes.com calls it the cousin Oliver. Rock trope. Hammer Green Red Red Green Wholesome Prison. That's oh. that's from the I did that one. That was the Shawshank Redemption. Oh yeah, Shawshank Redemption in the (laughs) mystery category was the Shawshank Redemption. A couple people most commonly associated with mystery rounds here. (laughs) Okay, this one is Springs. I think Spring Awakening, Springfield, Palm Springs, Spring Break. That was Peggy. Words with spring in it. Well, not words. Places was it? I think it was Was Peggy. Was it places with Springfield? Because Spring Awakening is a book. Yeah, and then Springform Pan, and I think it was Peggy. So how would call that? What would that title be? It was Spring. spring. It was the first day of spring or something was probably when we were doing oh, trivia. It was a April. It was a mystery, but it was. Yeah, but what would I call it? Easy. It's Spring. Spring. It's with Spring. Springs to mind. It, it is well, Spring. Oh, it's Spring. Spring has sprung. sprung. The answer is with Spring. <laughs> Kyle. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yes, I like it. <laughs> Thank you, Zeke. Zeke is the only one here. <gasps> She's a good. That, that gives me an idea for a round. What's the answer? In Sound effects. Me. Here we go. Was, that's why I was just. That's <laughs> why I went, Kevin. I'm like, can we do a round where we just play audio clips and people okay, have to guess what it one. is? Okay, here's another one. Bewitched. Blake Don't Stratton, say it without the one. Just Angel, do it. Spin <laughs> City, Two it. and a Half Men, Top Gear. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Oh, and do a, a category of onomatopoeia. <gasps> Ooh, cool. Major star or actress who left the show and the show continued without them. Yes. Yes. Shelly Long. Yep. Cheers. Yes. I didn't even use Doctor Who. Okay, Doctor. Sh- well, yeah, that's kind of expected that they're going to leave. Uh, Rando or are they? American Gothic, A Hand, Sam Houston, Amelia Earhart. Oh, that was mine. And it was Randy. Random. Random. <laughs> Did you it took you a minute to recognize your own category, Susan? Yeah, well, I mean, 
I've done them all. That was yeah, you that was Randy, right? That it was, was right just after random. Randy died. And it really was where I said, is it <laughs> random or not? And it really was random. Uh 10 questions from game one. <laughs> oh, here's another one. Aha, peace, possession, you who dreamers. You don't remember that uh, one, Susan? I did that Devil's one. Sky, Hells Angel. Is that the Imagine <laughs> one? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's uh, Imagine. Like that the lyrics mm -hmm. to Imagine. Oh my gosh. I like that one because people were saying they couldn't get you who because it I've wasn't as popular. It. Yeah, it wasn't as popular as I thought. That's an East Coast. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. No, it's, we, it's, we... They have it in Canada. They have it in you Canada, is Mexico. fairly it's... common in the Midwest. Oh, this yeah, is sure. so... the Pied Piper of Hamlin, Magpie, Pipe Blend, Pontus Pilot, Interview with a Vampire. So this is all have pie. Good night, Jane. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Uh, th th those might all be like Johnny Johnny <laughs> movies. Who's... No, it's all have pie in the answer I had. Who's oh, what's her face? Pie day. Pie day. People yeah, are changing their names. I don't remember March, who they yeah. are. Uh, yeah, I changed my name to Wordle Snot Rag. I better fix that. <laughs> yeah, but probably Paula. Is it's that Paula. Paula's What's Her Face Paula? Yeah, uh, Paula. I couldn't okay, remember. It's Blues been so Brothers, long. French Connection, Smokey and the Bandit, The Italian Job Duel. Great Car Chases. Yes. That was your round, right, Carl? Yep. Yeah, that's why you recognized it so quick. Yeah. Movies? That was a good one. Movies with Great Car Chases. Perfect. And we tried, didn't we get uh, Alan to watch Blues Brothers after that? I, yeah. I just sent you a message. Can't believe he did not have to see Blues Brothers. And he's a musician. I would think he would love it. He's in Chicago. I know, no, right? It's very change. paradoxical. It is very odd he didn't love that. Oh, look at this AT&T. We did Seahorses. Oh, yeah. TV uh. and TV, movie and TV show themes theme songs the olympics okay there's an entire horses. category about seahorses yeah. yes <laughs> see okay. the kind of stuff you missed out on zeke you gotta you gotta be in the every, long okay, haul here, with this here, game here. Brian, susan didn't uh, even read the one about something about the shapes of poop oh, oh yeah. that was karen's character that, uh, yeah, that, that, that was just that was animal poop that okay, was this scat. is about scat scat jimmy hendrix janice Joplin, and jim morrison John People who died at 27 years old. Oh, 27. Mm. I, yeah, I had come when mm. the social trivia first started, and then I just took two years off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So you you I'm had started before me. Learned. I'm I'm, but I'm trying. Well, I'm kind of been <laughs> learned all about how to identify different kinds of scat. I'm good at that. <laughs> yeah, well, That's your specialty. It's a shitty job. It's, it's Karen's it's, thing. It's a shitty oh, job. Thing. For sure. It stinks, yeah. Comedy lyrics, Japan, Rhode Island. We did. Oh, here's another mystery. Let me see okay. that written down. That's me then, because that's all the other categories. Brady, Febreze, March of Dimes, April Fools. That, those are the April. months. They were all months. There's oh, 12 months. questions. So how would I say that? Right. The calendar. That was the January 1st. That was the first one of the year. So I did something based on the calendar. So it was months of the calendar. And it was backwards, December, January, February. Yeah, right, I yes, it was cat, backwards. Cat, cat, if I said we did a category on the months of the calendar, that doesn't No, just sense. calendar. Calendar months. And there's my picture of Steve Miller. I was trying to months? find it. How about hidden calendar months? Reverse cat reverse months was the answers. Everything I, had to do with a month. Okay. If it was October. It was octopus was because it was October in it. A mystery calendar month. Oh, kitty cat. <laughs> Um, general music stuff. What year is it? Carl, I see your cats more on camera than I do in real life oh, yeah. because Christine anytime I'm over at his house, the cats are like, where they're the gone. Cats wouldn't have anything to do with me when they I know. usually. They, they I don't. see the pictures; yeah. they're always under the mat. Yeah, just the, the one only time I see that they actually exist. Is I, when I rarely see them in person. Yeah, they don't like. I, I've never either. seen any of you guys in person. <laughs> well, but you better get on it. I, I wanted to yeah. go so bad to, to the, the Vegas thing. I wanted okay. to go so bad. I really want to go October, next year because I, I don't want to miss out on all the fun. So you know now it's in October, right? Yeah, I understand that. Okay. But it also so, cost me like $1,500 to $2,000. Yeah, that there. was going to be the problem. Is That's the I problem. Was gonna, Do not bring your... I was going to bring my own. No, I can't go to Vegas without my wife. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I just can't go to Vegas without my wife. Well, then we got you better start there. putting aside $10 a week. Ten dollars a week. I'd have to put a lot more than that. 
Okay, put twenty dollars a week, or she that will still be a thousand dollars. There's fifty two weeks in a year. Okay. I need like three grand to go. Really cheap. Because <laughs> I went there uh, in October, but I was already there to see the B fifty two, so I didn't. I didn't even go to the lectures. I just got a but really cheap go. hotel room. You stayed with Robin. Yeah, you, I, you, I, you, can, you can not pay for the convention, just no, hang out Wendy's with Stephen in her room. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. I'm like, do I skip the convention and just hang out with people? You don't want to do that. You really want to go to the lectures. I'm the only one. I've already seen the all those speakers. I just hung around Susan's table. It was fine. Which is where the a lot of speakers hang out. But and you, you want to go, to, room. you will feel really left out if you don't go to the lectures. There's a lot of stuff that I'm you just going to show up and camp out in they're, your room, they're Susan. They're recorded. You don't have to see the lectures. They're recorded. You want to we'll see them when later. Come out? <laughs> six months later. Well, I don't know. People keep asking me about are any lectures out, and uh, no, they're not. Got all the six months, so it takes know. a long time, you guys. So the point is, if you're going to go, you want to go and see the lectures. It's just if you want to go and you want to save money, you don't have to go to the lectures. I'm just saying. Yeah. Let's put it this way. I recommend going and seeing the lectures, but I recommend going and not seeing the lectures over not going at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the point is, is that they have to see Paula and Carl have gone to tons of these. So to you guys, it's not as it's it's different. But think about if you couldn't have gone in to see. The Tyson. better part will be hanging out with people that, you know, it's always yeah. the best part. Yep. Well, I, you won't I feel part of the group. You won't feel like you want to go and get. You want to go and go to the lectures, and you want to be part of the group, and you want to go out to dinner with people. So somehow or other, you yeah, just, dinner with people. Yeah, I like that. You're gonna have escape to rooms, pinball museum. It's just you. You, you guys did an escape room. That'd be fun. Yes, we did. Yeah, yeah they have pretty good that'd be a lot of fun. There. I met Hoover Randy Dam. in the pinball you museum. Hoover Dam pinball cool. museum. Oh, I've been to awesome. Vegas twice, but it's just that it's expensive. I'll just I'm, I'll just have I'm to leave my there. I'll just have to leave my kid at home and go by myself. It's That'll a lot cheaper. of fun to bring your kid if you but the problem is is the there's no good discount for if you want your kid to also attend the your convention. It's only really expensive. Cost, ben, your child is only gonna cost you a hundred dollars for the for the conference. The, your child can go to the entire conference for a hundred dollars. That's you're not when I looked at how it. they get on the plane. They get on the plane, you put them in and baggage. They stay in your room. Yeah. Yeah. There's no additional room cost, but there's flight. Okay. There's and then there's flight. there's the convention, put, but also the if bucks. you go to the overhead if you bin, go to the thing in the overhead um, bin. on Thursday. <laughs> you that's don't go to the money. thing on Thursday. Yeah. You don't go or to you the just get that. If you can't, if you there are ways. <laughs> And, and oh, fun me. Let's I'm do just gonna wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. I'll just stuff them we in the luggage and not pay for a plane ticket. We always That's do a scholarship. Don't feed the them ticket. the whole time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> then, Go to the we buffets. Always, we always do a scholarship for kids. So if your if your child is going, we will find a scholarship and give and pay the hundred bucks for the for the conference fee. That's probably easy. Done. Can I lie and say my wife is like seventeen? No, <laughs> but she looks seventeen. Be a kid. <laughs> why? Why do you want to take your wife? I don't understand. I don't get it. I can't go to Vegas without my wife. That's crazy. Why? I just I can't. Be... People do. Well, Nobody's, I can't. You're not going to be hanging out with your wife. You're going to be hanging out with. Us. No, I'd be hanging out with my wife and well, with everybody. Why go to Psycon? And she'd go too. Is she going to come and hang out and all of the until events? she gets bored, then she'll do what she wants. Yeah, there's several people that bring a spouse or significant or other that has and then the, and no then, desire to see the and lectures. Then the spouse wants to go over lectures. here and do this thing, with and you. she could go do that, but I can't go but to you, Vegas. But you will not there, <laughs> just Kevin, she just no send her time. to the casino, she can gamble. Oh, that's right, I give her. Twenty dollars worth of nickels, and then she can go play this. Those later. machines don't exist anymore. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. You're not listening. You got to put a card in now. Yeah, I know what you're saying, but what I'm saying is, I it's like going on a major vacation for me to go to Vegas. Okay, mm. so if I spend all my money on that, and my wife's gonna be like, "You didn't spend it on me." That's not right. It's not I fair. Would send her on a little find some place for her to go while you're in Vegas. 
or yeah, yeah or you say, honey, she she gets to friend. go on a spa weekend while you get to go to. No, Vegas. I would go yeah. with my wife to Vegas and then tell her like, let's go to the thing. If she doesn't want to go, then I can give her tickets to the to the Liber- Liberace show or whatever they call it there. The- well, that'd be really hard. He's dead. Quite yeah, that's, that's a pretty boring show. Now. Thunder, I think Thunder Down Under is a thing down there. Yeah, there you go. No, you know what I'm talking about the the Liberace <laughs> wannabe people, the ones who do like Elvis and stuff and. They do Kevin. all the person Kevin. Or the Kevin. impersonators. Kevin. Kevin. Let's get a Kevin, Kevin impersonator to be like a body double to go with his wife and he can come yeah. to the thing. <laughs> nice. I like it. Now there that you makes go. Sense. Okay, listen. And we'll program we'll power it with a chat bot. A chat bot. <laughs> yeah, if you if you can plan because Vegas tries to subsidize the airfare to get people to go there. So they'll gamble and lose yeah, all their use money. Your, which you won't do. your credit card. So, get a credit card that has, or your, you know, your debit card or whatever that earns points, and use that to take your flight. Uh, the rumors yeah. are going to be that bad. They subsidize the flamingo. You don't and have to stay at the if you flamingo. want, you could get, you could split a room with uh, other people. Not if he's going with really his wife. Not with this wife. Yeah, that's, it's harder with well, this Well, they just wouldn't have to. You know, they couldn't have any. Um, <laughs> family time well sleeping it, especially well, if you I make her sleep, sleep on the on the pullout bed no you know. oh no his wife his i life. might have an extra room by then too just saying oh there you go well okay listen here's what i'm trying to tell you are you moving brandy and there's yeah. also gail there's also eventually gail. she may have a room here's what i'm trying to tell you when you go to these conferences, yes, I understand that your wife wants to go to Vegas, but we don't go to Vegas. We're going to PsyCon and it's completely different. And there is no I'm going to downtime. There is no time that is not. I mean, Paul was like, I don't know what you're doing, but this is what I'm doing. <laughs> listen, listen, is- I can go to the casino. Mm-hmm. No, we we're not them. going to a casino. But that's what I'm trying to tell to you. Go is go I can go to a casino. I'm and not I saying that either. I understand that I'm not spending money that much money on a trip. Yes, even my I wife. totally understand, I can understand that. that. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. Susan, you don't really attend anything, right? When you're I, there. I, I am does it the cost you to go there, Susan? Right, I know. does it cost you to go there? Because it's because I'm just wondering grand to go there. But if I there's anything, if there's anything that Jordan didn't want to go to, I can have them hang out with you and they could be your helper. Well, of course. Well, I'm going to, if you didn't mind. I mean, I don't want well, to just course. force my kid on you, but. No, no, I, don't, yeah. I love kids. Uh, well, I, me and Ben I, go to Hooters. Yeah, there you go. I don't no, know. while I attend the stuff. Closed. Although my, my kid likes the, the skeptical Hotel stuff, closed, so they might want to attend now. the whole thing. And, and go to Circus Circus. We just pay $100 for the whole Do thing. Do not go to Circus Circus. That is, place is creepy AF. That's where we went. Twice when we went. Years ago. We don't go to. You're not listening. You don't. It's cycle. But when I go to Vegas, seven. you when have to go Vegas. and experience it exactly the way Susan wants you to experience it. You're not doing it right. <laughs> I know. But you but you to go to go to I'm going to fly to Vegas. I'm going to go a few days You're before the conference. Okay, that would make Robert. sense. Go and, and go then go stay for the conference and then stay a few days after right. the conference. Kevin, and it's, it's going to be at least Susan's a week. way or the highway. That makes, no, okay? that makes, you need no, to that just, right. But you see how it's a week in yes. Vegas is going to yes. cost me a lot more than you think it is. Because I have also that I have to gamble. I have to go see the Hoover Dam. I have to go to the yeah, yes, gambling I, do. I have to go to the tour. little chapel of flowers and get remarried. You know what I mean? I have to <laughs> you go. Before, you, you, really I, the, you really want that the Elvis Kevin, wedding, I'm don't you, Kevin? There, I'll yes. Have my car. I yes. Can take you to the Hoover I want Dam. Elvis to be the best wait, man. Wait. No, I, Elvis is going to marry you. You need one That's of right. us to be your best man. All of it. Maybe we can have so, Susan so if be your I best man. I go there and renew my vows. Well, how many of you guys will come to the party? I would. I don't know. I, I think that would be kind of fun. Depends. That's During what I mean. Cycon. What's going on? During Cyclone. Probably. During no, after, just slightly before or slightly after Cyclone. And then you can do it. a money dance and get all the money to pay for the vacation. <laughs> uh, Kevin, can you take any part of the trip off on your taxes? No. Susan can be Aww. your flower girl, Kevin. The thing is, <laughs> the day I get there is spent on Psycon. I don't, I don't even have meals, regular meals. It's just, oh, Susan. Well, we know you just 
you want sustain to sustain yourself on milk duds while you're there, have, right, Susan? Wait, are you do. saying you're a breatharian? Are you claiming Paul that? Just photosynthesizes. <laughs> Paul, Paul goes and gets me a piece of pizza and brings it back. I heard if you saw the receipts of all the meals I had, I'm not eating meals. She, she just all. drinks okay, soiling Kevin, green while so she's there. Come and starve. Come to Psycon and starve. You're gonna have to buy her lunch. So I, I spent, I'll tell you what I spent exactly, because I do, you know, I can deduct this because I get paid to write. So this is part of the whole thing. So uh, all my receipts were one hundred fifty four dollars. Mine were four hundred dollars. For food, $154. I was there for like five days. They paid for my hotel and my airfare. Okay, but you were, you were Everybody just talking about was food. 400 bucks. What was 400 that was, that was That was what? Ubers. Oh, you're saying yeah. everything Taxis, for you was 400 bucks. And, um, and uh, food. Yeah, that's not bad. 400 bucks? So, so I, I just travel. need to hide on a plane so well, I don't have well, to pay for Kevin the flight. If you let wife stay in your room, they can save some money. Okay, huh. but what about this? Is there anything else that happens that's not on the opposite <laughs> side of the nation from Kevin that he might oh. go to and get L to meet Little Chapel of the Flowers. Look how cute you were. Ha Little Chapel uh, of the Kevin. Flowers, 1992. You could go to Nexus. Nobody goes to Nexus anymore. <laughs> that's little little chapel oh, of the right. flowers there in Vegas. No it's still there. Kevin, you used to be so cute. It's all virtual. I know. You Susan, that's not very nice. <laughs> that's me. What, what are you trying to say, Susan? So there's to nothing closer cute. to Kevin because flying all the way across the country is part of it. Yeah, that is He's part of it. A, a... That's the thing. It's not. It's not. For him, it he is. can go to another continent. I see. I used to be cute. Good. That's me. That used to be cute. Now it's me. Oh, that is cute. Well, then, uh, if I can, yeah, if I can get all the funds together, then uh, Carl and I and my kid can all fly out on the same flight. Yeah. I can pick you up at the airport. There you go. And she I will take three weeks off of work and I'll drive out there and camp with a tent. Yeah. And, 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 uh, Jordan's very, Jordan's very well behaved. So that won't you be could get home hospitality, Kevin. Kids, you, I don't there's, mind. there's people there that have a nice guest room, private bath that you could stay with through the network. Like Airbnb probably. stuff, right? Yeah. No, or if you got, if you got a camper video. van, you wouldn't need to drive or to fly. Yeah, you could there you drive go. there and then sleep in the camper van. You could start. I'm going to run an RV and just drive that Gail. there. Start asking Gail if you could have her spare room. Uh, did you run out of mystery rounds, Susan? Yeah, I did. I got more to work on. My point is, is okay. Here's my only point. I'm, I'm just gonna. Your only point. Only. Okay, There's always more than but one. I can't get it out. You guys keep interrupting. Okay. <laughs> shh, 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 shh. Mute zip. everybody, Susan. No zips. When people go with their spouses or other significant person who does not want to go to any of the events or want to hang out with us, like hanging out at trivia it's always a conflict because they because there's not a downtime when we're together we're always together it's like you wake oh. up and you're texting them where are we eating where are we going you're here hanging out after the lecture you're still hanging out at lunch you're hanging out after the more lectures you're at dinner at, there's an event after that, and then there's another event after that until yep. you are exhausted, and then you go Kevin, to Kevin, I have to tell you, if a, if a group is trying to isolate you from your loved ones <laughs> and only hang out with that them, that is called a cult. Be yeah. very <laughs> That's the cult, Susan, not one You, you, you are the cult. very skeptical, Kevin. <laughs> you guys Susan, does, doesn't Mark usually like conk out and go to bed around 8.30 every night anyway? Right, but I don't have. He's gone. That's because she slips him an ambient. See, see, yeah. Kevin. What happens is when you show up, Susan hands everyone one of those little dog backpacks with the with the leash, and she leads everyone around I'm not the convention. Hang out with me the whole time. I'm saying that you don't. You don't. What happens is there's always a conflict. Somebody says, "We're like, okay, everybody, we're going to go to an escape room," and then you're like, "Well, I promised my wife I would go see blah blah blah," and you're like. Well, we're all going to go to the, and everybody, and then that person's always like, I have to go with my wife to go see some friend that, that was her high school. No one ever sounds sad about that. Only a few of us went to the escape room. Well, but After yeah. five, you can do whatever you want. But apparently what Susan wants to do is take over my room 
So you know I can't what's even fun? Sit on my own bed. I, you know what I hear is fun too? Being married and going on vacation and going back to your room alone. I hear that could be not <laughs> so Spoken fun. like a single person. <laughs> 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 Grass is always uh, greener on the me. other side, right? Karen? There's there's a one episode of Mystery Science Theater 3000. They they did a short called "Are You Ready for Marriage?" And the first thing that uh, Mike said when they put the title up, he goes, "Yeah, sure, I'm tired of sex anyway." <laughs> but you guys That's... have the option. All you married people have the option at least every night. You can snuggle. That's great. Well, that's the old joke. What's the uh, single food that uh, stops this woman's sex drive? Wedding cake. <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> See, Karen, the thing is, though, <laughs> you could go and you could snuggle several times with several different people. Oh. <laughs> <They're single. laughs> There's snugglers all over. I'm just okay. Saying so, so besides you, Susan, has anybody here brought? <laughs> a spouse or significant other to a conference and had a horrible time because they mm. didn't get to go play with they didn't get to hang out with their friends they had to mm. they thought they had like conference okay i'm gonna go to the conference and then after the conference they were expected to hang out with their spouse the whole time no but the well, thing what this was i would my, go to it my, my wife would go the first time and me. say i don't like it i'm gonna do something else and she'd be happy to go someplace else we wouldn't have a problem with that because well, I, I go to places with her like i didn't want to see blake shelton but I go. And then the next time we go see something. And then she says, you know what? If you want to go, just go. So when I lots of weekends, I'll drive to New York or Connecticut to do what I want to do. She has the option to go. In. So that's how we do it. So if she doesn't want to go, she'll stay home. But Vegas is too big of a thing. She would go with me. She wouldn't want to go to the conferences. She'd want to do something else. So I would suggest, hey, have my son fly in from Korea and you hang out with him for the day. And then he'll go to a conference yeah. with me on Tuesday or Wednesday. And then she'll hang up with you. And then we'll all go out for supper some night and we'll do something, we'll, you know, and we'll gamble at night. So I would make it just, I would find a way to make it work. That's all. It's but I just more expensive need money. You, Kevin. It's expensive. Yeah, it does. The Korean does anyone gamble while they're in Vegas? I wouldn't gamble. I do. I, that's when I went, I, I spent two People weeks there. That's just, that's just a waste of money. That's yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got I actually four made times, money Kevin, one time. And I, I did not put a quarter in a machine. Yeah, Even I made money. I had to walk past them them every day back and forth anymore. all the time. If 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 I've spent $20, well, you know what? I take that back. The last time I was there when I went to go see Ben Radford with Sterling, I played $10 and I was done in 10 minutes and then I got $13 and I walked away. And I was just well, I had we, a real time and I was just sitting there and I just played it and then I was done. But I mean, I don't but, ever but, gamble. But it's not it's not it's not Kevin's so, I mean, we live like 2 hours or an hour and a half from Atlantic City. So we go there occasionally usually for a show and we do spend some time gambling. Not a lot of money, but, but so it's not like I'm opposed to gambling. But as Susan's kind of saying at the conference, you'd rather do other things than than that. Like hang out you can with go, people. you can go to a casino almost anywhere now, right? Can't you? Aren't there some? Yeah, driving I'm, I'm an hour years? away from the Connecticut one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so to. why waste your time? Yeah, you don't go. In, you don't go to the to go to the that. movies and watch a movie. Right. Same thing. Like, you can you do know that what I mean? Go no, 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 I agree. I agree with what you're saying, but it's just it's a long trip to go and bring my wife and. It's got to be more than just three days, four days. It's a five-hour flight. I'm going to stay for a week. Yeah, well, that makes you know? sense. Yeah. And I'm going to stay. I'm usually there four and a half days. Yeah. And when we went before, we went the, the year, two years before we got married. Then we got married there. And um, we got married the year that they were filming Married in Vegas, uh, Honeymoon in Vegas. with the. Have you checked to see if the place you married, you got married is still there? Yeah, it's called Little Chapel of the Flowers. It's still there. Oh, I and, know someone that got married there. Let's yeah, and um, we um, we went to um, um, the the big um, the place with the fountains. Um, Bellagio. Bellagio. No, the no, the one that oh. Evil Knievel jumped over. Uh, was that Caesar's? Yes, yeah, Caesar's. We went to Caesar's. Caesar's uh, we went to the, the really Flamingo's expensive right restaurant next to Caesar's Palace. They're owned yeah. by Caesar's. No, we went there just to, just for have like a, a really expensive meal. Like it was really good and best Italian food I've ever had in my life. And then we we stayed at at um um Circus Circus, and we went to all the like the crazy shows like of the impersonators and stuff like that. We went in the we spent a lot of time doing what we wanted to do. It wasn't a conference thing. It was a vacation thing. And we got married, and my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law were with us. 
So it was, it was a lot of fun. And we went there, you know, and I did gamble. I would stay up really late at night and gamble and play roulette and blackjack. And the morning we'd go for breakfast and it was, we'd walk by the table and I'd take a $20 bill and say, black on roulette. If we win, 